One, two, one, two, one, two. We about to get into it. What's going on? What's going on with ya? I see some couple people done hopped in the chat. What's up with ya? Von Junior. Jazzy being Jazzy. What's up? Aaron B. Yeah, we about to get into it. Boot camp. What it do? MKM. Yeah, what's up, man? We finna figure this out. They talking about revoking that trophy revocation. They're going to call it back. They're going to rescind the award from Mr. Willie Smith. They're going to take that thing back, bro. They say, oh, we got to get that back. Got to get that on back. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, we want that back. They want that back. Give me that back. No. They already started proceeding. They done pick, picked up the pace, too. Wanda Sykes, I just told you guys, as he loses public opinion, now, within amongst the niggas, okay, he'll always have them. That, you know, it, you know, and, and I don't understand why black people think that they're proud of that. I mean, that's nothing to be proud of. Yeah, he'll be popular amongst the fucking niggas, right? The lawless fucking animals who beat and kill each other all the time, who leave each other dead in the middle of the street o over a nightclub, over uh, after a strip club, after a night. Yeah, they do that all the time. And see, this is what I don't find it impressive because I actually live in it and I've grown up in it. So I see it all the time. Yeah, they gut each other out all the time over a beer, over a bitch. Yeah. Oh, you guys think that's tough, but you've never been in a real community. You've never been in a larger community. In a large community, it's not looked at that way. It's simply not looked at that way. Within the inner city, within the ghetto, within within the inner city, what Will Smith did is seen as tough. That's that's tough. He smacked that nigga. That's tough. That he's a tough guy. Will Smith, man, he smacked that nigga, man. We get it. We get it. That don't fly in the larger community. If he did it at a Popeyes, you're right. That's tough guy. That's the way they do it. They that's how they do it out here every night, every day. They're probably somebody's getting slapped right now at a Walmart. Right now, some cashier is probably getting assaulted because she charged somebody more money than they had. She didn't do anything wrong. She simply rung up their order and it came out about $4 more than they have. And they assaulted that cashier because they didn't have the, the rest of the money. Okay, that's how that's how they get down. I'm not even going to put it on race. That's how certain people handle their problems. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, let's have a serious discussion though. And that's what a lot of guys, a lot of people here don't understand. You're supposed to broaden your, your awareness. You're supposed to have an open mind. You're supposed to be ready to hear good discussions and debate. It's not about forcing your opinion down someone's throat. It's about being open for clarity and thoughtful discussion. And what they're about to take that man's award from him. Okay? I can tell you right now, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. It's They're not going to feel sorry for him. They're going to say what he did was egregious and unacceptable he has we are revoking his award okay he will be banned from hollywood they might even take his movies down with this me too stuff you guys underestimate the power of me too feminism yeah yeah he slapped a black man but it was an act of violence you're gonna see they're gonna yank his shit down they're gonna yank his shit down you saw this man can't but he canceled himself okay he did it to himself the academy awards will revoke Will Smith's Oscar. They're going to remove it. He will be blacklisted. He is no, hey, it means nothing to them. It means absolutely nothing to them. And he did it to himself. And once again, we understand in the inner city, in the ghetto, this, this man will be, hey, they could put a statue up, put a statue up in Atlanta of Will Smith. Put us and praise him. Why don't we start a Will Smith church? The church of the nigger. I want me to do that. The Church of the Nigga with Will Smith slapping uh, Chris Rock, and we can go and we can we can worship uh, the new uh, Black Jesus, Will Smith. He slapped the nigga, man. That's how we get down, right? And why don't we just put it? Why don't we just put it in the jail? Why don't we put it in jail? You know, it's the funny thing about it. They they look at this as tough. That's not tough. That was nothing tough about what he did. Nothing tough. I was talking to a group of guys last night. They they look at it as tough. This is he's tough, man. My Will Smith don't play that shit, man. He smacked that nigga, man. Shit. And then you shake your head as these are the same men we just saw with the guy who shot Young Dolph. He burst in tears in the courtroom. Wait a minute, brother. 
wait a minute, brother. You gonna cry now? You gonna wait a minute? You gonna cry after you shot a nigga? Allegedly, he burst in tears. He had no, he had no, no lawyer. He didn't want to be in jail. Wait a minute, brother. Why would you shoot? Him? Why would you? They, well, he hadn't been found guilty, but I'm just saying, why would you do that and then cry in court or in jail? Perhaps you should have let that man live. So you guys have never really been, you guys listen to rap and you watch BT film. You've never been in that environment. You've never grown up around real killers. You have never seen them. You've never seen what their families go through. You haven't seen it. You've never seen that two-year-old child who's hanging on to his baby mom and that guy's about to do 15 fucking years. You've never seen that. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've watched him with no money, no lawyer. Now I have no money for no lawyers. I watched him, the public defender, fuck him over and he do all his time and they don't have any money other than selling food stamps and selling pussy. She can't put money on his books. But I've seen that happen. But you guys romanticize that and try to make that into you guys are some, you know, tough. I'm like, we the tough niggas. We the, we the hood niggas, man. We run the block. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I've actually seen how that go down. And it ain't as romantic as you think it is. But anyhow, let's get into this. Will Smith, a wealthy man, uh, um, is, is about to have, he's going to be the first man to have his trophy revoked. And yeah, we could talk about all the people who've done things and still have one, but they didn't assault anyone. They certainly didn't do it on the stage at the Oscars. Their transgressions did not come on stage at the Oscars. Their transgressions happened later, and it happened. It was under it was under legal purview. Many of those people haven't been found guilty or none of that. And and will the Oscar? But the difference Oscar takes jurisdiction because this happened on their stage, and they're already convening uh the governors now the oscar governors the, the the people who control all of that and now you talk man you're talking about blue bloods bro but see that's what i'm saying you guys we're not talking about white men we're talking about some blue bloods bro some aristocrats we're talking about motherfuckers like horse and buggies and shit these motherfuckers hollywood heels these are some fucking upper crust motherfuckers bro these are some motherfucking um granola liberals i mean they they are Fucking veg, motherfuckers, vegans, tree huggers. These they do not take violence lightly, bruh. Tree hugging ass, granola ass liberals. Motherfuckers, you know, gonna come in there, uh, uh, billionaires. Gonna come in there and they're gonna look at Will Smith and see what he done. It's over with. That trophy is gonna be taken away. There was even a, a suggestion that the LAPD is still trying to find a way. The prosecutor, if she gets a, that she's try, hey, right now she's got her her uh, uh, legal aides digging through the law books. If they find a legal way to go in there and get them, they're gonna get them. There's always a way, bro. He's gonna lose this trophy, and he has no one to blame but Jada. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, all right, I I'll give him out. He he don't have anybody to blame but Jada. Let's blame Jada. Okay, Jada, you did it. They should put Jada in, the, that, that, you know, that's what he should do. He should offer her up and they should put her in prison to solve two problems. <laughs> but anyhow, look at this right here. I got it right here. It says, <clears throat> he compromised his character in a dishonorable fashion, thereby also dishonoring the Academy members and the Academy Awards. The Academy takes serious the conduct of its members if you commit an act which under the circumstance at the time show you to be a dishonest indecent lawless cruel or lacking in certain moral standards if the academy believes you disgraced yourself in a fashion that would bring discredit upon the academy as a whole you will have your membership and your any awards revoked these are the bylaws these are the bylaws that they're governed by he did. He shall lose that award. He shall be stripped of that award, stripped of its membership, possibly prosecuted by L.A. County authorities, held accountable for his actions. So that in no shape, way, or form should this man be praised in the black community. He should be reviled. What he did was despicable. He's a despicable man. 
He what he did was fucking despicable. And it was an act of cowardice. It was a cowardly act. And he deserves all of the discredit and criticism that he's going to suffer. That's what you do. You get rid of him. Now we got Jameel Hill who said no, she disagrees with that platinum. Platinum, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. This is what Jameel Hill said. Jameel Hill says, Platinum, you don't know what you're talking about. He said that Jameel Hill said what he did was an act of kindness. And he was protecting his wife. <laughs> He's got a funny way to do it. Now, she's also had to relink after she said that she's also put out a tweet. She says on her tweet, the Academy's going to take its Oscar. You're right, babe. You're finally, it's finally sinking into your head, Jamil. You came out with the yesterday, protect the wife and stand up for the wife. And he was a noble man. And guess what? Reality is slowly sit, sit, seeping in. Because you just changed up and said, wait a minute. They're going to, yep, they're going to take it from him, babe. They're not buying it. You can say you can say he's protecting his wife till you're blue in the face. The Oscars don't look at it that way. They ain't how they looking at it. It says it seems like a bogus attempt to give in to what they perceive is the public opinion, and it's very different than how they originally felt. Hmm. Okay. They're giving in to public opinion. Well, that's pretty much how it goes, right? Lifetime ban from the Oscars. Ward also forfeited. Yep. 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 And guess what? To me, it means nothing. You know, I don't even have a BET award. I mean, anybody can get that. If you, if you, um, all you got to do is just, <laughs> you get a BET award if you buy, like, uh, if you buy a Whopper, you get you buy you buy a Whopper, a shy, a fries, and a shake. You get a a, a a a a honorary BET award. I don't even have a BET award. It means something to Will. This Oscar means something. That both of them actors. That's an acting family. His son's been in movies. They're a family of actors. It means a lot to them. They're gonna lose that trophy, bro. They're gonna lose this trophy. But it's okay to get up on stage and poke fun at someone who's dealing with a condition that's affecting them, their person mentally. That's what they're, somebody's in, on the side of um, Will Smith. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Someone says, personally, I don't think it'd be right to take his Oscar, but considering how he assaulted an Academy member during the show, I can at least see the justification for it. Okay, well, you don't think it's right. I don't think they care what you think, Skyler. He's going to lose his reward, all right? Folks can bring up Woody Allen. Oh, we already know how Woody gets. That's a weird brother. Oh, you know what? Well, you know what? I have a man. Woody Allen, bro, and all them adopted kids, man, I don't know what, what, what the hell? What, I don't, bro, that's a weird dude, bro. Harvey Weinstein. Roman Polanski, right? Where Roman Polanski is in, I think he's somewhere, he's in a non, Roman Polanski is in a non, um, he's in a state where you can't, you can't get him. You have to be able, he has to be in a state where they can put hands on him, can't get him. <laughs> Roman Polanski, you know why he got his ass out of Dodge. He did what he did and he hit the first thing smoking and he went to a place where the United States can't put hands on him. So, yeah. He also hadn't been, I don't think he was found, I don't know if he was found guilty. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not finna go down that rabbit hole. So, let's assume he was. Okay, let's assume he was. I think he's won another. I think he wrote a movie. I think he wrote a movie a couple of years ago. He won it again. Uh, Smith assaulted Rock, plain and simple. I'm saddened for Rock. Smith has some issues he needs to resolve. The slap should not have been one of them. People keep trying to throw all these. 
this nonsense in here about his her wife and the alopecia it has nothing to do with what he's done. At the end of the day, he's going to have that trophy revoked. He will be suspended. And I think we're going to find out sooner, sooner than later. This is going to happen. Somehow, a single open-handed slap of a man his own age is worse than what Roman Pulaski did. Mm. Okay. He won't be back next year to present the award, which is customary for the previous year's winner. Also think the Academy has been waiting to re retaliate after Oscar's so white. <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> That's why they gave him the award? So they, they gave, okay, Oscar so white because they didn't nominate him for a concussion. And the guy, look, this is what, this is what Rufus, well, this is what the guy calls himself, Rufus wrote. Also think the Academy has been waiting to, re oh, okay. That's why they gave it to him because they wanted to take it back. Yeah, that makes sense. That it makes that makes sense. That bro, this is I don't even know if social media is a good thing. Man. I'm serious, man. I, I really don't even think it's a good thing, man. I mean, like some of some of this stuff you don't even need to know people think. Oh man, that, that sort of messed me up just reading that one. This guy said he thinks the Oscars was waiting to retaliate on the Smiths because of the Oscar So White hashtag. Which would make you wonder why they would give him the award. You would think they wouldn't give him the award if they were upset and wanted to cause him discomfort. He'll still be deemed the winner. This is Rufus. This is the, br the, br the brain of Rufus, if you can take this. He's talking to Jameel Hill. He'll still be deemed the winner but they could take the actual physical award, which they own. He won't be back next year to present an award, which is usually customary for the previous winner. Also think the Academy had been waiting to retaliate after hashtag Oscar so white conspiracy. Yeah, there you go. Damn, I see Jamil. She's You're going to need a buffering after reading this shit. This is the part people are missing. I think they set this up because they've been waiting to retaliate. And Chris Rock is just that type of man to help them play down another black person. Okay, so Chris Rock volunteered his face to Will Smith's hand so that they could play down another black person. Yeah, that's sentence to the Oscars. Man, they're good at what they do. Some kind of way, they set that up. They provoked Will Smith. And that's the gift from Mahalia. I mean, Michaela, my fault. That's Michaela's thought process. Hardly Michaela. There you go. Like the way you think, Bay. Let me get the replies on this. I agree. He sat down with three white comedians and two constantly used the N-word. And one said, I'm not comfortable saying it. Rock said nothing. But, well, you use the word more, but, but, well, you use the word more than I do. So this is the man you're defending. I'm riding for the Smiths. That's from Elijah. How about this? If they take this his Oscar, the Academy will have to take hundreds of Oscars. It will open a Pandora's box. Lots of shit they want buried will come out. Not only opening up the Pandora's box, but Black Twitter will reveal all their secrets. Yeah, the Academy's afraid of Black Twitter. They better be there. There better be about five people in front of him. Woody Allen, Sean Penn. What did Sean Penn do? <laughs> what did he do? Who else? This will be the end for them. What did did Sean Penn do? Something I don't know about. Did Sean Penn even win an Oscar? Okay. Well, let me ask you this: If they started with Will Smith, would that be a bad thing? Okay. Do I have this right? A private organization's award statue, statues as re recognition, plus has a conduct code of conduct for attending a ceremony. They don't pay the recipients or take away take away sums they've earned. The recipients show up, assaults an attendee 
refuses to leave, but taking away a statue is too much. There we go. There we go. Assaulted an attendee. You know what? You know what? Can we be for real? Let's sort of, maybe I should change the name. And Do black people want to be lied to? No, I'm serious. I'm reading it. I got plenty to go. I'm reading the replies, the responses on Jamil's Twitter. Oh, imagine her Twitter being a tad bit left, right? But I'm reading the replies. Do black people want to be lied to? Like, do you guys want to be lied to? Because I'm just saying, is that what it's about, man? Just lie, say, hey, look, fuck that, man. We'll smack that nigga. He tapped that nigga. Stay in your fucking place, nigga. Hey, listen, white folks, leave our business. That's how we handle our problems. That's how we handle our problems. Y'all leave us alone. Will didn't do nothing wrong. That we he tapped the bitch. That nigga was out of pocket. So is that is that what we want? Is that what we want? We want white people to come out and say, yeah, okay, okay. So we we green light uh, barbaric behavior in your community. So listen, since we green light that, right? We're not gonna say anything when you know y'all kill it. Okay, so it's okay. All right, all right. So let's pull all the white police officers out. Let's put just is that what you want? So you want your communities to be lawless. So let's let's rule. So if it happens in your neighborhoods, it, it it there's no law. It's every man for himself. Is that what you want? Because I'm almost thinking, because they hint at that a lot. Is that what they want? Is that what you want? You want a lawless community. You want every man for himself. Who has the biggest guns? Dude come over to the house. Do, uh oh, uh, he buying a bag. Shit go left. Niggas shoot you, shoot your old lady. But, you know, police like, hey, nah, man, nothing happened here. Dope deal, dope deal went bad. Yeah, we get it, y'all. That's how y'all handle things. It's the hood. It's all good. Yeah, he he got what he deserved, man. He got caught slipping. Yeah, we need to bring somebody up here and sack these people up, sack these bodies up. Oh, they got two kids who no longer have parents. What y'all want us to do with these kids? Fuck them. They'll make, okay, let's get up out of here. Nothing to see here. Fuck them. Is that what you want? That's what it seems like you want. Because that's what, when I read these types of replies, it's almost like you guys feel like no, we shouldn't be governed under the law. We should be able to do as we fucking please. And that's, I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious. This shit's scary. Because you guys are talking out of both sides of your mouth because you really don't believe that. But it's like you want, this isn't a rap song. You know what? Most of that rap shit ain't real. You guys actually believe that. When you see these niggas chained up and, I'm with that. I'm about that. No, they not. Why you got security with you? When the last time you been in the hood? Do you guys really believe these niggas is real thugs and shit like that? Really about that? Like, you really believe that? You really believe that? And you think what Chris Rock did, you, you actually stand there with a straight, as, as, as an adult. Look, if you're 14, you probably don't know no better. So I can see a 14-year-old boy who he has a limited amount of understanding the system and just life. So he's limited. I can see a 14 year old child justifying what Chris Rock did. I, I clearly can see that, but an adult, a grown man, you're justifying another grown man mounting a stage, mounting a stage and assaulting another black man who was harmless. We see because he didn't retaliate and he also doesn't want charges pressed. That type of guy. That's thugging. Where's, where's George Zimmerman at? This is what kills me about you niggas. Where's George Zimmerman? When you niggas going to pop off on him? Never. When you niggas going to pop off? How many niggas done got shot down there where same neighborhood George Zimmerman eats pizza? Probably about 400 niggas done got popped. Not Ain't nobody went after George Zimmerman. Nobody. When you niggas gonna slap him? Never. You, you, you talk about you talk about Will Smith catching, you know, I mean, uh, Chris Rock eating a slap when somebody gonna slap when somebody just gonna walk up to him hey i ain't say hurt him i said slap him 
He's selling paintings. He done made all types of money off that boy. Riding around ain't free. He's safer than me. If I went to the same neighborhood, I would be more in danger than him because I'm a black man. They wet, wet niggas up down there. Cooking niggas down there. Hey, man, you looked at my bitch. Hey, man, you looked at me. Hey, man, you stepped on my shoe. Hey, man, fuck you. George Zimmerman down there riding around on a, on a skateboard, living his best life. Yeah, black culture fucked up, bro. It's fucked up, bro. It's just, it's 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 almost uh, self sue. It's just it's, it's self. It's just self destruction, man. It, it makes no sense. You got Jamil Hill, who it ne does not live in the ghetto, advocating that what he did was okay, and because he was black, white people should stay out of it. This is coming out of. Jamil Hill's mouth. These words are coming out of her mouth. Tiffany Haddish is saying the same thing. White folks need to stay out of this. He was protecting his wife. Oh, okay. This is ridiculous, bro. It's, it's, it's not even, it's, it's like, it's so absurd. You can't, it's, it's, I mean, like it's, it defies reason. Uh, Will Smith will lose his trophy because he deserves to lose his trophy. What he did was some bitch shit. Was nothing gangster about it. If he should get that shit up, then he went on to fucking do this. He claimed he was sorry about what he did. That's Will Smith. That's the after party. This is the sorry, regretful Will Smith. This looks like a guy who regret what he did. This look like a room full of black people who give a good fuck about black people or they just care about getting money off. Okay, now, wait a minute. Or he just gives a fuck about you niggas supporting his movie and making him rich. We don't give a fuck about And I know he don't. And I know she don't. And you niggas ain't figured that one out yet. Jada don't give a fuck about you niggas. You really think she cares about black women with that bullshit ass red table talk bullshit. Her, her fucking heroin addicted mom, former heroin addicted mom, and her daughter, and good luck figuring her, her fucking dark side of the moon daughter. And I'll let you guys try to put that together. You got a formerly addicted to heroin mother, her, with a bald head and her bullshit, and Augie's, she smells like Augie. <laughs> and her dark side of the fucking moon daughter. That's what this is about? That's representative of the black community? Oh, that's what the black... So wait a minute. When I, I've never dealt with any woman who, that's even remotely close to either one of those women. I deal with black women all the time. I've never dealt with one that's even remotely close to either one of those women. Not one. Nothing about those women... Uh, it resonate black women to me. I look at weirdos. I look like Hollywood fucking weird, a weird box. That's what I look at. I do not look at, they do not come across to me as African American community. But this is what you're presenting. And because they don't want their boy to get punished, they're ready to throw the whole black community under the bus and say, "You, hey, Platinum, you a bitch nigga. Why? You need to support your brother. Why? He was defending his wife. Oh, you're right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. He did the right thing. There you go. Because they don't want their boy to be punished. Well, hey, bro, you know what? Will, if I got locked up tomorrow and I called you, would you bail? Man, we'll hang up in my fucking face. Hey, Will, can you put something on my book? Hang up in my face. Hey, Will, you got more money than, you know, tech, if you really want to be honest, you have more money you really could spend. Like, you really couldn't even, unless you were just trying to spend, but if you're just living a, a no, if you're living an extravagant life, you couldn't spend the money you have, Will. Will, can you help me out with a lawyer? Nope. But you want me to help you out when you fuck up.
Yep. When you guys gonna understand, that's what these celebrities do to you guys. They, they know Will was wrong. They don't care. Will knows he was wrong. Platinum, you want to see him get punished? Not really, but he still, he didn't follow the rule. If you don't follow the rule, you got to learn how to follow the rule. I'd rather see, I would rather see Will lose his Oscar and it send a, a signal to the entire black community that you have to be responsible for what you do than to him get away with this shit because I don't think that's going to be a good lesson for him. Because we can go, you want me to go down, you want me to go talk about the nigga who got shot last night? Or the one before that, or the woman who got shot? Or the woman who said, hey, I don't want to be your girlfriend no more, and the guy shot, you want to talk about that? Being irresponsible? Saying, hey, it happens, breakup happens, you can't do that, what you mean? You can't kill, listen, you think they don't, un you think that's that message doesn't resound in the neighborhood? You, you got to be responsible for You got to control yourself. Your behavior matters. Will Smith betrayed black America when he assaulted Chris Rock. So therefore, I'm done with him. I was the one championing the dude. Go look at the, st the streams. I sent out a, a salute of congratulation. Look forward to him. I wanted to look. I was looking forward to this brother. I see how hard he worked. He betrayed the black community when he did what he did. That was some bitch shit. And then walked around like, look at he's at this party. This is what you do? Nah, brother. Unacceptable. He's going to have to accept the fact that he's going to be held accountable for what he did. And that's just the way things are, man. I don't make these rules. He's going to be held accountable. I, and you know what? I, I'll use him joyfully as a teaching moment to instruct young adults 14 girls and boys i will gleefully i will i will run around in circles before i do it with enjoy joyfully this is what you do not do you have to control yourself this man was a great actor but he ruined his fucking his entire history and reputation when he decided to assault another man. You got to control yourself. Great teaching moment. What happened to him? He had his trophy taken. He actually won the award and they took it back. He's, one of the, he's the first guy to have his Oscar revoked and kicked out of the Academy. I would gleefully tell that to a room full of 10-year-olds because they will learn from his mistake. And then, Will, you would finally be helping the black community. You getting away with it, you're not helping the black community, you're hurting it. I don't know why Will hasn't done this himself. He should turn that shit in himself. He should go down to LA County and turn himself in. He should go down there and say, no, what I did was wrong. He should go down there and tell Chris Rock he needs to meet with him. Chris Rock just did a show. He should have been there talking to Chris Rock. He should have went down there, two down there and said, hey, look, bro, I did was wrong, brother. No. It's not that I need to be punished, but I need to be held accountable. What I did was wrong. He needs to do that for the for the benefit of the community. That's what he needs to do. And uh, believe me, of all the communities that need this, the black community needs this. You want me to read off the people who got shot last night? I do it all the time. Some guy got shot at a stoplight. They don't even know if it was a reason. I mean, they don't even know if it was a reason. He just got shot. Guy pulled up to a stoplight and somebody shot him. They don't even know why. It was on his way to work. Somebody shot him. This community needs all the guidance and help it can get. Will Smith's up in the public eye. He needs to do something. I'm still waiting for somebody to justify. I got. I might have to go find me a, a bus stop, a thug. I, I hear guys, but they're not on YouTube. They always tell me what Will did was okay, but I've yet to find a YouTuber. There don't have to be a YouTuber, a chat, a person to come up and just tell me where I'm wrong. I want to know where I'm wrong. Help me. Platinum, you're wrong. Why? Make me understand. I don't get it. Why is it okay for a man to get on stage and assault another man about 200 feet away, come out, you're, safe, you're protecting your wife. 
Also, there's a video who just came out of Jada laughing, enjoying the man being assaulted. There's a video. It just came out. There's video. More and more footage is coming out. People had cell phones. And more footage is coming out. Jada laughed at him being assaulted. That caused her to be. That caused her waves of joy. That caused her to be happy. She embraced him being assaulted. Is that what we're doing? That's that's the best and the brightest of us. Look at that. The human chapter said, I saw that video. She was also clapping. So that's what we're doing. So are we just disposable to the celebrities? Are we just here to, to march and protest and, and demand that they be able to get away with murder? Uh-oh. While we get held accountable for our actions, so if, I, if I did it, I'd be in jail. If I did that at a Walmart, if I went into a Walmart and I assaulted another black man, if, you know, if I didn't get out, you know, security, they got security in the hours, though. But, if, you know, if the customers grab, they just got a guy. Just, some guy went into Walmart, he did something, he grabbed some woman. I don't know why he did it, but he grabbed a woman and <laughs> he didn't make it out. Uh, the cust it wasn't security. The customers. Some guy went into Walmart. Some woman had a nice body, and for whatever reasons, he was thirsty. He grabbed that woman's butt and tried to. Uh, he tried to. He tried to. Uh, he grabbed her, threw her down, tried to unzip his pants. By the time he got to his his um belt, two customers side hit him sideways and laid on him, and then a couple of other customers put that weight on him, held him. He was arrested, charged with sexual assault, removed from the property. And they also got the video, so they have full evidence he's done for. They, 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 they found out the woman was okay, but he didn't get, what I'm saying is he tried to, he's being held accountable for his action. Are they going, should they let him go? Should, wait a minute, can he go and tell the judge, I'm thirsty? But wait a minute, I'm black, I'm thirsty, and we govern ourselves. We're in the black community. You guys are white. Y'all should let me do what I want to do. I'm thirsty. Can he get away with that? Think they're going to let him get away with that? Or they're going to hold him accountable for his actions? They protect, they're protected down here, babe. I'm in the South, babe. There's some, I, guess, I don't know what they're talking about. Out here, they don't play that out here. If I, I'm going to tell you something. If I went into a Walmart right now, if I left this, if I went live and showed you, if I just said, not touched, said some uh, um, in a, obscene comments to a woman, if I said, oh, you got a big old juicy ass, you got, I would probably last all of about three minutes before some guy is going to assault me. Now, this is a woman he doesn't even know. But if I'm saying that to somebody's mother, to somebody's sister, me, there's men down here. They're going to say, hey, bro, what's wrong with you? Hey, man, I'm talking to you. What the fuck wrong with you? Then, then I'm going to get, it's going to be a couple of niggas who going to boss up behind them while I'm running my mouth. Then they're going to take care of my ass. Yeah, they protect women out here, bro. That's why I be wondering what they talking about. Like, they, they protect it out here. You ain't going to get away with that out here. That ain't going to happen out here. They, it's, it's the, they're, it's, they're strong about family and they're very close to their sisters and their mothers. They just don't play that out here. They, they don't play that in the South. They're not going to play that in Nashville. They're not going to play that. I mean, I, you know, in Atlanta, I'm not that invested. I don't know about the streets of Atlanta like that, but I'm just saying they don't play that out here. You, you beating on your girlfriend. It's dudes out here. They get shot. Now, I wouldn't, you know, we know that's not a good idea, but you know, we know this, but it happens, you know, guys get in there trying to rescue the girl and the girl shoot the guy because she, you know, he beating up the boyfriend. But I'm just giving you an example that you're not going to put your hands on. You can't even, uh, these strippers, you can't even fuck with these strippers like that. If you go in a strip club, let me tell you something. If you go into a, you pay your money, you pay the $40 to get in, you got, you get you $200 worth of wands. You're sitting up there with $200 worth of wands. There are dancers. They come over there. You say, yeah, I want to dance. Let me tip you. You tip it. You start sticking your hands in them. 
they gonna take, they gonna wrap your ass up, and you are gonna lose your money, and they are gonna stomp you out, and they, you're probably gonna go to jail. They don't. You can't even talk. You can't even touch these dancers like that out here. You have to control yourself. You have to be in control. You cannot be out of control. Well, more than likely, if you're out of control, you're gonna get shot. So it's not gonna even matter. That that doesn't. You're not gonna live long. So that that don't even matter. Tough guys don't last out here either. T tough guy thing, they get shot. Bullies don't last, not out here. They get shot. They're not, they especially ain't gonna let, we already know a bully downtown is a, is a washing machine. You, that don't work, man. It works amongst the weak. It don't work amongst the tough. You go down there trying to be tough, they're gonna turn, they will fuck you on, because you go downtown, right? I'm right, if I go down here to the county jail, with a snarl on my face, nigga, fuck y'all. I'm nigga. Well, I wish a nigga would. Uh, I will be raped just because I have the wrong attitude. They're gonna demonstrate they they control the prison. You don't. But you you're welcome to come on down there. In fact, they look forward to that. They enjoy it. You're welcome. Hey, come on down, bro. Mister Tough Guy. Hey, come on down here. And show us how you. We gonna, you gonna teach us a lesson. Come on, yeah, yeah, come on, man. Hey, bro, I'm looking to learn that lesson you're gonna teach me. That you the wrong nigga to fuck with, okay. All right, looking forward to, bro, come on. You are going to be taken sexually uh, <laughs> assaulted. Watch, it happens all the time. If guys go down there, yeah, the, the, you know. Come on. Come on, hey, yeah, yeah, you, 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 North, North Memphis, uh, you run the block over there in North Memphis, you run the block, you South Memphis, you that, you that nigga, okay, ask about you, all right, ask about you, okay, yeah, that's the same nigga, you wake up the next morning, somebody done jumped off the top bunk with their boots and crushed his fucking skull after they done raped him, Mr. Tough Guy. Mr. Block Runner. See, you niggas don't know that. You niggas listen to these rappers and think these niggas is tough. They're not tough. What Will Smith did is a bitch. It, real niggas see that was bitch made. It was a bitch move. Nothing tough about it. You smack Chris Rock? A nigga who don't even fight back? A nigga who don't even want you to go to jail? Chris Rock just did a whole stand-up. He didn't even mention that shit. He asked the crowd, calm down. He didn't even address it. He said, can I do my show? Thank you, everybody. Said, they gave him a long standing ovation and they start uh, booing Will Smith. He said, hey, look, stop that. Listen, let me do my show. The man that went forward, he didn't move on. That's how a man, look, I don't agree with him eating a punch, but that's how a man don't handle, you go forward. You go forward. The only thing about it, what Chris, what what Will Smith did, set an extremely bad example for for uh, the black community, and they need it. Look, I'm bro, I'm out here. I'm telling you, they need it. I, look, let me tell you something. Well, uh, sorry, I hate to go too far. Look, I I slow out a lot of. I'm gonna put it like this: chicks younger than me. Okay, <laughs> I know the guys they date. I know the guys they deal with. I'm telling you, these guys. Somebody, I'm not their father. They tell me what these guys do. I'm telling you, they, somebody's got to be an example for these 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 men. They're going to prison. They, they're going to prison. They're not going to last long. They're going to either wind up dead or in jail. And what Will Smith did, he just pulled gasoline on that. This is the wrong community to 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 praise acts of violence. He just poured poured gasoline on that. These guys are going are even going to become even more violent. And hey, hey. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, Wanda Sykes has turned on Will. And I'll tell you, you can see that it's already turning. Wanda Sykes has come out against Will. Um, She said he should have been removed from the property. He refused. He should have been physically removed from the pro property. She said she was appalled and disgusted by it. 
we see that Will went on him and what Jada because they're, he's so you know he's so concerned about him and Jada went on to an after party. He took his Oscar with him and he was you know shaking it up, and he so regrets what he did. And that these are the people who claim to be examples for, for okay, Jada's an example for young black girls. They're supposed to listen to her. Um, after, what, an hour, he, she had Steph Curry's wife talking about she wants attention from other guys. After talking to her, it's Steph Curry, well, Steph Curry's what, max player, what is he, 400 million now? With the possibility of another contract, Steph Curry's a max player. They literally cannot pay him any more money. They literally, they literally give him as much as he can possibly get. I think he gets what four hundred million, and he's due another contract, which he'll get another four. I mean, what does you want the man to do? He's giving you fuck three kids, or four kids. He's giving you a, 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 a the the life of a princess. Yet you want attention from other men. What can? This is after talking to Jada on her red table talk. Because we know they get down to the nuts and bones over there. Her mother, a for former heroin addict, her with her history, and her <laughs> daughter. <laughs> and let, me, let me tell you something. I can't watch that because of this. I feel sorry for the little girl. I, I can't take that. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't take that. I don't even want to see that. When I see some somebody that young who's well, they say she's not confused. I look at the confusion. I just I'm I, I, I well, let me tell you something out here. You won't you know, they don't let you be confused out here. You got to make up your mind. Grandma get that 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 belt out. <laughs> Wait, what? A, she got that decision maker hanging on the wall. She got that extension cord. That decision maker. You said, which way you want to go? You said, I don't know if I like girls or boys. Grandma, I'm going to get that extension cord. She's going to help you figure it out. Now, you guys don't want to hear that, do you? <laughs> hey, bro, the South is the South. But listen, Will Smith is going to lose that trophy. He's going to probably scream racism. He, he's, he's an embarrassment to the black community. He certain white community certainly don't want him. Uh, he disgraced himself. That was inappropriate. Instead of being distinguished, when you look at a Sidney Poitier, when did Sidney Poitier behave like that? In fact, Sidney Poitier was a ambassador to the black community. When you had black dudes out here doing drugs and getting shot and doing black men in the public eye who are doing all types of inappropriate things, Sidney Poitier was not doing that. He was a beacon. He was, he was a symbol of success. He, he was proper sounding. You never saw him with a joint in his mouth. You never saw him get, get on, on anybody's arrest docket. He accepted the mantle of leadership and he led. And I found it humorous. A lot of black people didn't like him. They say he wasn't a quote. Hold up. We got to go down this rabbit hole. They said he wasn't a real nigga. I said, oh, why not? No, I'm serious. Sidney Poitier, he, he wasn't no real nigga, though. Why? Because he didn't knock off a liquor store? Why? He, he didn't send his old lady to the hospital? Why? I mean, quote, unquote, define real nigga. What's that? An animal? He wasn't no real nigga. There you go, bro. Enjoy. There you go. So I guess Will Smith would fit that bill. He's a real nigga now. So we should herald Will Smith. We're going to put a trophy to Will Smith up. We're going to teach our kids, hey, settle your problems. Go upside that motherfucker head, Mike. Look, we can play this game all we want. I'm telling you, it's not working out for black. You guys can play this stuff. Or you can play, we can play this game all day. I am telling you up front, it's not working out for us. I've been in, I've seen nightclubs closed. I've been there that night, two niggas got shot inside the club. I've seen, I've seen business leaders cry because they're financially ruined because niggas shot his club up. He can't afford the insurance now. 
He's got money tied up. He can't get his money. He's got money tied up. I've seen black men with families in tears because they're financially ruined, not because of something they did, but because niggas shot, shot his club up. I've seen him try to change his music. I've seen him try to say, well, we want 25. If, if you're a young black man, you got to be 25 to get in. Girls can come in, 18 and up. Black men, 25 and up. I've seen black men complain about that. I've seen young black men in, you know, put their heads down and say it's not fair. And it's like, I agree. That's totally unfair, bro, my brother, but the man's insurance. He can't afford his insurance. He can't afford his security. There's a price to pay for this type of behavior. You got one the Sykes who's come out publicly and said she doesn't condone what he did, say he slapped her friend. And she's fully aware when she found out he was actually the property. She knew about it. She was a host. They informed her, we're going to remove him from the premises. She wanted him removed. He refused to go. They didn't want to force an incident. They even admit they should, they didn't, Oscar's not heavy hand. Oscar's are not, Oscar's are not, um, uh, you know, uh, a Chris Brown concert, okay? They want you out of there, they're going to throw your ass out. They don't care. But I'm saying they're not like that. He didn't want to go. They're going to revoke his award. Whether you guys like it, you can say platinum, you it, whatever. It's gonna make it look. It, it's terrible. Black people, once again, black community, collectively, suffer another L. No matter what you guys say, this is a blemish on the black community. This wasn't an Asian man, wasn't a white man, wasn't a Latin man. It was a black man. And there's no way you can try to get out of it. What he did, he assaulted a black man who won't press charges, who went on and did his show last night, didn't even bring the incident up. He's moved on. He's not talking about he going to, it's on for life, he going to catch that fit. He did not he say none of that. He did a show, left the uh, venue, Actually, a couple of people said, F uh, Will Smith, he shut them down. Said, don't go there. Don't do that. The Academy, they've set a date for him to show up and explain himself, after which they will proceed with disciplinary actions if you read the statement they've already made up their mind i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to get no statement like that <laughs> fuck that <laughs> if you get a statement like that that's where you run <laughs> you that's where you go here you that's where you get the fuck out of dodge you be like wait seem like these guys think i'm guilty wait a minute <laughs> so wait a minute that looks like he's Here we go. They have bylaws. Here we go. You, um, Will Smith compromised his character in a dishonorable fashion, thereby dishonoring the Academy Awards and the members. The Academy takes serious the conduct of its members. If you commit an act which under the circumstances at the time show you to be a dishonest, indecent, lawless, cruel, or lacking in certain modern standards, if the Academy believes you disgraced yourself in a fashion that would bring discredit upon the Academy as a whole, you will have your membership and associated re awards revoked. 
There you go. Well, that that's just their bylaws. We're not even talking about what what they put out on the the, uh, the statement they made as they review his behavior. They've already talked about they will not tolerate any form of violence, and they have a conduct of standards that must be met. We are now taking that incident of Will Smith and Chris Rock under review. Uh, he tarnished his his uh, brand. He tarnished his name. Uh, Jada Pickett was the um, source of the disarming, and it was going to happen anyhow. She's a, she's just. This is the type. This is what you get when you deal with females like Jada Pickett Smith. She's a wicked, manipulative, just a cunning person. She's jealous of him. And she ruined them. I and you got what you deserve. You should have got rid of her, Will. When she was having sex, I mean, she's an open marriage. When she was having sex with her son's friend, which brings in all types of questions, there's uh, accusations, no proof, that she had some type of relationship with a 14-year-old boy back in that, what, the 80s or whatever. There's, I have no proof of that. That's an accusation that has not been proven. August is her son's age when she slept with that boy, which I have no problem. I mean, he is of legal age, but when she slept with that boy and she did that with a straight face. You decide to keep her around. Now you're paying for it. Now you're paying for it. So I hope you're happy, Will. Now you're going to pay for what you've done. You're going to be held accountable for what you've done. And you know, the sad thing about Will is every day as we speak, black men, well, white men too, but let's talk about black men. As we speak, a black man right now is being walked in front of a judge. He doesn't have a lawyer. He doesn't have the money for a lawyer. He's trying to plead his case. And he's being found guilty. I know a guy who went to jail because he stole a jar of peanut butter. One jar of peanut butter. Shoplifting. They took him. He went in front of a judge. He stole a jar of peanut butter. Told the judge his kids had been eating jelly sandwiches. Jelly and bread. And he said he watched them cry. So he decided he didn't have any money. He decided to go steal some peanut butter. That judge gave him six months. That judge didn't give a fuck. That judge didn't say, ah, oh, man, that, that, that breaks my heart. Ah, oh, man, you were trying to do the right thing, though. You were doing it for your kids. and They were just eating just naked jelly and, you know, pe you know just jelly sandwiches. You want to add a little peanut butter? You're a good father. You, only saw, you didn't go in there and try to get a steak. You just grabbed a jar of peanut butter. You got caught. That judge gave that man six months. That judge didn't cry a tear for him. And that's what I'm guys, you gotta understand black men every day stand in front of the judge and held accountable. Will has to be, be held accountable. That's what though I don't get from men. It's like, are you serious, man? You want him to get away with what he done? When black men get held accountable every day. See that to me, that's the bitch move. The people who don't want him punished. They punish a brother for stealing a jar of fucking peanut butter for his kids? And you want to see this bitch-ass nigga get away with slapping a black man? When he's fucking rich? And he had no reason to do... Fuck out of here. Fuck this nigga. I hope they throw, I hope they throw this motherfucker under the bus. Fuck out of here. He did, that shit was whack what he did. Yes, brother, you have men who are trying to do... Who are going through shit. They don't have a job. They don't have anything. They don't have anybody in their corner. They don't have any money. And they're eating what they have. Their kids are eating what they have. They got light bread and jelly. And that's all they got. So he tried to steal a jar of peanut butter. As noble, he got caught. He did six months. Shoplifting. He had a prior. 
The judge heard him out. Six months. You guys got to understand this shit's for real out here, man. You wouldn't, you can't be, you can't be lauding these niggas. You see these niggas with these uh the baby and and sweetie's brother fighting and shit. They don't. You can't. You do that out here. You're going to jail. They can do that shit on put it on their IG and sag and talk about they the real they the real killers. They some kick. All right, yeah, okay, man. They don't do that out here. See, I'm in the South. They, they don't play with you out here, bro. They don't play out here. They don't play with you. And then we don't talk about like Trump. No, with us the South, bro. This was this was the South before Trump. They don't play that out here, bro. They, well, I'm not even in Texas. Somebody told me I know my my boy. He got caught with dope. He did a bid in Texas. He said, "Man, they even no air conditioners in them jails." I said, "What?" He said, "Motherfuckers be naked in the summertime." He said, "You gotta take your clothes off. It's so goddamn hot in there." He said, "They don't even have air conditioners in the jails. Motherfuckers walking around there naked." Sweating. Doing that time. What he did was wrong, and he's going to have to be held accountable for what he done. I don't give a damn how fucking mad he got. You can't fucking get on stage and assault someone because you mad. What the fuck they got to do with it? People get mad all the time. People my order get... I get mad in the motherfucker all the time. The motherfucker, fuck my say, Give me... um. You know what? I don't even attempt to try to like be complicated with an order at a fast food restaurant. Like if you go in and say you want a Big Mac, go in there and say, hey, give me a give me a Big Mac fries and a Coke. And you cross your fucking fingers. They can get that right. You go in there talking about, hey, I want a Big Mac, a filet of fish, um, give me some McNug, give me 10 McNuggets with barbecue sauce. A small fry in a... Man, you out your fucking mind. They'll never get that right. You might as well park your car and go inside because you're going to be all day... No, nah, I asked for a medium fry. Wait a minute, I asked for a Sprite. Wait a minute, this is six McNuggets. They're going to be looking at you too, bro. Like, what? Bro, we got other customers. Well, you got to get in the back of the line. Yeah, you don't even... Man, like Popeye's, you're going to pop... Give me the three-piece smile... And two pieces, sp- no, bro, that, that's not going to happen. You almost, I'm almost at the point now with fast food restaurant. I just go and they say, can we help you? Look, whatever you give me, man, I, I'm good. I'm good. Excuse me. Yeah, whatever you give me, whatever you hand me through that window, I'm going to pay for it. And I'm, and I appreciate it. I'm almost at that point. They never get it right anyhow. So what difference does it make? I said, fuck it. I don't even need to be eating this shit anyhow. Nah, man, that's 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 the society we live in, though. We live in a we're governed by rules, man. And, and the, the fact is we are. And you know what what really, do you guys really want to live in a lawless society? Do you really want to? I've seen that with the uh, with the uh, cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. He's going to be down there covering it. We all live in a lawless. Y'all go cut, the, cut to the chase. Come, cut to the chase. You don't have too much. You don't have so much work cut to the chase. You have so many videos. Pookie shot Ray Ray. Tyrone got shot. Tina got shot. What people don't understand is in no in the black community, man, most people are good people. Seventy percent of the people are good people. They're good, God fearing people. It's, you still got those old grandmas with the fans on the wall, taking care of their grandbabies. You got a lot. They don't drink. They're hug. They're widows. You got a whole bunch of those women down there in those impoverished, crime infested communities. That's not the majority of people. It's not not even close. You do have a handful of uh, thugs and stuff and tra- houses that's trapped out, yeah. But you still got the grandmas down there, man. You still got that down there, so you can't really look at that community as a bad thing. 
A lot of times, grandmama don't want to move. Grandmama been there her whole life. You guys need to go talk to some of them old women. Them old women, you sit down and talk to them. They done raised uh, three kids. They done buried a son. They got a son that's in jail. They got a husband that's in the ground. They got a lot to say. They got a lot of experience. They got a lot to say. They right there in those inner city neighborhoods. They're right in those neighborhoods and they have a lot to say. And we discount that, man. I think too many of us done watch New Jack City, man. We think that's the whole guy. That ain't the hood, bro. <laughs> New Jack City wasn't the hood when it came out. It ain't the hood now. It wasn't when it came out. You know what? I'm going to tell you the truth, UFO. What's going to happen? You're right. He's going to catch your fate. What's gonna happen with Will is he he gonna run he gonna be at the airport. Will gonna be somewhere, and somebody gonna test Will because they gonna look at what Will did was bitch shit. They gonna look at that as man that ain't how you Chris Rock. They gonna it's gonna be a real motherfucker out there, a real one, not a fake one, who is about that life. Who gonna just he gonna he gonna test Will? He gonna be like yeah, bro. You know what you did was bitch shit. And he gonna he gonna he gonna he gonna engage Will now. More than likely, Will's got in security. So, I mean, the, the it, it will probably be impossible to do that because he probably, I mean, he literally ha has enough money where he can have three fucking special forces bodyguards on payroll. I mean, he never has to go anywhere without them. So, so the guy who <laughs> he's got to go through them guys first. So if he could get through them four guys, he could then fight the uh, the the uh, what is that? Them games, video game boss Will Smith. Now nah, it's just a sad day, man. The more every time, the more you learn about it, it's just sad, man. And we as black people, we got to stop trying to justify this shit. The man did wrong, man. They they got to stop making this shit some some testimony about black people this is about the difference between the two worlds we got we got um um we have um jameel hill who who pins an article the this this is two americas one black america one white america what happened in black america is not understood by two these two americas like we, he, jameel hill wouldn't want nobody to slap her that's I, and this is supposed to be the um, intelligentsia. This is out of the mouth of the intelligent. These are the thinkers in the black. This is what she wrote. This is what she wrote down. She put pen to pad and wrote that shit down. And she's the smart one. And she said that white people didn't get it because they're white. You gotta understand this how we we this how we govern ourselves. We black. This is what the it, this is what she said. Now maybe she you know, look, bro. This you can't even make that. That is ridiculous, bro. And let's look at some of this is what they said. Look. One moment of bad judgment can destroy everything someone has built. It's sad, but strong lesson to learn here. I also know that we must all be careful to govern ourselves as best we can. We all have the eternal buttons that when pressed, create the same havoc. You're exactly right. That's why we have to control. You're exactly right. Damon. Well said. We have to control. What? Yeah, people piss people get pissed off all the time. Is that what we get from this? My take here is a man that believes he is so above everything and everyone that he doesn't have to follow the rules. Mm, interesting. I wasn't a huge fan of his, but I've always liked him. This has changed my mind. Yeah. 
a man who believes he's above everything and everyone, he, the rules don't apply to him, yeah? I feel like if you slap a presenter, they got to ask you to leave. And if you say, nah, I'm good right here, they just can't let that slide. Taking his Oscar seems like going a step too far, though. Well, they did let that slide. They did let that slide. They, but did they do anything during a broadcast? I think that's the issue. Not that a recipient did something criminal outside of the Oscar broadcast. I don't think there's any chance of that. He will just be removed from the Academy and banned from events for uh, X number of years. Love the Oscars, but the Academy's acting like the LAPD. He wasn't charged with any crime. Ban him if you must. However, he still will make millions. Hire security guard the stage after all. Roman Polanski won. <laughs> we keep bringing up Roman Polanski. I don't believe Venna chimes in and says, I don't believe Will was asked to leave. There has been mounting frustration with Will toward Chris. This wasn't the first joke Chris made about Jada on the Oscars. I don't condone the slap. Chris has a plethora of jokes that he can tell black women can be avoided as punch when I, okay, so let's put that out. Somebody write that down. Black women can no longer be the punchline to a joke. They're off limits, all right? Comedians, you cannot make a black woman the punchline of a joke. Now, D Tiffany Haddish, she's a black woman. Can she tell jokes? Can she, does she have to retire now? She's a black woman telling jokes. Can she do that? Or is that a, you know, black women can't be the punchline of the joke. So this, this girl's trip too that Dave Green light, that's a comedy. It's full of women. Queen Latifah. Can they, should they cancel that now? Because it's actually comedy. I mean, with the grapefruit, uh, the drugs they took. Uh, they made fun of a lot of black men and that shit, but should they, black women can't be the butt, the butt of jokes. The Academy's trying to save face. They know damn well they didn't ask him to leave. That's from Nicole. People got footage of Denzel, Tyler, and Bra Bradley Cooper talking to Will, but no one has footage of them asking him to leave. To be honest, he shouldn't even want it because it took them forever to give it to him. Will earned an Oscar somewhere between Men in Black 1 and 2. <laughs> For soon, this nigga's crazy. Men in Black was Oscar worthy, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. This type of behavior from them is why I don't watch the Oscars. And you shouldn't watch. Brother, if you think this is from Posh, it, 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 a sister is a black woman. There's a little av avatar, black Posh. Uh, you need to change that to hood life. If you think men in black deserves a fucking Oscar, get the fuck out of here. Well, of course, it's going to be racial, right? The Oscars will we'll ask you to be honest. The Oscars are not exactly... <laughs> A, a bastion of black male achievement or black male attendance or black male viewership or black black people, black viewership. How about that? Not black male. It's not a bastion of black society. It's the Oscars. So deeming the Oscars racist is like calling the wa water wet. I mean, are you serious? <laughs> that's, your, that's what you're going to do?
Like, share, subscribe, man. Hit the cash app. Yeah, calling the Oscar uh, racist or it, for black people who reflect and think the after they're going to remove that trophy after they revoke the trophy from Chris Rock, right? After they revoke the trophy, right? It's going to come in a month after they banish him from the Oscars to the black people who finally conclude, you know, after endless chin rubbing, after endless chin rubbing and 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 thinking hard thinking hard thoughts you you deem the oscar racist <laughs> it's like calling water wet yeah okay yeah it took you that long to conclude the oscar's racist but it, that has nothing to do with a black man assaulting another black man hell he still did what he did Go back to to Jamil Hill's Twitter. Speaking of racist, uh oh. The problem today is we don't judge a man by his actions, but instead we judge the actions depending on the man. Replace Will Smith with Mike Tyson, Mel Gibson. Now, how do you feel? Jimmy Hill Hills is just filled with uh, uh, Woody Allen and Roman Place. <laughs> Honestly, this is on the Academy. He should have been removed immediately if this was not a staged incident. He should have never been able to reach the stage, yeah? They say, he says, um, I think there should be a hefty fine for a charity of his choice. Why should he get to choose his charity? How is it a fine if he gets to choose his charity? I think that should be a hefty fine for for a charity. Uh, wait a minute, why should it? Fuck that! I should choose the charity, the charity of platinum, the charity of fucking platinum. Give me, he's worth four hundred and fifty. Give me two hundred million, and we'll call it a fucking day. How about that? The charity of platinum. I think that should be a hefty fine, a charity of his choice, and revoking voting privileges for a year. And 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 uh, a ban from the Oscars. How, however, taking this Oscar back will create a firestorm of controversy and people arguing who should and shouldn't have theirs taken. Well, you always got to start. You always got to be a, have a beginning. At the end of the day, I'm looking at Jamil Hill's Twitter, and 90 percent of these people think that what he did, uh, he shouldn't be punished for what he did. That's basically said. So they keep bringing up. Uh, the other guys, Woody and and Roman, and they keep saying what he did, he shouldn't be punished. And that's where we are in the black community. This is what we are, and, and and this is what we do. This is what we 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 co-sign this type of behavior. And I can all I got to do is dial up my local news, and read about. The, the crime and carnage that goes un... I mean, nobody cares. Right here, man got shot at a car wash. How about that? You think, you think people care about this brother? Some brother was out washing his car. Got shot. Probably got robbed. Probably was out washing his car. A couple of guys walked up on them, probably robbed them. Sometimes they don't even they don't even ask for money. They just shoot you first and then run your pockets. They don't even ask for money. They walk up on you, shoot you, run into you as you bleed out, as you wither, 
in pain and bleed out. They go into your, grab your wallet and then they walk away as you bleed the fuck out. When you could have easily said, hey, here's the wallet. Don't shoot me. Now, they don't, you don't get the chance to do that now. How you guys feel about that? You think that's cool? When you got Will Smith slapping guys, you think that's the type of behavior we need to applaud and make excuses for? I'm looking at the story right here. Two men wanted, shot a guy at a goddamn car wash. You want to see the pictures? I'm going to show you the picture. You want to see? Look at what I'm looking at. Fucking guy at a car wash. Get you guys, you probably don't even know they do that, did you? You guys, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you, you guys don't even know that they, they'll, they'll, they'll shoot you at a car. You guys don't even think that, do you? You probably wash your car, you've never thought twice about it. Yeah. Yeah, they will, bro, they'll be waiting back in the wings. Especially you got a nice car, too. They're going to get you. Might even take the car. Look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this. A goddamn car wash. You see this right? You see the picture right here? It's a goddamn car wash. That's not foam. That's not a foam wash. <laughs> That's not a foam wash. That's not a rinse free wax it's a gun what's the ak-47 full blaze full fucking blaze they're like what a full automatic at a car wash two men wanted in car wash you see what i'm saying See, see, for me, it's not funny because I see it every day. So I don't find it funny. That's what I'm saying. When I see these guys, I feel sorry for these young guys. Shake my head at them. Wish they could figure out whatever problems they're going through, try to figure them out. This is not the way. They're just turning turning in on each other, right? And you look at this. This is a guy, this is a goddamn car wash. Says, young man was washing his car at Super Suds when two men got out of a white Kia that was parked in the bay next to Thompson. The suspect stood at the entrance, exit of the bay, and began shooting at him with, with Draco style shortened rifles. Surveillance video shows the suspect fired multiple rounds at Thompson's before getting in the car and driving away. Just think about that. Thompson was pronounced dead at Region 1. Two suspects fled the area in a white Kia. Look at that. Draco-style weapons. Shortened rifles. Yeah. And these are the people who say with Will Smith, he didn't do nothing. Let him go. He ain't do nothing. This is what we need to see. This is what we need to be showing the black community. A man going another, on the stage and assaulting another man. When you got dudes pulling up in fucking a car wash with Draco style weapons and blowing a guy away. Yeah, of course you'll never hear about it. That's not Will Smith. Yeah, I'm, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. Of course, um, um, Jamil Hill, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, of course, they're going to all be for, for that, though. They support that. They support that. Meanwhile, this is what is going on in the community. They support, they support what Will Smith done. You know what, what, let me tell you guys, it's easy to, to, to be suburban. And what I mean by that is um, for, for Nikki, for all of those people, they're wealthy. They live in the hills, bro. They, you stand on their back porch, you can see down into Hollywood. I mean, they got mansions. They're in the mountain lions. You can't even, bro, you talking about robbing them, you're going to get eaten by a fucking mountain lion or a bear. If you try to sneak up on there, you try to climb up those Hollywood hills, those backyards, you're, you will be 
eaten by bears or a mountain lion will tote your ass off into his cave. You have zero chance of getting on their property unless you come through the entrance. They make it that way. And in some cases, they seed those hills with wildlife. They put uh, lot, they put fucking mountain lions and fresh fucking bear, fresh bears and shit. They put ducks and shit out there. They had to keep them fed. They keep them somewhat hungry, but fed. And they hope, Mr. Criminal, they hope you decide to, to uh, visit them through the, through the pool area. You're not going to make it. Also, they tell them, you know, that, hey, um, you know, you can't go. They, they're, they're told them they can't, you can't go, walk out there. Don't ever go down there. Never go down there, you know, ever. Also, if you, you know, see a bear and shit like that, how to defend yourself and how to, you know, don't leave food out. Lock up the back door. And they have defenses. You know, you never leave the back door open. And don't have small children out. But the guy who said, hey, I'm going to steal. I saw the, I saw a set of golf clubs. Good, I'm going to steal those golf clubs. I'm going I'm to I'm sneak up the back way. He's going to be eaten by bears. What's up with you, little Shirley? He's going to be consumed by bears. And, and the sad thing about it, he's not going to be fully eaten. He's going to be attacked by the bear, mauled by the bear. He's still going to be alive, though. It's, you know, the bear cubs are going to chew on his toes and his fingers. The mama bear... Is going to eat portions of them. So it's possible the thief is going to live for about three days as he's consumed slowly by the bears. <laughs> That's got to be agonizing, bro. It's got to be agonizing. You got to be telling that bear, hey, man, he's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating the legs. You, you feeling that shit too. <laughs> bear. Knowing the bear, he'll probably get to your torso. Uh, hey, just leave it alone. He'll probably wander off. You know, a big ass bear. They'll probably take a dump right by your head. Man. Fucking 450-pound bear. And he'll probably just waddle off and leave you in some dark-ass cavern, bleeding, half alive, dismembered. You'll probably keep wake. You'll wake up. Yeah, just pa a painful fucking death, bro. You can't even just, you can't even imagine the pain you're going to suffer trying to rob somebody in those Hollywood Hills and not realizing it's packed with bears and mountain lions. And thinking that you got a chance of outrunning a bear. You really, you think you'd outrun a bear? You think you can outmaneuver a bear on a hilly mountainside that's slanted, you know? You think you can outjump and outmaneuver? You, you, you think you can outmaneuver a bear? When he's grown up on those hills, all he's been doing climbing those hills. You, you, yeah, yeah, it's over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. And realize it's it's a slow death. It's over. You're not. You're gonna die because you can't. You can't ev evade him. But at the end of the day, man, Will Smith disgraced the black community and the black community should not stand with him. He needs to be held accountable. Listen, he did his job. He, he, we saw it with Sidney Poitier. We saw it with Denzel. Who's a, who's a shame of Denzel. We love Denzel. Show me where am I? Where, Denzel. He's Denzel's a one woman man. He's been married to his wife. What? Plus 40 years. 
He does Shakespeare. He's a Shakespearean fucking actor. He said he'd go, he'd do Shakespeare every day if he could. He loves it. He loves the craft. Where's the disgrace? He had to accept that he didn't out, he lost out to lesser talent, Will fucking Smith. A fucking One of the biggest disgraces was that Denzel Washington lost out to Will Smith, a fucking liquor store thug. That's what he is. He's a fucking liquor store thug. He lost out to Will Smith, a gas station thug. He's that Will Smith is the guy when you go to get gas who's out bumming for money. He's out bumming for money. Bro, you got to get a dollar. He, that's what he lost out to. That's who he lost out to. So that was a disgrace, brother. That in itself was a disgrace. Will Smith, I mean, I can't say who's going to get the award if they take it. I don't know. I don't know how they handle that. <laughs> thank you Shirley he's a simp there you go he's a simp we need to do better you know what's sad though what's I'm going to tell you the truth what's really sad <clears throat> is you guys a lot of you guys don't get it A lot of you guys don't get it. The day of the thug is over, bro. In the black community, it's over. You guys can say that you are. The day of the thug is over. I see kids going to college. I see young boys getting ready to go to college, getting their degrees. To totally invested in America. Dressing nice, watching what they eat. 100% invested in America. They're not doing anything illegal. They're not hooked on drugs. They're not selling drugs. There's a segment of the black community that's totally a part of, of, of making the best they can. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny, Big Smoke. There's a part of the black community that's very successful, boy, very upward mobile, man. And when I look at those guys and I see those guys and I see their progression and I see the the the, 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 um, the commitment to success they have. And then I see guys who are, for whatever reason, poor parenting or just maybe they just don't want to do anything. They're lazy. And I see that they have a commitment to the hood. It's just it's saddening to me. It's, it's saddening to me. It's sad. It's sad. And any woman who would want their husband to go and assault a man, she does not love that man. She cares nothing about that man. Do me a favor, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. Will Smith's about to have his Oscar taken from him. Do you think he should keep it? Do you think that, you know, hey, they need to just say, man, forget this. It's no big deal. Do you think he should keep his Oscar? You think the Academy Award is racist? Well, we, <laughs> whatever they call <laughs> the Academy Awards is racist. Any, anyhow, uh, uh, well, obviously they're going to be labeled racist no matter what they do. So that that's not even a, a conversation.
Let's go look at the latest. Oh, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp had a, um, you know, Shannon Sharp is gone. <laughs> Shannon Sharp, bro. Shannon Sharp. What's wrong with that brother? Um, Shannon Sharp had a, a interesting take. On the uh, Oscars, even though he does sports reporting, uh, <laughs> what's wrong with that brother? Despite the fact he does sports reporting, he decided to chime in on now that. That's a hell of a of a lean right there. How did he manage to talk discuss? He says on TMZ, I'm looking, I would have whooped Will's ass. Let me see. He claims he would have whooped his ass. Now, I don't know about that, Shannon. I think that that's actually, you're part of the problem when you think like that. It's not about whooping Will's ass. Here we go. Here we go. We got Shannon Sharp, Mr. Big Mouth. Mr. Big Mouth right here, Shannon Sharp. That suit he got on, that grandmama suit. They still make suits like I didn't even know he made suits like this anymore. Where you get that? He that's his granddaddy's suit like that. But where he find that suit at? That's a that's that that's them curtain suits. I don't even know they even made them junts no more. Like grandma, that's granddad's suit right there, bro. That's an old suit, bro. I didn't know. Where did he find that at? He must have dug that up. That's his granddaddy suit. They don't make suits like this no more. That thing hot too, bro. That's that. That's a wool blend. That's that itchy John. That motherfucker, that itchy. That's old school. That's an itchy ass suit that nigga got, bro. Where you find that cheap shit at? Itchy ass suit. Here we got. Here, where is that? Uh, I got. I get over here. And... Yeah, that's that. That's that itchy ass suit. 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 You would never be asked to go to the Oscars, and you certainly would never be rewarded anything for Oscars, for, for, for acting, Shannon. With the NFL star explaining, he would have tried to beat the hell out of Will Smith for slapping him. Sharp made the claim while breaking down the Academy Awards on FS1. I don't get that one. How do you break down the Academy Awards on, on uh, your sports undisputed show? Yo, bro, I got I to gotta go. I didn't see the segment. That's a hell of a read. How, how did they manage to direct the commentary to the Oscars? That's a sports show. He says, undisputed on Monday, saying without hesitation, I would have come up out of that tux. I would have whooped Will's ass. Oh, okay. 
Now I, have, I, don't, I don't get the point. Why is it so important for you to say that, Shannon? Say he needs to apologize to Chris Rock. Why is it so important that you say that? So I have to agree with people. That's that's, that's inappropriate, um, Shannon. It's not. You shouldn't have to say. You shouldn't say because to me, you're almost advocating violence. On the slick, you're doing the same thing, Chris. You're not physically, but you're advocating violence, brother. If you say the N-word, you spit on me, you slap me, because if we go back to when we were less than, that's what we they did. They didn't punch you, they slapped you. Well, that was a black man. Well, how did how did he curve this into a white? This was a black man assaulting a black man, um, Shannon. The 53-year-old Hall of Famer said he would have not been able to remain as calm as Rock because he believed a slap to the face is one of the worst things you can do to a man. There's three things, especially in our community. No, no. See, there we go again. No, no. This is what Negroes used. They tried to justify their BS and their dysfunction by saying the, the black community, if you say the N-word, you spit on me, you slap me. What are you talking about? That was a black man assaulting another black man. Shannon went on to say he believes Smith's anger was misguided, saying he thinks Smith should have went after August. Oh, okay. He should have went after August Al 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 Alcina over the previous entanglement with Smith's wife. Oh, you think, let's get this down, Mr. Beta Male. You think he should have beat up August Alcina because his wife greenlighted a entanglement. So therefore, you think you need to put pause on August, Mr. Beta. Oh, now we see how you think, Mr. Beta male. Look, go fight that dude. Oh, go fight the guy who your wife wanted to make love to. That's the dude I'm looking for. That was all up in my house doing what I should have been doing. Oh, okay. Despite the fact he was invited into the home and his wife invited him into the bed, go beat him up. Okay, Mr. Beta. Of course, Rock finally didn't respond physically to Will's outburst. He declined to file a police report. See, this is what I'm talking about. Shannon's a beta. Shannon is beta as fuck. This is a beta male right here. Yeah, he's a beta. And this is this is fake tough guy stuff. You see what I'm saying? He's in my opinion, he's just as bad as Will Smith. He's actually advocating violence on here. This is beta male. This that's bait, that's the, the mind of a beta male. Oh, go beat up the man that was invited into your home by the son and then infertile invited into your bed by the wife. Go beat him up. Okay, Mr. Beta male. That makes like no sense, Mr. Beta. And it's Beta, man. Why would you go and assault this brother? That brother ain't did. August ain't. Listen, he was invited into her bed. What did he do wrong? Listen to me. If I'm over a man's house, if I've been invited into that man's house, and he said, hey, man, you can sleep on that, um, that, that, Sofa right there. Go ahead and get that sofa. That's a little guest room for you. Uh, you're welcome to the kitchen. Um, hey, that TV right there, that go to the remote. That's yours, man. He go key to the to the house. You can park your car right there. Hey, man, just make yourself at home, man. Okay. I'm invited. If his wife invites me to the bedroom. I'm going to comply. I've been invited. I'm a guest. I don't want to be a rude guest. What are you supposed to do? Turn it down? That's rude. His wife says, hey. Come upstairs. We have an open marriage. Okay. Well, I was downstairs having a tuna fish sandwich. You guys got some good tuna. What's your, let me get this slaw. I'll take a, he a healthy heap in the slaw too. Why would he come home and assault me? What did I, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to have on my little 
pink. I'm gonna have on my house shoes. I'm gonna have my little funny. I have this little scarf I sleep with. This little funny hat. It's a little funny. I think it's, it's got like the um funny looking hat. You know, it's a hat. I should go get that hat. I can show you the hat. I can show you a picture of it. I got this little headdress I wear when I sleep. So I got my little funny hat on and I'm a, I'm sound asleep and I'm snoring. I just fucked his wife. I bust off. I wasted my nuts. So I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping deeply. Mm. Mm. Why would he come in and wake me up and, and say I was wrong to, to slaw his wife? I was invited. Now he can have conversations with the wife. But it's inappropriate to, to get upset with me about me and the wife. And we pin in the link, man. If you want to join, you have conversation. You have your thoughts. We'll take your thoughts. We'll take your comments. Conversation. First of all, bro, uh, I don't. I have a place to live. Have I actually have a home, so I don't need to live in anybody's guest room. A B. You have to act. You, I got to see her. I can't. I can't say I will or won't. I have to see her. <laughs> But for Augie, man, you got to understand, he's a younger man, man. She's an older woman. Uh, you don't know how much she might have, you know, seduced that man. But going after August Al Alcina, if that's his name, August Alcina, would have been a bitch move by Will. And for all we know, how we know we did, how we know Will didn't do that. We don't know that. We don't know if Will, Will might have jaw jacked him while he was up in the house. It never came out. We don't know that he didn't. Will Smith, though, Hollywood. Will Smith pretty much ruined his career. Will Smith probably, his movies will, will probably be blacklisted. You'll probably never see him. Will Smith's movies are not BET movies. BET has to, uh, Viacom really has to pay. You have to pay to play a movie. They they can't, they don't, um, BET doesn't make the money to afford to, to run a regular rotation of Will Smith movies. That's HBO, Showtime, shit like that. They, they, they have to have the money. You have to have the money to show those movies. You have to pay those more. Everybody on those actors get paid every time they show one. Syndication. So Will Smith, his movies are not, they, they cost too much for a BT. So you're probably never going to see his films. You're never going to see his films anymore. You guys ever wonder why BT plays all of those bad movies? Because they're cheap. First of all, BT can get away with it because A, nobody's going to play Roll Bounce. Nobody's playing Roll Bounce. If it's free, they wouldn't play Roll Bounce, okay? That's A, B. So BT gets to come in, get Roll Bounce, pay peanuts for it, and then sell, sell it to advertisement. Then they can gaslight the advertising and scream racism. Coca-Cola, you guys don't advertise on BT. Why y'all advertise? Y'all racist. That's what I'm saying. They get that money. Get that money. Coca-Cola look at him and say, yeah, okay, put some ads on BET. So how much does I add on BET? 20000 That's 20000 That's how much it normally costs. Yeah, but what are you playing? Roll bounce. How much you paying for roll bounce? A hundred dollars. <laughs> That's why they play a lot of older cinema because 
it doesn't cost money. The network really doesn't make money. Some people say it's out use, outlived its usefulness. They saying that you no longer even need a BET. Will Smith. Will Smith is going to wind up. Yo, 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 platinum, platinum, testing, testing. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Will Smith is going to wind up in the junkyard of history. That's that's where he's going to wind up. He's going to wind up. He's going to be forgotten. I get Will Smith five years. Five years, you won't even know who Will Smith was. What's up with your do business? You hear me? Oh, hold on. Let me put something in the private channel. Okay, I got you. Will Smith will wind up in the history books. A forgotten actor. He acted a fool. At the greatest moment of his life, he decided to cut up fool. He cut an ass. And he's going to pay for it. It's not even about blackballing him. He was at the end of his rope anyhow as far as his acting career. So he was not, you know, he, he was in fucking Suicide Squad. I mean, you would think a movie like that is way beneath the guy. He didn't do the, they did a number two. He wasn't in that. Will Smith is going to wind up on the edges of our, of, of our society, the junkyard of our society. He will go down in history with names like uh, uh, um, I'm trying to think of some. What's that guy from a different world? Used to wear those glasses. Kareem Hardison. What's up, Platt? What's up with you? Yeah, he'll go down in the hi- history with Kareem Har- Hardison. And the light skin dude. What's the light skin dude's name? What was their names on the show? I don't even remember his best friend's name. That, that, that's, what's gonna, that's what's going to happen to Will Smith. <laughs> you took me back. Damn. His first brother brought up his best friend. I forgot all about him. There you go. That's gonna be that's gonna be Will Smith in five years. Uh, no, no, I disagree. And I'm amazed at the motherfucking manosphere stance. Yes, it was a simp move, but at the same time, I look at it. He was defending his wife. That was the wrong place. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. You actually think he was defending his wife? Yes, it was the wrong place. Joke. So defending your wife is. Going toward, going towards a man who's probably two hundred feet away. I mean, he basically. I mean, just due to all the PR, all the shit that's been out, he was at a breaking point. Platt. I mean, you could look at his face. He was. I mean, shit. He was nervous that night too. Okay. Is that is that how our our laws work? Yeah. For, I mean, in that state of mind, you're not thinking about the law. Is that the the society we live in? Is that how our laws work, though? That's the new it, society. Yes. Okay, so so I can tell the judge that I was going through a lot of shit, and the judge so, let you off for reason of, of insanity. Yep. Got him right. Where? Texas. What court you? Shit, Texas. I, I could shoot you just if you if I feel my life is threatened. Well, I don't know. I mean, we'd have to look at that. I would have to know the whole case, but I'm telling you. <laughs> no, saw, I can shoot you if I can feel my life is threatened. I'd have to see that case. That's a case by case situation. But what I'm saying, that has nothing to do with what Will did. What I'm trying to you is this. You said he was going through something. So therefore, mm-hmm. that's yeah. going to work with the, no, it's not going to work with the judge. Judge don't care about that. Well, I mean, the case, it ain't going to be a case because he ain't going to have any charges against him. I'm just saying in that state of mind. He's not thinking about the law. Well, then you're going to go to, if then you'll be probably going to prison. Nah, for what? A slap? You're not going to prison for no motherfucking slap. Come on, Platt. Brother, you can go to prison for a slap. Yeah, for, you what? Can go to, for, you what? Can for what? For what? On a clear record? Come on, bro. 
You can go to prison. You cannot you, well, hold go on, to hold prison on. in the United me, States uh, if you have a wait a minute. record for a slap. Let me take that. Let me take prison out. You can go to jail. Take city prison, yeah. No, take wait a minute. Prison. City jail. You can go to city jail. They'll put you there. They ain't gonna keep you long. You'll be in city God jail. He go to, He's a wait a minute. He has can go 350 to, million for a slap. That's a 250 dollar fine. Please. He can Will Smith it. can go to city jail for assault for what he done. All right. And you, you're assuming that. No, no. You're assuming that he'll that's just it. get a fine. You're well, assuming that you don't you don't know what judge you don't you card. don't you don't well he's not but I'm saying you don't know what judge he's going in front of. You don't know that. A judge is still charging a percentage of no, his, not of necessarily his value. he'll still get out. They're gonna look at jail. let me tell you something. What he did, he'll go to jail for. You know why? Because he climbed on a stage, he climbed up a stage and he proceeded to a, he 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 came into contact and he assaulted a guy. So that is different. That's not that's not um the guy cat in your face. That that's not, you know, the guy was right next to you. He said something to your wife, like she got a fine ass, he's right next to you. No, this is you actually getting up, going to a Long guy. So that day. changes things. That well, changes. He went like too I far said, away. He was in that. I mean, he was already, I mean, he really was already mental. But again, in that frame of mind. He reacted. Now, also, remind you what he said when he went back to his seat. Keep my wife named out your fucking mouth. And he said it yeah, twice. Yeah, don't, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, don't repeat. Don't, don't. Oh, I'm sorry about the, 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 the profile. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. What about it? I mean, that should let you know right there. Will was already at beyond the tipping point. That's why Denzel and Tyler approached him. Because he was already, he was already gone. I mean, that was an outburst, bro. Yeah, look, look I got the different world cast pulled up. They said his name was Dwayne. Was that his name on the uh, show? It was Dwayne? Wasn't Kareem? No, no, Kadeem Dwayne. Harrison, his name Kadeem. was Dwayne? Yeah. Okay, and the other guy, they got Ron. His name was Ron. Ron. Okay. Yeah, see, I forget. Yeah, they've forgotten the history. <laughs> and that's what's going to be Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> they got them all up here. Yeah. I saw them, saw them on Google. Yeah. Listen, that's going to happen to, um, that's what's going to happen to Will Smith. He's going to be forgotten about. He's going to be written out of history. Man, I mean, this whole ordeal got me just totally tripped out on marriage. I'm just like, dang, this is how. This is how black men are actually just getting put out in the media. The fall, the end of marriage, of your wedding. Well, mm -mm. No, marriage is, if you want to get married, you can have a marriage. But even within a marriage, you can't let a woman use you. A woman cannot demand that you feed her ego, you know, all the time. You, the one, women, look, there are guys who do this, but women like men to fight over them. Yeah, they, they get they get a feeling off of that. They like they see yeah, they get a rush. Get violent. Yeah, they get a rush. Yeah, they get yeah. off on it. Yeah, yeah. there's women right now as we walk around. They they're on that fourth, fifth husband. Guys keep fighting over them. Guys get shot by other guys. That's crazy. Crazy. Man, women women lie too. This is another thing, guys. Don't get a woman will lie to your face. She will say. A woman will go up to a guy and um, say, how come you don't never try to talk to me? You will say, well, oh, you ain't really my type. What you mean? You ain't my type. Damn. It's like that. No, nah, you know, I, I, I'm married. You're not my type. Then when her husband shows up, she'll say, that guy right there, uh, he said I wasn't shit. He told me I was a bitch. And her husband said, what? Him, that guy right there, I hate him. Women lie. And her husband will be like, what? What did he say? He'll be like, wait a minute. Well, I'm, you know, I got to go to work. Well, I hope, you you know, I know you're going to want to do, don't do nothing to him. Don't do nothing to him. Just wait. You know, and then, then you know, one day he'll just confront you. Why, why the fuck are you talking to my wife like that? And you'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's what bitch, bitches do that all the time, bro. 
And they know they, I know they do it. They lie. They start fights amongst men all the time. That's why you have to know who you married. That's why you got to know the chick you're dealing with. These chicks are sleep. Bro, these chicks are sleep with one guy and lie to your face. I ain't sleeping with my ex or I don't care that about him. That guy, I don't even like him. That's a scandalous woman. Well, yeah, they draw, they draw men in the fire a lot. That's what I'm saying. I think he should just go ahead and cut his losses. So he's looking at, you know, he said net worth 350 mil and divorce. That'd be about 175 to about 175 or more to Jada. And then just rebuild his life. All those motivation videos he's done. He should be also eating his words and learning from his own words. He put out. Yeah, But see, that goes down to talk to talk, walk to walk. It's easy to yes, talk sir. to talk. He don't yes, walk sir. to walk. Mm-hmm. You got to walk the walk. See, and, and he was in a position to become a, a a leader, man, and too much pressure. And you could say his wife got to him. You know, his. Yeah. His, it's like she purposely just, did she just do this just to fuck it up for him? I'm sorry about that. I wouldn't put it past her. Why? Because it's about her. Know? Yeah, about her. She took his moment. She made it about her. That's narcissism on a whole different level. Yeah, he's he's an empath. She's a narc. He receives. Uh, she she gives. He receives. Uh, That's what I mean. Everybody call him, you know, because he's a narc. I mean, he's a um, he's an empath. People assume that you know. Well, he's not a tough guy, so he is empathic. He's a funny guy. He's an empath. Most funny guys are empathic. They they feel they can just feel the feel people. They can just they have they have an ability to connect that other people don't have. She's a narc. She's angry. She's that bitter. Explains, Those yeah. are narcs. That yeah, explains they Chris yeah. Rock's re, uh, his reaction throughout the whole thing. Yeah, there you go. His facial expressions. Yeah, I was picking up on that. I was watching. He's that. empath. Watching He's an empath. Yeah. They can act on those emotions. They just don't because that's a different world. That opens up a different set of feelings. And many empathic people don't like, they don't like that. They don't like to go down that, that side. They don't want, they don't like that side of them. In a sense, they don't like that world. Well, if he's empathic, how would he, how we, how would he make that joke about Jada though? I mean, didn't the production actually write out the joke? That wasn't even a bad joke. What, G.I. Jane? What the fuck? It, wasn't, no, it really wasn't a bad joke, but it did point out to her hair loss. What that, about it? That's She's what I, been, I mean, I mean, you look at a young black woman that's that, that, you know, is losing hair. I automatically assume there could be health reasons behind it and just be respectful. Because, I mean, what if she's stage four, bro? And she's not, but you know, what if it's something like what if what if what if she lost her hair what, what due if, to what cancer? If, yeah, what if she is stage four? Yeah. What I can mean, Chris Rock do about it? Do you actually think do you actually think I think he wouldn't have made a joke if he did? Yeah, I, I don't think he would. I don't and if nobody yeah. would do that. Yeah. They've never made a joke about uh I've never seen someone going through uh cancer treatments and somebody get on stage and make a joke of it. Nobody jokes. Think some things are serious, some things are fun. You know, alopecia that says so that life threatening. <coughs> no, it's not. Yeah, what's the big deal? So she is bald headed. I didn't know she. And all she got to do is put a fucking wig on. What's the big deal? I didn't know she even had it. I mean, usually if I see, you know, well, you gonna know her hair. because it's opportunity for her to to uh, get some attention. So she walks around with a bald head. Ah, uh, during Oscars night. Yeah, I was telling people he shouldn't even brought her with her. He should have left her at home. You can't leave your wife at home for Oscars night. Uh uh-uh. uh. You have to you take can't her. leave Jada home. You can leave your wife. <laughs> First of all, bro, you, you gotta know who you're married to. Listen, you got listen, bro. You can marry you wanna marry a woman who wants to fight you for for the front, you know, the front seat of the, the marriage or whatever the whole time, front seat of the car. Go ahead. I mean, man, Jada, you know, even that little short sense she did on a different world back in before she, you know, rose to fame. I mean, I was in her corner for a minute, man, because I, I looked at her as the ideal type of chick 
that gets with the black man who has a kid and becomes the bond between the whole family. She brought the family together and she held it down for Will while Will arrives. I mean, he's making 100 mil films, got a good streak going. And then all this dirt start coming out once Tupac passes on. And it all just comes back. Here we are in 2022 and we still talking about it. I'm like, good grief. Pac, listen, bro. Y'all keep bringing up Pac. Uh, Pac didn't bone her. I don't think they ever did, but I mean, if they did or not. Pac Pac slaughtered and went on about his business. He ain't thinking about that woman, bro. I mean, I was back in high school. I mean, he's still bringing it up. (laughs) No, she bringing it up. Pac slaughtered and went on about his business. Listen, at the end of the day, um, she's not a good wife. She doesn't know what a wife is. She's she's trying to be something she's not. She tried to be an actress. She failed. This Hawthorne and all this bullshit. That's him. He ke- She gets opportunity because of him. And she fails. Now this red table talk bullshit. Yeah. It's called nothing but... Disharmony in the black community. That's all it does. Hawthorne was pretty bad. Yeah. That was awful. Waste she does a, a movie with what? Mark Anthony. She sucks his dick. You know, she's trash, bro. <laughs> she's trash. You get rid of her. You don't you don't hit her. But you serve the bitch papers. You be like, look, I think I've earned enough. I've worked hard enough. To have, uh, you know, someone in my life who gives a fuck about me. And you obviously don't. Yeah. Simple as that. So you yeah. sucked at Mark Anthony's dick. How many times do I have to walk in a room and you got a dick in your mouth? Yet you're telling me I got to fucking fight for you and stand up for you. You sucking off the band, yet you want me to go to, out here and fight. That bitch is weird, bro. You think? I mean, is she having a mental breakdown herself, bro? We passed that point. She been had that. I mean, was it post wall? That bitch had a mental breakdown like in the nineties. That bitch yeah. came undone like ninety four. Did she have like a metal rock group <laughs> or something? <laughs> She's come undone. <laughs> Let me stop. We finna go back to the doors now, huh? <laughs> she never knew what she was looking for. That bitch has come undone, bruh. <laughs> Try the 90s. Uh-oh. Oh, guess what, man? I must be doing good. They put, they spamming me. I ain't been around for a while. Look at that. Wow. Adult dating. Wow. Yeah, I know. Block you. Let me block that. Hey, bots. Zap them. Zap them. We got some. We got some little. You know what? Uh, whoever doing this best can. You really don't have to advertise porn, man. Niggas is over there. <laughs> they already. They already there. They're going to beat you to it. <laughs> they already there. <laughs> Niggas that got that shit on they in they tabs. They, they got people come on streams. They got that shit tabbed up, bookmarked. You don't need to come over here with your spam. Come on, go to the porn sites. They already there. But about the Oscar, I don't think they can revoke it. I mean, as the Academy, the Academy should the Academy should fine them at most. And then also part of that fine, which Will will honestly do. He'll pay the fine, um, which will also, you know, be community work, which Will will also do as well. He's a stand-up guy. I mean, to crucify him the way people have is fucking pitiful. I mean, here we are talking about he could be a potential leader. Now, nah, Will is a leader. Will pays his bills. I, When I worked for Amex, I actually met his father. And spoke with Jada and Will himself. The man pays his bill on time. The man is about business. I would I would hope he does. He's pretty he actually has the money. Yes, sir. I mean, he is. I mean, he's a stand-up dude. Always have been. 
Man, he's had he's had some slips because I mean, yeah, he accidentally hit uh in the study accidentally hit Anthony Mackey <laughs> once at a party. And he has that temper. I mean, he has that big willy. He also has that semi rig when he's on his production set that everybody wanna be in that has his own basketball court. So I mean, you know, they should just give him a, a fine, which he'll honestly pay. You know, do some PSAs. But he definitely needs to take some time off and work on himself. They need to revoke the award. For what? He earned it. He lost it with his behavior when he misbehaved. Oh, actors lose. They they lose. They lose their temper sometimes. They own no. the humor. They, they have human. to. Okay. They need to rescind the award. Will Smith is not worthy. Hold on, let me read something. Violence is not condoned, but it is awarded in an Oscar. That was 12 years of slaves. So don't tell me they don't condone it. They gave an award for it. They Fuck. oh they they awarded them for the violence? They awarded for the slavery. You can't tell me slavery. Oh, they awarded the them for so now you're getting rewarded for slavery. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Mm-mm. And then they went and then they went. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't white. want I wouldn't want you to be my lawyer, bro. I wouldn't want. I know I'll be doing. J- I'll never get out. Okay. <laughs> in a dishonorable fashion, thereby also dishonoring the academy members and the academy awards. The academy takes seriously the conduct of its members. If you commit an act which, under the circumstances at the time, showed you to be dishonest, indecent, lawless, cruel or lacking in certain moral standards, the Ithaca Academy believes you disgraced yourself in a fashion that would bring discredit upon the Academy as a whole, you will be revoked. Ah. He's revoked. He's revoked. Ah. <laughs> nope. Denied. Not going to happen. He's revoked. Nah, not going to happen. Nope. <laughs> No, nope. he's revoked. Get out of here. No, sir. Not gonna happen. Nope. What the? Yo, yo, what's good, Platt? What's up with you, bro? Just chilling, man. Uh, <laughs> I kind of disagree with you a little bit when I heard a few things you said, but then you know, you have to think about it and use uh common sense now, naturally. If, like you were talking about with the August uh, Alcina thing, if a man was to catch his woman having sex with another man, naturally, a guy is gonna, you know, spaz out. You know, what I'm saying? if and you're up. in a if you're in an open marriage and the wife invites you into, if you've been invited into the home, you've been handed out a pillow, you've been handed out a blanket, you've been handed out. Bedding instructions, i.e., you will take your bedding there. This is where you will sleep. This is the refrigerator. This is the keys to the house. This is right. where we, if you've been, you're a part of the home. If the wife invites you into the bed, how can the man then get upset about you fucking his wife? Right. I mean, uh, yeah, that's that. Thank you. I, you I mean, because to be, to be I, I honest you. with you, he would be rude to turn down the offer. What, what you want to be bad? Hold up! You want to be bad company? What, what, you might not want to fuck. Listen, you might not want to fuck his wife, but you don't want to be a rude guest. You don't want to be bad company. <laughs> wait a minute! Hold on! <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! So you saying that? So you saying that it's okay for it, even if you are invited into the house? So you saying is if the woman comes at you? If you're in that situation, so you're saying it's okay for the guy to do that? It's good comp. If you want to be good company, God, Platinum, <laughs> what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> I mean, if if they're swingers, he really shouldn't care. I mean, I understand they- that, I, and I get y'all, but and, and that's the thing. That's the one thing I do agree with Platinum is like you have to keep yourself out of jail. So I, I get it, Platinum. Don't do anything to get yourself locked up. So, yeah, if you invite that into your home, then, you know, it is what I'm it is. I'm going to say this to you. Yeah. And you guys, I, I, you I think I'm you. playing. If you decide to make your bedding, your, you say three weeks, these people invited you into their home. If you decide to become a part of what's going on in that house, they have an open marriage. 
if she invites you into her bed, you can refuse, but you don't understand. Even if you're not interested, you don't find her sexually attractive. She's not what you deal with. You good. You got a couple of girls that you're trying to get at and you don't want to waste the nut on her. Even under those circumstances, you still got to join her in the bed and you got you to take your time. You got to slow fuck her because you want to be good company. And that shit matters. Them people yeah, took I mean, you in and the way swingers, you pay them back. It matters to swingers. But like okay, I said, the but, average guy okay. is not going to go for that. Like, come on. No, man. if you go into that home, you accept the offer. You go in and you accept that offer. Well, I mean, I'm never going to be in a situation like that anyway, but I, I understand what you're saying, bro. I, I, I get it, but I, you, I, 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 I agree, but then at the same time, it's like, come on, man. that That's crazy, bro. Just think about you, it. It, it. Brother, brother, are you good company or not? Are you a good guest? That doesn't mean I have to have sex with this man's <laughs> wife. <laughs> We've got to go over there to bang a wife. I'm dude. done, bro. <laughs> it, to them, if you go into that house, that house it does. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at them weird. If I was in a situation like that, I'm gonna look at them like they weird because it's like I'm looking at the dude like, so you just gonna let me smash your woman and you don't care? Like, what's up with you, bro? Like, are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, come on. Where are your Where are your manners? Do business. Where my manners? <laughs> See, platinum. You, I would ask you know what if I was Will Smith, I would ask you to leave. You have no manners. You tell my wife no. What? <laughs> you have no manners. I'm sorry, bro. I thought it was gonna work out. It ain't gonna work out. What is? See, Give me back my pillow and my blanket. There are swinger couples like that where the hubby is actually that so offended. Them, I, let me ask you. But are you, are you a very Christian? Very weird. Like, are you a Christian? Are you a religious person? Like I, I'm serious. Do you believe in God? Who? Oh, come on, me. Yes. Do you are you? Are, yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't. I have a have a place to stay. I'm just telling. If you go into Will's house, those things are on the table. Just like there's a bowl of tuna fish down there that's tasty, nice, tasty bowl of tuna fish. You throw a little mayonnaise, a little bread. Yum, yeah, yum, yum. Okay. Well, she got but some slaw upstairs too. But you, you do. Jada's know that got it, a bowl of slaw for you upstairs. What you gonna do? But what I'm saying is that you do know that it's more than ten commandments. But we're gonna stick with the ten. So, what is one of the ten commandments? Thou shall not commit. Thou adultery. shall have his own bedding. That's what that I'm is. Saying, but if you're gonna get married, what's the sense of committing adultery? You disrespecting God. We got Raven Knight up here. Hold up, Raven. Have a oh, let's do business, Raven. Oh no, I talked to you. Hold up. We got Joey. We got Yachtman two point on. What's up with you, Yachtman? Oh, what it do? What y'all doing? First time pull up. What's up with you, Yachtman? Who is this? Yeah, yeah, from uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Yachtman, you sound like a white. You a white boy? <laughs> Yachtman, nah, nah, nah. But why you call I, your, why you call yourself Yachtman? Uh, I, I used to work on the yacht back in the day, but it's a different. Let, in, Wisconsin? in Wisconsin? No, 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 no. Back in the UK, but that's uh in the, the UK. Back in the day, but that's not. You, I have a question for y'all though. Like between Jada and Will, what do you think came up with the idea of an open relationship? What do you think came up? Both with Jada, Jada, Jada. <laughs> both of them. No, Jada. Nah, you get into a union like that, it's, it's on both halves. Right. No, nah, you know? it's not. No, it's not. It's I mean, Jada. they go. They went to the parties at that point, and, you know, they was like, they wanted to be together, and they knew they were going, you know, Jada was like, you know, I know girls going to be coming after you, and she want to have her own fun. And, yeah. And and, Boss, and one more thing. Was, when the daughter, when the daughter was writing letters to Tupac, I'm like, God damn. One thing Ooh. is your wife. The daughter was writing the letter to the pack is online. The daughter. What's his name? Well, yeah, Willow? that was that Willow? was a little bit. Yeah. No, well, hold on, hold on. What's his name? Mister Wisconsin. Name. What's the rapper's name? Tupac. 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 <laughs> yeah. She, Tupac. Tupac. This nigga is from Wisconsin. Yeah. This nigga said pack. Tupac. Get the wife. Tupac. Get the wife. Go ahead, bro. How the hell? Is your daughter writing a letter to your wife's ex or whatever, and right putting the letter on the, on the internet, and that doesn't bother you? Because and of Jada. Cool because of Jada. I mean, do, I mean, I don't. Something she's doing. 
maybe something is going on with Will nobody knows about. Maybe he has some dark shit that she knows. She got something on him, though. That's my thing. She got something in that he, No, he's just a sucker for love. If I'm from Philly, so I I'm I know people that know people from, you know, that that demographic where Will grew up at. And they said he's a sucker for love. He's not one of these hood niggas. He's not. But that's not Philly. love. He's, that, that ain't love. That, it's, not, it's not love. But if you, you got to understand that when you get a dude that's, you could consider him as a lame or cornball or whatever, and he gets that hood chick, man, it's like a, 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 it's like a rush. And then Jada, she's a freak. That's a super rush. That's why he put a ring on that whore. Like, you got to understand, like, a lot of these dudes, they get consumed with the worst women, and we love them. <laughs> Certain ones. Well, the, the empaths have to be careful because they get motivated by narcs. But hold up. Will the response have been the same? Will the response... See, you know what? You guys know I have... Reading is fundamental, but not necessarily on Platinum's channel. You guys be all fucked up grammar, bro. You make it worse. Will the response have been the same if Will slapped a white, Jewish, gay, transsexual woman on national TV? Goes back to his sit and then wins an award. No, what the fuck? He, hey, up a lot he, he ain't writing that shit right out right. Yeah, I mean, that's irrelevant I know. anyway. That's, that comment is irrelevant. It, it doesn't that shit even was matter. Written. It really is. Yeah. It, it's Baba, where you at, bro? You seventh grade? No, this what, fourth grade? <laughs> what great than somebody else that has nothing to do with what happened? I mean, he slapped Chris Rock, so it's irrelevant. Brownie says she made uh, pancakes and turkey sausage for the chat box. So, oh, oh thank you. Go, go, go you. get you a plate. Go get you a plate. I'm on a diet though. I'm good. Okay, we well, can get you. you, you, get, you a, you get some turkey sausage. I'm trying to lay off all that plat. Two pop. Yachtman. Mm -hmm. Two packs. That what y'all call them in Wisconsin? Two pack. Man, whatever, <laughs> dog. Whatever. <man. laughs> no, <buddy. laughs> Look at that. You get tight. Don't get tight, boy. <laughs> y'all going to hell with your coming up with this idea of a guest. Have like okay, because August. Yeah, said, that, that, no, no. that's what I'm talking about. I can't. I uh, can't agree with you on that, Platinum. I just can't. August bro. said. August said he talked to Will about it. Let's not forget that part. He said. He, he, hold he, on. Hold on. Hold on. It, if he's inviting somebody, if, if he know his wife is a whore. You know what I'm saying? And he inviting that man into his house, knowing that she got a, a reputation of being promiscuous and getting it in and being a sex addict or whatever she said she was. Yeah, it is kind of dis. Yeah, let him go ahead and do what he gotta do with her. Nah, it ain't bro, his fault. That's not. The it reason. ain't his fault. They said the boy was sick. That's why they let him oh, in. Oh, 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 oh and, and that coochie and that coochie healed him. That coochie was healing him. Yeah. That lover was giving, was helping him. You see, he was good. He was healthy. He was out there singing, jiving around. Jada had him good on the red carpet. Did you see that? She had him on the red carpet. They man. was hugged up. But, but you know, yeah, damn. didn't want this guy to come into his home. It, it doesn't match. It wife, doesn't bro. matter. No, no, no. You it know, does you matter. You can do it. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You know why it doesn't matter? <laughs> go ahead, house. go ahead, Platt. No, I'm saying if you go back to Mark Anthony, if you go back to all the men that she slept with, it's Will's fault for it. Uh-oh. He, he could try to open it up, but the problem is Will got to understand if if that's how she lives, then he got to he got to detach himself from all of that fucking um, chivalry and shit. Like he wants to be this this knight in shining armor for for a bitch that's got dicks in her mouth. You can't do that for women like that. <laughs> he definitely can't. So he's basically sugar bomb. Leave me alone, sugar bro. bomb. It's not a real marriage. It, it's not real. It, it just well, then he shouldn't have been on stage assaulting Chris Rock. You see my point? He's bugged out of his mind, Platt. He's bugged out. Oh my god! I, yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he, he was having a mental breakdown. He got to be bugged. That was out. a that was a mental breakdown. Did you see him get jiggy with it after the the the, the Oscars? Well, I mean, that was you, after. that was a that was oh, after. that's a mental. Yo, that was right, right, there, right there, right yeah, there. That's that, that's after. That's yeah, that's after. That's after. Yeah, getting jiggy with it. Yeah, that, that's yeah, after. Yeah. The explosion. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's after. Before. Yeah, that's, I'm a, not, that's yeah. a guy who 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 regrets what he just did. Hey, that guy. that's a mental breakdown right there. But you played that's the a video mental breakdown. before this all went down to show his face because you can see you can see it right there on the bridge of his face. 
See I've what? seen it, boss. That, that wasn't no mental breakdown. Right break before, there. can you can you play the the video uh, of him no, making the drink? I, I'm not that bold. I gotta go to these other channels. <laughs> I know. I, I can tell these guys. You guys, I've watched the Oscars for years. They, you do not want to touch that stuff, man. They will, they will clip your ass so quick. You, we gonna find out. I'm gonna see it because I'm seeing it. everybody keep playing at him on stage slapping and these little cuts with Jada, man. The Oscars, bro. They, they don't give they stuff. They don't want. They're extremely exclusive group. They do not want people playing their stuff. So no, no, I don't play anything. I haven't played any video related to the Oscars. No, 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 no. no. There's a different video. Of like a like a video recording that shows uh, Jada laughing when it came off the stage from the back. Oh, I haven't seen. I saw that on um yeah, 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 my exactly. Google. Yeah, I, I saw that. It. Yeah, I, I got to see. She it. was I laughing at that shit. She found that shit. She funny. was smiling. Yeah, yeah she was smiling yeah, when like he laughing at that shit. So if your wife is laughing at it, who told you to go up there to go make do that shit though? I mean, I don't understand that dude, man. I don't, I don't get it. I can love you to anything, right? He said that like three years ago. He said, I can love you to anything. And she's like, oh, yeah? Let, let's see. Let's see if he can do this. He's shit. just compromised. Jada That's ain't worth it, it though. To me, Jada's not worth it. To me, as a man, as a man with a woman, Jada's not worth it. But guys, guys, one more question before I get out of here. So let me just ask you one more question. Do you see the response of black women online defending this shit? Like yeah, you're supposed to go out there. Yeah, you're supposed to go slap the man right there. I'm like, this is how this is how niggas get killed. I mean, mm -hmm. you're talking about black women, though, my brother. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you go to stab. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, this is how niggas get killed, man. You you, you growing up on the wrong brother, they go, you're gonna get shot. Defending the woman, I mean, next week she's gonna find somebody else. She's gonna move and on. Black, hold on. but this is the thing about black women. This is the hypocrisy. They claim they want guys like Will, right? aggressive guys but see this is the problem with guys like that they rarely but we have seen, well we have seen we have seen time and time again they don't touch the woman they claim to love but it's very very uh uh you're gambling if you're dealing with a violent man as a as a woman if, if your husband is known to be violent with men whoop their ass put that pistol on them if you piss him off, if you if you try to break up or piss him off, what makes you think he's not gonna get violent with you? That's that's what I'm saying. And a lot of these women, they saying that, but then they complain about black men being violent towards them. Right, retarded. Right, insane. They even have Psychotic. The, they, they even have the nerve. I, I even had one argument with the other day. She's like, "Yeah, I'm five one. I could put my hands on any six foot three dude. That that I'm like, even I know not to fuck with a dude that is taller than me and bigger than me." You literally yourself, you're gonna bring your ass to go fight it. Oh, he can't beat me because I'm a woman. I'm like, once you put your hands up, that woman shit is out of the window. They're gonna kick your ass. In my in my life, in my life, black men who were overly aggressive, I'm not talking about men, somebody fuck with them and they whoop their ass, but they got provoked and they got fucked with. I'm not talking about guys like that. Black men who were bullies. Black men who are ultra aggressive, black men who picked on weaker men, in my time, they whooped a woman's ass. It always resulted in that woman catching a fade too, in which she wound up fucked up. She laughed about it. She dated. And then about a year later, she was talking about, <clears throat> you know, getting smuggled out of the fucking town, you know, because she afraid the nigga gonna, gonna harm her. And she done went to the police and, and confessed that he'd been whooping her ass. That's what they like, Platinum. Shit. So you get what you, <laughs> I don't you think get they like that. I don't think I'm they sure like they that, do. but that's what I don't think they like that, but that's what they're saying. That's what I'm saying. If you want men to be like Will Smith, I hope you understand you're sleeping with those men. If you get those men, when you get men like that upset, what do you think they're gonna do? Whip your ass. So you're saying they don't like drama? They got they they have to. They want that shit. Though. You're talking they about love black drama. women. They yeah. love drama. So I mean, <laughs> come on, man. They love drama, but I'm not sure. Listen, brother, I'm telling you, they don't want to be visited with them with them uh, hands, bro. Some of them do, though. Some fucked up women like being... being well, the, but this, but oh, this is the sorry. thing. Wait a minute. The ones who do don't complain, though. The ones who do like that, they, they don't complain about that guy. Right, because they're psychotic. Insane. So what do women want, then? <laughs> 
They want adult dating site. The best in the world. Platt, you know, the bot is back. Oh, they, they, pop, they pop back? Okay. Mm-hmm. They, they want the pastor too, though. That's a, that's a different issue, though. <laughs> Insane. Psychotic. How many I'm, times do I have to say it? Bugged out of their mind. Got them. See, here's the thing about Will Smith <clears throat> and Jada's Jada's marriage that I have respect for, because when they when they did get married, they also got deeply involved in Scientology, basically because it was a it was a good investment at the time. And during that time, I felt as if they were both being conditioned and taught to be knit union and being you know if they wanted to have an open marriage, that's when they worked out the deal to have the open marriage and all that swinging lifestyle came in. So they were both active participants in the agreement. But, you know, later down the road, how they found this homeless hobo. And I guess Will agreed to let him be her playmate or whatnot. You know, he Will should have known that that was a risk. You're talking thing. about August? You said yeah. August was homeless? He wasn't homeless? Whatever. However they found him, whatever. He, nigga was a, a singer. <laughs> he was a singer. Is that hold how, hold is that yeah, yeah. Did? Hold up. They didn't find him. He came there with Jaden. Jaden, his friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's a singer. Yeah, he's a her singer. Son. He got album out and everything. Yeah. Okay, so he's friends with her son. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Serious violation, huh? They both. They both found out through Jaden. They both found out through Jaden. He was going through medical problems. He was having mental issues. That's they have. They're rich millionaires. They have more than enough room. They through Jaden, they were informed through Jaden. They allowed him to live there and work out his problems. And that's when. And that's when she put the neck on. Jada prayed on him, like you hear all these women talking about predatory behavior. Jada, yeah. Jada prayed well, on was, him. Know, yes, she was fucking with him. One of them crisscross kisses go back in the day, though. That's allegedly, 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 allegedly. Yeah, they listening. Cause. But Jada, by by any standard or definition, prayed on August. She prayed on him, and she invited him into her bed under the "I'm in an open relationship and it's okay." Yeah, she was helping him. What's the problem? Under the fake relationship. See, this is what happens when you break the rules, Platinum. This is what happens. Everything was already pre-written for you. And when you break the rules, this is what happens. Man, she wanted some young dick. Yeah, there wasn't no rules or none of that. Jada, yo, y'all gotta understand these chicks today. Thou don't shalt care. not commit adultery. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, Man, I know. She all don't that. believe Thou none of that. Not, yeah, I was about to say it. all that. She stuff. believe. Yeah, she believes it's a whole different shit, bro. Whether you believe it in it or not, it's yeah, true. That's a violation. Nah, yeah, we understand that it's true. Only if you make it true. I mean, only if you want to. They on the whole. <laughs> yeah, they, they they are. To to me, this is what I see, guys. I'm just saying from what I see, it's like a bombardment of uh protect black women in the last week or two it started with the supreme court lady then after that you get ran with this first and cory booker crying all over the damn place for that she can't tell us who a woman is then now you got will smith on the stage crying accepting this award it's embarrassing y'all fellas did y'all fellas see uh the 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 I, i only seen a little snippet of it where chris rock was talking about he was bullied when he was younger and all that type of stuff did y'all did y'all see that no. I mean, you can no. look at Chris Rock and tell he was bullied when he was young. You, yeah. you, you can yeah. tell. He has some kind of condition that, like, uh, like an, you can. Uh, I mean, he saw that shit going on with him. He saw that play out in New Jack City when Ice T befriended Pookie in the first place and was trying to get him right. You could tell that he was, you know, as he played that role of the crackhead, um, you could tell that he was abused as a kid in high school. Even the show, everybody hate Chris. You can tell he was being bullied the way they was depicted that was, the that uh, was TV story, series. Right? That was his story, I mean, right? you said, yeah. I mean, shit, you you can tell that in Black Man. Shit, you can tell that in Dennis Robin. Come on now, they show too, it too. Yeah, I you can. Are you married, guys? Are you guys married? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. no. I want. Man. I I still nah. believe in the Hell sanctuary no. of marriage. <laughs> no, I, I respect guys who marry, but. You know, with all the recent happenings, thanks to the Manosphere and just reading into it and looking at relationships, it's taking a total 
perhaps cautious stance on it and, and just wait it out. Especially Do you blame the Manosphere, though, boss? Do you really blame the Manosphere? No, I, I appreciate the Manosphere. The Manosphere has taught me a okay. lot. Okay. Oh no. I mean, without without the manosphere being around, without Danica being around, hell, I would have been making the same mistakes. Mm. The reason I ask that question was is because for the first time in forty five years, I saw that's not good, brother. Ago, no, no, that's no. no. The, the reason is because for the first time in forty five years, there are more divorced people that claim to be religious. So for the first time within the church, there are more people divorced in the church than people that don't go to church. So that, that whole religious bullshit of I, I'm going to stick together, it's not even working anymore. So I'm like, where, where do I go then? I can't even go to church to go find nobody because even that, they don't get them, give a damn. So why exactly. do I go? Yeah, I exactly. agree with but you, you on but, that. But yeah. you, looking to, you, you're, you looking to be married, boss? You trying to get married? I came close. Thank God I cut it out because she loved the past more than me, though. That was, a diff- that was fucked up. Man. I came close. I oh, came very yeah. close. Yeah. Y'all fellas want to get married? Good luck. I mean, I'm not mm-hmm. against it, but I'm not for it. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I I, I love the single life. <laughs> it, well, yeah, I just I just I, like I just, it, I, just I just say this to brothers. I'm married, but I say this to brothers that's about to get married or something like that, bro. They if they ain't raised by like a southern grandma or something like that no more, this shit's over, bro. Preach. It's over. Mm. Thank you. I mean, cause my, Thank I mean, you. I'm just telling y'all too, bro. My, my wife was raised by her grandma. Her grandma died last year, and she took that pretty hard. But her mama and her sister, like, you can tell the total difference of who was around who. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they try to come over our house for like special holidays, cause they can't cook. Like, this shit is weird to me. <laughs> like, bro, how like they can't? Like, how does the mama they? not, bro? Bro, they oh, bro, the mama's fifty seven and the sister's bro, almost thirty, bro. How can you not be able to like that as a woman? That's power right there, okay. bro. They, bro, I had I had the food. They can't cook. The grandma could cook. My wife know how to cook because the grandma. That's who she stayed with, and that's who Damn. she learned. Hey, I'm gonna serve my husband. That's sad. I'm gonna take care of my family. She learned that from her grandma. I Them see. other ones, they ain't got it, bro. And I I, I wouldn't go to their house today and sit down and eat. I'm telling you. I had to teach myself how to cook if I wanted to survive. But I'm saying that <laughs> I, if you're a woman, you shouldn't be proud yeah. of you not being able to cook, though. That's fucked up as a woman. I'm telling you, that, that's a power you have over a man. If you can whip oh, yeah. it real good. It, I mean, it's definitely a way to our heart through our stomach. It definitely is. I mean, Damn, boy. I understand, man. I don't get it. Chicks don't know how to cook today. <laughs> I mean, they listen. Can't clean, well, they can't cook. They, they don't, don't, bro. They don't, bro. I don't know his eyelashes and wings, bro. I mean, with my girl, nah, she didn't know how to cook. With me knowing how to cook, I taught her how to cook, which made it fun. But at the same time, I was almost in that position of will. You know, I'm like asking the higher power, can you please give me that final answer? Let me know if this is the true one. This is the one I'm ready to be committed to because, I mean, it's already 10 years. And I don't cheat. I have loyal relationships. So I'm like, am I really ready to go ahead and make this final step? And finally, within 15 minutes, he gave me that answer. He gave me the answer I needed. And I made the wisest, wise decision. And I've been enjoying the single life ever, ever since. But, you know, I still want to get married. I want to find that ideal mate. And the ladies of today, they don't have a thing on the ladies of the past, the traditional black women, the ones that nurtured the home, that cooked, that handled all the shit and let the man go out to the field and work, let the nigga go to work. That's they don't the have nothing on them, man. They don't have anything on it. I mean, that's the type of woman that I look for. I like going to work and coming home to someone. But psh, these females ain't worth it now. Damn. Do me a favor, man. Like, share. Hit the like button. Like, share, subscribe, man. Fuck with me on the cash app, man. We're going to keep it going, man. We're talking about Will Smith. He's going to lose his Oscar. They're talking oh, about revoking his win. Yeah, they're going to revoke his win. They're going to rescind oh, the man. win. That is they're, going to, they're going to remove the trophy. Oh. They're going to uh, ban him from the Oscars. Will Smith has lost the Oscars. Uh, he's lost that Oscar. So Shit. the black man did not win. Best actor of the year, not this year. And that was maybe in the future. 
Maybe in the future it'll happen, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. So Shit. much for Will Smith. Take it. I say take it. Take it from yeah. him. Yeah. No, he's take lost to us. They've removed oh. it. They're, oh, they're they taking did? it. Already? They're in the process. Oh. We'll, yeah, the Academy Awards will vote Will Smith. Yeah, he got to go to the oh. people. Yeah. Oh. For a bitch. See, the, you know the crazy thing about that platinum since you're saying that is this. They boycott it. He get there and his wife helps him ask a complete ass to lose what he worked so hard for. Yep. The he validation the that he wanted, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're going to revoke man. Revoke his award, rescind the award, remove the reward, erase him from the history of the Oscars. Like we talked about, different world. The guy who played Dwayne and the other guy played Ron Dwayne Weiss. Wayne. Yeah, Dwayne Wayne. Nobody even remember those guys. Like, I don't remember that. That's going to happen to Will Swift in five years. He's going to be forgotten about. He's going to be old news. <laughs> Nobody talks about him. Five years, Plaque? You said five years? Niggas going to forget about three, Will? Three, three years. Three years. He's 50 I mean, something. He's almost 60. Do you have a link to that story though? Do you have a link to that revoke story? Anyone? Trying to talk shit, but I think they try. They about to. They about to. He got to go to the board though. He got to go to the board though. Look, this is this is what I don't want, bro. This is I'm just tell you honestly. I don't want to hear nobody crying over him losing it after he did that dumb shit. I don't want to hear that if he if he lose it. I don't want to hear nobody crying. Because everybody was saying that he was valid in what he did. I heard people saying that, and that that was kind of amazing to me. Yeah, because niggas get killed for less over day at the, every day at the liquor store in the hood. They'll be talking Talk about, about his wife. <laughs> he he made I that, he so that known. Don't be talking about somebody's wife. All it is yeah. to it. I, that's cool. I seen this. Uh, that's a that's so a good message. That's a good message to send to black men that's on the street that's broke. Is. Don't mean, talk about their wife or their mama. Shit. They gonna they gonna smack you and you gonna he they gonna go to jail and smack. ain't nobody gonna bail their broke ass out. Yeah, lucky he wasn't really in a bad mood. It wasn't on the street, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. You say with all that goofy shit you saying. All that goofy shit. You better have your belt. Yeah. Don't be on, don't be having don't your be family on there talking the about go from me to get me out of the jail. See a black family out there That's trying cool. to have a moment. Don't be that joker to come up and win that motherfucking night on a bad night. You know. Yeah, watch your your potty mouth, brother. I'm sorry. Black, <laughs> That's black, black, you can say family, you can say whatever you. Say. Hey, Platt, he can say whatever he said at the end of the day. That boy family, the boy is trying to be the girl, and the girl trying to be the boy, and the wife is the husband. So what you talking about, bro? Uh -oh. No, no, uh -oh. What is the boy? Is he a girl? Trans? I don't even know. Uh, who knows? Who cares? Well, we don't, we don't, we don't care yeah, about cares? that. Right? We don't care. No, I'm just, I just, yeah, just leave we, it, just we, leave we, it the way we, I said. We, we do know his first born, despite all that money, his first born went back to the bobs. He said, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Said, first boy that yeah. He said, Get me the <laughs> fuck out of here, Bobby. <laughs> I don't blame him. Because Jada probably, <laughs> bitch, she probably treat him like shit. That ain't his real son. That ain't, that's her stepson. So you already know what this is for. How she treating him. She probably treat him just like Will. He like, man, I'm going back to my mom. I don't want to be around this bald head squack. Mm. Or he probably seen his daddy getting treated bad. Yo, I see so many black men defend the bullshit this week, man. I, I just was like, yo, y'all really defending? It was guys? amazing, wasn't it, bro? Yo, I, and I'm in uh, Philly. Uh, 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 I'm in uh, Philly. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't, uh, we don't, you know, we don't get into that over here. Don't do that over here, um, Joey. We don't care what other what? people do. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know, to, to, I'm talking oh, about, yeah, no, I'm talking about my everyday life. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm your niggas in the block. Okay, I got you. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Niggas on the block. I ain't talking about nobody on YouTube. Okay, I got nah, you. I got you. About... I got yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about what you know. I'll be over here with you, Plaque. I don't be over yeah, here about what other okay. people doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Like this older guy was telling me the story, right, Plaque? Yesterday, mm -hmm. I took a, a a Uber downtown to handle some business. Everybody know traffic down Philly is horrible. So he was telling me how he agreed with Will, right? And he said he went through something last month at his church where he put his hands on a man because mm -hmm. he was talking to his wife but he kept talking to her in church mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm like oh gee why'd you he said he gave him a two-piece right there in front of everybody the ushers and everybody had to break him okay. up this okay. is this is a man of a certain age i'm telling him mm -hmm. oh gee you can't do that you can't be out here no you don't understand because back in my day my daddy he taught me you don't let no man disrespect your wife and my wife she was feeling uncomfortable and i'm like 
this is the this is what black men we they reduced ourselves to. Suck, suck, said simp. That guy, said, that guy that you was talking to was an Otis. You should have told him, "I ain't Otis." <laughs> I just said, "All right, OG." <laughs> I was just <laughs> laughing at it because I'm like, "This is uh, crazy." Uh, that is a Otis. <laughs> If you out here defending some over fifty, uh, over the Man. hill, unattractive woman, talking about somebody talking to her, you out here in throwing church. punches, yeah, yeah, you are, yeah, they do it every day, day flat, they trip and black. I'm, key jamming, and I'm telling him, and I'm telling him, I'm like, oh gee, you in church? People could horse with each other. They talk. Oh, you, you. He probably was trying to talk, <laughs> and he. Like what the hell? You can't even talk in church now, Black, without <laughs> hey, feeling like that. Hey, Black, hey, hey, Black, he was trying to get some money for the building fund, and my man stole on him. He, he jangling Otis. <laughs> right. You don't even want. To, let me tell you something. You don't even want to talk to those guys, man. No disrespect, but don't even talk to I guys don't. like that, bro. Because <laughs> they they so fucked up in the game. Is you can't help them. They're gonna be fucking simping. They're gonna be fighting for these bitches. He, he, know, man, he, he looked at my wife and well, he said it just like that, Plat. Yeah, he said it just like that. No, that nigga <laughs> said it just like that. That's how they said it. That's how they said it. Well, that is, bro. That is, Plat. Like that. Well, yeah, he looked at my wife. He ain't have, have, have his issue with that boy. Well, let me say this like, whatever happened to women just protecting themselves? Like, what's wrong with that? There's plenty of women that's out here that know how to protect themselves. So why do you always need a man to step in and protect you when you can protect yourself? I don't get it. Right? He's trying to. That's a fact, bro. It's funny. It's funny. That's that's the argument because, like, if you think about it, they keep telling you we independent, right? If you independent, you don't need protection. So what are you talking about? You can't have both at the same time. So if I'm oh, oh, leading oh. you and I'm protecting you, then you got to follow the leadership. If the leadership say, "Hey, put the wig on when we go to the Oscars," and you say no, and they crack on your head, then that ain't my fault. But I mean, right. Hey, can, can I address something real quick, fellas? Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boss. Yeah, I was on that woman channel, and yeah, I was laughing and giggling. That that makes you feel some type of way, boss. Then so be it. But my thing is, this the internet. I I don't care about what she do, what you do, or what anybody else do on this damn internet. At the end of the day, that's her business. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That don't put no money in my pocket or your pocket. So why you up here talking that in the chat? I don't have no idea. But go ahead, fellas. Nah, I mean, I'm yeah, don't worry about it, man. Some of the people never come up. Don't worry about it. For women, to oh no, 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 no. It's it's all funny games with me up here. Like I laugh, I giggle with everybody, have fun, did with a uh, a uh, uh, sugar bomb and everybody. But you know, everybody on here they take well, this we, too we, serious with like, people well, lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can't. We, we you you fine over here. Um, oh, I know. What you, oh, I know. Plat. What, what you do, um, with your personal life, wherever you go, that's your business. You go wherever you want to. It's a free country. Fact though. Exactly. But over here, you know, we talk, fault, go ahead, my, we talk about my topics over here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, fellas. My fault. Go ahead, Platt. No, nah, a key jangling Otis, though. Um, yeah, man. I mean, don't listen to them dudes, man. And, and you got to be a particular type of female. You got to, like, even those Otises, like, every now and then, do you find, you find a really, really compliant woman? And it, it, you almost like to look at the oldest and say, man, they, they love each other. Like, she been down with him and they've been together for 50 years, you know, and they love each other. That's different. But that oldest, man, you can look and see he's being manipulated. He's just a fucking joke. That's what I mean, yeah. old key jangling ass oldest. You know, and he's, he's sitting, insecure too. Yeah, you no, know, he's sitting over there in the corner, sitting in the, sitting in the house, and she's like, I need you to take uh, Randy to football practice. <laughs> then uh, Tina, she got, she need a, she got to go by the um, city tree and say she know the clothes. I'm giving her the money. And then I need yeah. to go by grandmama's house and she needs um, the garage fixed, the fan or something broke, the laundry, you know, the machine's not working. Then I need you to come back and go cut uh, Tina's yard, my aunt, I mean, my sister's yard. You you ready for that? Oh, this, yeah, you know, key jangling. He get up with them keys jangling, just take off. He yeah. do his order. He do his order. Glad to scrabble to a T, man. <laughs> Key jangling ass Otis. You can even talk to an Otis. You be like, as a as a young boy or whatever, you're like 13. You be looking at him. If you even mention something dealing with fucking, he'll look at you like, what? Like, hey, 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 man, I, I, uh, my friend 
said, we're going to go by the strip club. He'll look at you. What? No. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. He'll, he'll cut that lawnmower. <laughs> oh, man. You know, That's not to crazy. even bring that up to him, bro. It's like, man, dude right there, I can't even talk to that. Hey, Pat, you know what they are? They remind you of the old, when you read the old books, they like eunuchs, man. They like walking around like eunuchs. That's basically what they is. They just use them for utility to do all the man work, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always wondered how you do that, though. I've been like, how you become that? Like, what happens to you to turn you into a fucking Otis, man? I I, I don't know. They go through some type hey, of Platt, transformation. Platt, <laughs> Platt, my auntie had an Otis boy. That man died, and she lost her mind. Yeah, a do boy. Yeah. Yeah. So we all know what they are because we've seen them. We looking at them too. We like when you're a little kid, you be looking at that dude. You be like, "Where well, that dude's nuts go?" Like, right? Like he's yeah. He'll just sit there too, man. She'll be sitting up there talking that woman's talk. He won't say nothing. He's sitting there at the store waiting on her. She's shopping for four hours. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> they everywhere you can think, platinum. They everywhere. Oh, I see. Um, fuck, he's a mannequin. He's a fucking mannequin. I seen it. And that's what like most that of these the, that, went to the bank one time. Corny is a motherfucker. Dog. Most of these bitches need a mannequin. They need to drag a mannequin through the mall because that's what they need. <laughs> he's a Otis is nothing but a fucking human mannequin. Suckers, man. Yeah, just sitting there, just going where. And like I said, they look good in the suit, though. I know. I said, but well, they don't see the ugly ones. I said, they always find a. He'll look good in the suit, but here he come and here she come, running her fucking mouth, and he's quiet. And he's obedient. And he let he let her say anything, too. He let mm-hmm. her say any fucking thing out of line. Yeah. And never tell like, her to stop talking. You be like listening to him. He be like, yeah, after after the funeral, we're going to get us some fried chicken. I be like, nigga, I want to fuck. Nigga, the fuck do you think you want some fried chicken? Like, bro, you tripping, bro. It's all you want is a piece of chicken? You doing all of this extra shit for a piece of chicken? Then you gonna go to sleep at six o'clock? Yeah, man, I'm sad, bro. Well, yeah, we the, always the, got to eat fried the, chicken after funerals. Uh, hold up, the chick stay the, the the woman stay up with her friends after the funeral. He get him a he get him a belly full of he get him a couple of pieces of fried chicken, and he go home. He take his suit off and his and he's he's exhausted. Otis is asleep. You be like looking. I'm not even looking at this shit. Like, man, why are you with this bitch, bro? It's like, what do you get out of it, other than fucking serving her, and feeding her, and some every now and then a piece of fucking chicken? Yeah, I like, man. Nah, I, I, I knew. I like. I saw that older shit. I said, that's ne- never for me, bro. Never, never. Yeah, that's never for me. Yeah, never. Like, nah. Twenty dollar box of fucking fried chicken. <laughs> no. Just know. You go to sleep. Go to sleep with them black, you know, them black socks on. You have on them black Sunday school yeah, them, socks. Yeah, uh. them, them black <laughs> socks. And he, she downstairs. You down there because you a child or whatever. You down there, and you see the fam down there, and he's upstairs. You go upstairs to use the bathroom. You hear him in a snoring. You're like this nigga didn't bust no rocks or nothing. It's like man, fuck that shit. I'll never be me. Yeah. I'm fucking my wife. I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. I'm like, my man, made my wife come home from the church. She going upstairs. We finna, we finna get that. She finna get this work. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm long dog. I'm long dogging. I'm finna long dog this bitch. I'm finna long dog this bitch. Right. Man, no, no doubt. But I'm telling you, some of the smartest people are single. Like real talk, man. Not going to put up with the bullshit, man. You can't let anybody come into your life with that crazy stuff, man, controlling you, man. Like the, one of the other brothers said, being a unit. Like, they they want insane, they, the, Women want men to be eunuchs. So if you really look at it, that's really what they want. They like them like that. Flat, flat, flat. Think about it, flat. If you think about it when you was coming up, guys, when you was going to church and you was young, aunties or grandmas had the young boy with her, and he carrying her bag all the way around all the time. She trained him. To be an Otis. Just don't know it. Carrying that bag, carrying that purse. He and what she give him after the church when he get done? A piece of candy. 
And I'm the type of nigga, though, to tell a bitch, listen, um, I know your, 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 your mom, I know that was your, your sister, whatever, but look, all that fucking repass, don't have that shit at the house. What you talking about? Look, not, not this weekend. We had that shit last time. I'm going back to the house. I don't want nobody in my house. I don't want nobody in my motherfucking house. I'm going to go home. I'm going to walk around my motherfucking house. I'm going to let my motherfucking nuts hang and my dick going to dangle. I don't give a fuck. Don't bring them niggas in my house. See, niggas scared to stand up to a bitch. Like I said, bitches don't like. That's why they be mad at Platinum. They don't like when I say stuff like that. They want to be able to just dominate. Well, the right. fam coming over, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Also, oh, everybody coming over. Yeah, everybody's coming over. No, fuck, not in my house. No, they're not. Well, we have a very nice. Wait, wait, I don't give a fuck. Listen, you want me to tell them? You know, if a bitch care about you, you know what she gonna say? Oh yeah. Oh no, baby, we can't have it in my house. Not today. <laughs> not this weekend. Yeah, we're gonna have it over uh, Sister Mary's house. Yeah, we're gonna be over Sister Mary's house. Yeah, it'll That's be at Sister. Man. It'll be at Sister Mary's house. Now it won't be at my house. Now, now it'll be at Sister Mary's house. And you know why? Because you're a grown ass man. It's my house, and I like that shit. When you got a nice big ass house, nigga, what's wrong with walking around in your drawers? That's Not my a damn shit. Thing. It's my shit. You looking in all them empty rooms and shit, and that sun coming in, and you looking and you see the deers in the backyard. It's my shit. See, not not when you married or, or got a girlfriend. Bull, it's her. It, it's her shit. That's how they think. I'm telling you. Well, they do take over. Oh, don't, don't have me go down there. Don't have me do that. You you guys be see, you guys be getting me in trouble. The bitch, bitch. What are you here to do? Cook and clean. Uh oh. Wash my drawers and socks. You talking about and black suck women? my dick when my dick gets hard. That's what you here for. <laughs> it's not gonna happen with a black woman, platinum. Bullshit. You can forget that. I know, I know. The, I know no, no, you're right. All of them know. The, I know which ones that we'll work with. During my bachelorhood, every single female I've dated has done things like try to leave some some type of personal item over here just so she can mark right. her territory. So if I have other females, other females will see another female's been with, with me. That's what they do. Yeah. The women I have relationships with, the women who come into my house, the women who fuck with me, the women I fuck with, and I and I'm not no YouTube nigga. Okay, y'all, this is YouTube world. This is the world of YouTube. I live in the real world. The bitches who fuck with me cook and clean, wash my drawers and socks, and suck my dick when my dick gets hard. That's what they do. So I can't speak on that YouTube shit. I don't know what you niggas talking about over here. You niggas want to go over here and bless this bitches. Old nigga crazy. <laughs> you niggas want to come over here and bless bitches and bend over backwards and kiss their ass and please them and simp for them. That's YouTube. I don't even deal with women like Turn that. Turn into Will Smith, huh? Turn into Will Smith. <laughs> like you crazy as shit, man. I just keep it player, man. That's what I do. I ain't trying to be with you no more than an hour anyway. So I ain't even giving them the time of day, man. I'm just smashing and dashing, bro. That's how I get down. Hey, I'm I'm married, OG, and I told my son, I said, hey, bro, don't be, uh, you got a long way to go, bro. I said, them brides ain't nothing like your mama, bro. So right. you can forget about it. Right. I said, most of them don't know how to cook. They don't want to clean. They ain't nothing, bro. I said, just leave them be. He said, all right, pops, because he, he 18. So I said, hey, you don't need no girlfriend. Go to the prom by yourself. You guys got to really find a submissive woman, man. You guys it's fight hard, with women man. too much, man. No, it's not. You guys fight with women too much. No, it's not. They're all out there. There's plenty of women who appreciate you as a man. Plenty. There's plenty of women who, who 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 will stand in front of you and put their family in check and say, not today. They're like, we, so we having the, um, we going to your house after, uh, after church? No, nah, not today, baby. What you mean? Uh, not today. Go over uh Mary go over Mary Ann's house. And you sitting right there, her, you ain't said shit. You listening. And you go home and you cook. She cooking for you downstairs. You hear the food frying or whatever she cooking. Or whatever. You upstairs, you take a shower and shit. 
you go downstairs and she ready she suck your dick right there in the, in the kitchen. She swallowed the snot. You pull a piece of chicken up out the grease. You cut the <laughs> game on. You living good, nigga. You living. Hey, Platinum, you off the chain, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. No, man, that's you how be you... having me rolling, man. No, that's that's the Platinum, you are pure fucking comedy, bro. <laughs> Listen, brother, you that ain't no comedy. You niggas think it's comedy because you niggas some Otises. Y'all some young Otises. Listen, I brother. Just safe, <laughs> I'm just trying to stay safe. I'm just trying to stay safe. That nigga Platt us some young Otises, man. Platinum, you are crazy as a fuck. I can't brother, get serious man. with these females, bro. I just can't. Y'all do don't. You got to take the lead, brother. You niggas yeah, fear right. taking. Y'all don't want right. to take the lead. Y'all fear Y'all fear rejection. Y'all fear that they won't comply. But and you got to deal with some It's a lot, man. You got to understand. Women like that. Women care about what you care about, and they understand where you're right. coming from. When you say, "Hey, look, we did that shit. We can," and then you be like, "Yeah, you know." You go through your house. You be like, "Wait a minute, what the fuck?" You start showing them shit. Like, wait a minute, they did this. Like, I found this. I found some condoms in the bathroom. Um, I found uh, a pair of drawers over here. I found food and shit, half eating food over here. Your uncle was over here. His med like some blood pressure medicine, like he threw up. And sh when you start showing bitches shit, they understand what you're talking about. You be like, nah, you're in my house like that. Yeah, good luck with that, man. Good luck with that. But I ain't knocking it though. I'm just keeping it player. But I respect it though, my nigga, for real. Bro, well, we get to the point where well, that's up to you and the woman. I, women, I, see, I, I've sort of fine tuned my game. I only really deal with women who appreciate me. When bitches don't appreciate me, I don't fuck with them. I don't want the pussy. They, may, they might have a good little hot little pussy, but they don't appreciate me. I don't want the pussy. I like to fuck women who appreciate. Me. It's a good. It's a better bust. It's a better bust. It's just a better bust because you know. She really enjoying you and she care about you. It's just a better bus. Bitch, they don't give a fuck about you. I don't like that. That's not a good, it's not a good nut. You don't even care about it. She don't care about it. You don't care about it. Why do it? That makes what sense. You, what you niggas sense. got to do is, is condition yourself to turn pussy down. Until you do that, man, you guys going to struggle with women. <coughs> I'm just telling you that because as being a beta male, in our society, we're raised to look up to women and act like women are some type of great achievement when they're not. Right. You got to condition yourself to turn bitches down. When you start turning them down, when you start telling bitch you can keep that slow, I ain't interested, you'll see your, your world will change. Your whole attitude will change. You ain't a real nigga until you done turn some pussy down. I'm telling you that, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm just focused on my business, though, man. I, you know, that's all. I, I just like to flex, man. Like, I, that's all I'm focused on. Platinum is, is getting this paper, getting to that million, bro. That's all I'm focused on for real. So, you know, women come and go. So, I ain't even tripping on that. I'm just focused on making that first million, bro. That's all I'm focused on. But you be dropping that mad knowledge, though. Like, real talk. I tried, bro. I, we got some. Oh, we got some plans, bro. We've got some plans. We got Will Smith a couple of times. Well, we finna get up off of this, but we got some plans, bro, in store, bro. We got some game for your ass. We finna shake this motherfucking space, nigga. No doubt. I, am, no I doubt. am the game, nigga. <laughs> I hope nigga. Yeah, I am the game. I said I love this shit. I love it. Let's talk game. Yeah, well, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, Maurice, man, get on the panel, man. I'm a, I'm, yeah, I want to hear Maurice, man. I'm gonna jump off platinum, man. I'm gonna holler at mm. y'all, man. Mm. Coco Brunel, who needs to change his avatar, says turning down sex makes you a real man versus getting it because you can. Well, if you getting it because you can, but you got to turn it down, brother. You got to understand, even if it's good pussy and it's a bad bitch, you ain't a real nigga, brother. You got to go through the fire, brother. It's, it's called joy and pain. You, ain't, you don't want to go through the pain. 
you got to go through some pain, bro. You got to go through some struggle. And you ain't really go through no struggle. You ain't did nothing. Any nigga can fuck everything that give him. Give, you can fuck a you can fuck a fat bitch, a ugly bitch, cause you fucking. You gotta turn down some pussy, my nigga. You gotta turn down that nut bust. Can you do that? And stay and and keep it thorough. And you ain't a real one until you can turn down that bust. Then you control. Then you control the cards, not the bitch. That's why you niggas is controlled by bitches because all you niggas want to do is fuck. All you niggas want to do is slow, and then you complain why bitches got so much power. You gave them the power. Yeah, that's right, Platt. That's one hundred percent right, man. Dudes complaining about women, but you giving them all the power. You giving them your strength. Make no sense. Mm -hmm. You got fighting over the bitch, arguing over the bitch, caping for the bitch, lying for the bitch. <laughs> Let that bitch walk home. No, on some real shit. Listen, the bitch finds she cute. Bitch be like, yo, can you drop me off? Nope, I got. I'm going the other way. You ain't, and hold up, listen to what I'm saying to you. All of that chivalry and she a female and it's dark outside, brother, until you can break away from that bullshit, you gonna be controlled by the bitch. No, I'm going the other way. <laughs> fuck you talking to me for? I mean, I don't know. What the fuck you mean you gotta go home? What you fuck you telling me for? Fuck me for, right, exactly. I ain't your nigga, I ain't your nigga, I don't know you. Well, don't you? Okay, this is what you need to do. Then I shouldn't do this, but look, go back into the company, right? Okay, go right back into that warehouse, right, or wherever. There's a phone mm -hmm. or, or computer computer access, right? Mm -hmm. Go in there, call some people, and have them come pick you up, or call an Uber. But I'm not headed that way. Yeah, I ain't but see. Yeah, I ain't trying to send you around, you know, trying to say turn some blind corner and get fucked up. I'm not saying, I'm saying go back into the country. But if they don't listen to you, what you want me to do? That's not my responsibility then. If she said, well, I'm, I'm no, it's okay. I'm going to stand right here and ask dudes leave. No, I'm going to stand right here by the fence and as guys exit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to ask them for a ride. I'm like, what, niggas? You asking random niggas for rides? You th oh, mm. That's safe? I'm going to get on down. I'm gone. That ain't my business. I'm like, I'm out of there. But but guys don't got the they ain't got the testicles to do that. Like the guys don't have the cojones to really be like, hey, listen, I'm not going that way. Or I've or I've seen the situation too. Like, say you know, you, a girl decides you know she want to go out with you or whatever. You say, hey, listen, I'm about to go get some grab some lunch. Uh, I'm about to go to uh, Arby's or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to Arby's. She's and tags along, right? This isn't a date. This isn't like you guys planned this. This is, you know, co-workers or just a friend. Hey, I'm going to get some lunch. You go in there anyway. Like, you go in there anyway. She going because you going, right? So you there. You get your food and whatever. You know what I'm saying? You drive in the drive-thru, and she look at you, and she's like, oh, you, you're not going to get me something? You can get me something? Huh? What? What do you mean? Where's your money? Where's your wallet? Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I don't really buy. I don't, I don't support people's habits. So, you know, I'm just gonna get me some food, or you lie and be like, "This food's not even for me. This food's for my, for my cousin back at the house." Um, but if you want, you can get something though. You guys don't have the cojones, the willpower, to do that shit. You guys are gonna open y'all wallets, and be like, "Oh, let me get the two special. What do you want? Oh, yeah, with a uh, with a coat large." So y'all niggas ain't got the, the discipline to tell a, a baddie or a hot chick no. And that's why y'all lose because y'all don't have the understanding of the power of your testosterone, your, your testosterone from your testicles. When anytime you are around a woman and she wants you, the first thing you have to think about is I'm giving up my strength for pleasure. Is this worth it? And you guys, man, you guys are going to fall every time, man. You guys are weak to the bitch. I, I notice. I notice they hate the word no. Who who does? Women. Some women. 
<laughs> they have a real a real negative reaction to the no, word. Some women. No. Bro, you you know what? See, this is what I think a lot of dudes don't do, and it's, that's unfortunate. You guys got to deal with bitches who want you, and then you mm-hmm. got to deal with bitches who don't. And what I'm saying, you will, bro, it's such, it's like, it's, it's so distinctive. You will see the difference. Mm-hmm. And as a man, you will start to understand that you don't even want to deal with women who don't want to deal with you. No, you don't even want to deal with them because they don't want you. You're like, nah, I'm, I mean, like, you cool, but I'm not doing none of that shit. I understand what you say. You want a nigga got to, like, prove himself to you, take you out, take you to movies, take you to concert, get to know you, and over time you'll grow. I am not me, though. I'll follow, I'll follow you. That's not my get down, though. I, you know, I'm going to fuck on the second date. I, I never do that. What is you? Well, you know, you ain't got to say that, but what I'm saying is, you're like, I'm not even going to deal with a woman that don't want to have sex with me. So you deal with a chick that wants to have sex with you. Those are the ones you deal with. The ones who don't, you just don't deal with them. And a lot of these dudes, they never deal with women who want to have sex with them. They're so concerned with being thirsty and chasing bitches who don't want them. That's why they wait so long. <laughs> and that's why they're so angry at bitches. Because mm-hmm. nobody, they keep trying to fuck bitches who don't want them. You ain't lying. It's just like like, uh, Jessica Wong. It's like, why would I sit there and date and wait and date and wait with Jessica Wong when it's it's a hundred bitches? In some cases, look better than Jessica Wong. Who ready to fuck me tomorrow? But the thing is, though, Platt, with that, like, say I was a guy. I was a typical guy, regular guy. Like, and I work. I don't know the warehouse, whatever. I would have to really have some. I would. I mean, I would have to really reevaluate. Like, why does this person like me? Like, what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you you get what I'm saying? Like, you re- reevaluate what's going on. Like, what is the what is the the goal for this person? Does this person like me? You know what I'm saying? Is this person Google Gaga every time I call them? Is this person complaining and why I don't call them? And that's a that's an indication that she might like me, but. You know, or is she standoffish? She telling you to do this and that and this, but she don't like you. You guys are weak for the bitch. Platt said it the best. Okay, you guys are weak for the for the vagina. Okay, you guys don't know if she likes you or not. And a clear indication of a woman likes you or not. Don't spend no money and see how she treats you. Don't spend a dime, not one cent, and see how she treats you. If she still Hey, let's go over here. Or if she's willing to pay for you, or she's like, "Hey, I like I'm, I'm I don't worry, I got it." Then you know that you got a shorty that like you. You know what I'm saying? But if you got to pursue, text, call, you don't call one day, and she act like you never called her ever. You know what I'm saying? She gonna give you the runaround and all that. I ain't got time for that. But I I, 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 I had bitches come by my house, and everything is by the book. Everything I'm saying, you could just look like we eat, we finish. She said she she sort of ducked out on the couch. I sort of scoot over, try to put my arm, and you can look at it. She moved back, be like, "No, nah, I'm not ready." You know, I'm not. It's too soon. I just met you, and you know, she showed me some stuff. We go over some stuff, and then she would say, "Okay, uh, I, I had a nice time, and I will call you right." And the bitch get up and leave, right? Mm-hmm. She she don't call or whatever. So yeah. that's fine. Another bitch yeah. come. Right, uh, put the movie on. She get up. Can I use your bathroom? Go to the bathroom. Right, come out the bathroom. She done took her panties off. Right, open up her legs. Right, start uh 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 fucking with me doing the movie like it's a little scary movie. Start grabbing me. I'm over here just sitting here. Right, she grabbed the shit out of me. Put titties all in my face and leg all thigh on me. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, just ready to fuck. So mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I just, I just, I'm just saying as a dude, I done dealt with, I'd rather deal with her. That other bitch who got up and left, man, y'all can have it. Y'all, good luck, nigga. I don't give a fuck what y'all do with that bitch. I want to deal with the bitch who want to fuck me. The bitch who come through, we fuck, we have a great time, we have fun and everything cool. Bitch, get up and leave. It's, it's like night and day, man. All right. I don't understand how guys don't. I think I think another thing is too. Guys don't really have a full understanding of who they are too. I think that's a huge part into it. They think that I got to do what the next nigga do or the next man do, and that's what's gonna help me 
pull the bitch or pull the chick or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand, like, find your own niche. Yeah, you see that guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got the the Bentley, the cars, the jewelry. He's tall, got the tats, and yeah, he got, you know, bad women on his arm. But that might not be you. You feel what I'm saying? That might not be you. You might be the guy who needs to be drawing anime. You draw, you know, you can sell this stuff. You could make your own stories, your own movies. And you never know. There might be a bad cosplay chick in the community that wind up that you meet. And then she, she might be better than a dude that you were jealous and envy of. You know what I'm saying? So you, know, you got to under guys got to really understand their niche and who they are. Like I have never, I don't, I mean, I have never let anything really stray me off of who I am and what I like. Yeah. I've been influenced certain times. Yeah, of course. But that's up to me. It's not up to the bitch. And if she don't like, like, for example, okay, for example, I like to surf. I surf. I sometimes when I get the chance, I'll go down to Virginia Beach. I'll go out to see if I can get a trip out to Florida. I'll see if I can get to Cali. Not all the time, not frequent, but I do it. So that means it's something very important to me, right? I even try to go to Hawaii from time to time, right? That's something important to me. Now, do you think... Now my, my 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 friend down there, my my Johnson, he likes what he likes. But do you think if I like a three oh four or a stallion, you think if I invite her, hey listen, I'm about to go to Hawaii, I, you wanna she might not even want that. She might be like, Nick, what? Nigga, just take me to the Louis store and we I don't like Louis. Oh well, we're not compatible. And the dudes will force the situation. Dudes will. I know dudes. I know a guy who literally stole. And this is sad to say, but I'm gonna say it. This guy, his dad, right? He's a pharmacist, and his dad like collected a lifetime's worth of like valuable coins. Like these coins are thousands of dollars. They're in cases and shit. This dude would steal his father's coins and pawn them shits just to impress a bitch and then got kicked out of his own house. True story. So, I mean, y'all got to really look at the signs, bro, of a chick like you or not, man. And don't worry. Don't worry about the fat ass. Don't worry about the tits. That's go that comes and goes. When you dead and gone and the dust from your bones aren't even on the earth no more, that shit's still going to be here. So don't even worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Worry about who like you. But you niggas is weak. Mm-hmm. Niggas weak sauce. You niggas are weak sauce. Get, getting lucky in Kentucky. How are we <laughs> gay, babe? And, and babe, you look gay. Way more gay than we do. <laughs> way, way more. Way more. <laughs> getting lucky in Kentucky. That don't look like a stud to you. That's a stud, bro. That that face crazy. Why her shoulders, Diesel? Yeah, she got wide shoulders. She like like she played for the Dallas Cowboys, linebacker. Right. She looked like she's a braids. power lifter. <laughs> braids look a little dry too, baby. Put some moisturizer on them braids. That bitch lifting chimneys and shit. <laughs> <laughs> she working out, bro. Hey, hey get, it, get get lucky. I I got a garage. I need all that shit pulled out. You want me to? I give you a hundred dollars. Come clean my come, come clean out my garage. Come clean my garage out. You look like you could do we, it too. Right, she not because we know you want right. them chicks that can do that shit in, in like a sports bra and shorts and look fucked up. Like even though you all bulky and shit, but you look fucked up like ain't nothing, nothing sexual about this motherfucker. You all bulky and buffed and shit. Like what happened <laughs> to your sexuality though? <laughs> you, you you might as well he tell her to do some car, you might as well tell her to do some carpenter work because you know with a body like that she can't cook. She look at that. Cook. Look at that. Hold on, hold on. And she's so lucky. Look at that, babe. You so lucky. You married a your husband is so qualified in the professional game. He gets the whole furniture. And we know you got to have a degree. What do you get a degree? How you, what do you get? <laughs> what do you get your degree in that? At? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the degree from? <laughs> the movement is that that's GED. That's what you get. You get a GED and you get a professional. You get to pick people's shit up, drag it downstairs, 
towed it back upstairs. <laughs> what the fuck is a professional move? Like, she trying to make it sound all... Like, that nigga just nah, moved because... furniture. Nah, she gonna cap. Come on she up, probably hey, hit, right hit, now. hit the lake, Kentucky. Come on. She ain't about that life. Y'all always in the chat talking shit. Come on, we like disagreement. Come all of them. <laughs> but Kentucky, I ain't trying to hate, babe. You ain't... You, you know... You ain't a very feminine woman, babe. You look very aggressive. You look extremely shoulders aggressive. Look. Them shoulders are strong, baby. I'm all right, them shoulders. That that the shit. You look like you would. You look like you would bite the tongue out of a pit bull. Not very feminine. Say he's not on YouTube. Yeah, he gotta push them. You gotta push them couches around. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm making. <laughs> right. uh -oh. Uh -oh. She's gonna, she gonna oh. get in your oh, ass. Oh, look at you. finna get. Uh -oh. in your yeah, we hear you. She finna get in your ass, Joy. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's get Let's it. Go. Baby. Hold on. You better take well, somebody's blood pressure. Blood pressure. Hold on. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can right. see. You better do what you gotta do. Yo, man, a professional mover, babe. She done run off. She finna get in your ass. Joy, you talk all that shit. She finna get in your ass. Let's get it. Let's get it. Just don't <laughs> touch me. <laughs> I'm surprised when she stick to people man, with heels. That shit don't break. Gonna come, yo, her man gonna get you. He gonna come move your living room set out the house. <laughs> <laughs> she jumped up here with that Russian box on top of her head. <laughs> She needed that hairstyle she, she had. What yeah. the fuck was that? Yeah, a, what was that? That's you that, seen it? That's that CVS curl. That's that CVS box relaxer. She had a, <laughs> she had a kid in play. You didn't see that, Joe? She had a fade with a, a fro up top. About to talk crazy with a scrub that's on. That, uh, CVS 599 uh, relaxing. What, it's called relaxing. Relax and leave curl. <laughs> Relax and go. Go Kentucky, box. Come back up here. Come on, Kentucky. Deshaun, I, I she like got muscle. a go box. Deshaun, she got a go box curl. She got relax and go. She got Russian box. Play. Yeah, you you, you, no you, you box. comb it. You comb it in, and you wash it out. Relax and go. Church. She got a church curl. She got she got the um, early morning church service curl. Curly in the morning. Nappy at night. Easy like Sunday morning, but ain't nothing easy about her, bro. You make money. You better get that hair done, baby. She so for real, Coco. A, she, she fucking it's always the nigga. less attractive women calling men gay. For real. Hold up. She fucking on a nigga who who moved truck. She said professional mover. Come on, bro. That's like professional mop. Can you be a <laughs> professional mopper? <laughs> Can you put hold up, hold up. Okay, can y'all hear me? Yeah, up, we can yeah, hear we can, you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can you be a professional mopper? Can you mop I mean, floors if, professionally? As long as it makes money and I mean you're a professional at it, I mean you can be a professional anything. No, you cannot, babe. Not you mop, mopping floors is not professional. Dumb. You're dumb. One of and us. You sound dumb. And that's exactly why right. you're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. I'm literally at work as a nurse making money. You, but you are a CNA. You, you doing? No, you checking oh, bedpans? No, no, I'm not. I am a nurse. You I checking bedpans? <laughs> Hold on. Listen. I'm changing diapers. If you want to see, you, wanna see, you be, be quiet. I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm not a CNA. Uh -oh. I'm a uh, Hold on. These are keys to a med part. Uh, pee jangling. Shake them keys for me real quick, babe. Let me see them keys again. Is she going to the mid cut? You going to the mid cut? Hold on. You new here. You don't know what we talk about here. Let me see your keys again. You put them up. Show your keys again. Key jangling. Look at that. Key jangling. Key jangling. <laughs> <laughs> what you finna show us? We don't see you now. What you finna do, babe? Don't do nothing illegal. <laughs> you finna steal somebody's applesauce? Why, okay, okay, check. We got a question for you. Getting lucky in Kentucky. It, okay, why you why you call yourself that? Hold on. Hey, 
Yeah, I got the feeling it's just chopped up. Mm, what is that? That's a, ooh, what are you going to put that thing at? They said that ponytail is fake, uh, getting lucky. They say you got a clip on on the back of your in the back of your wig. You need a you need a per, you need a you need a you need a washing uh, press. You, you need when last time you had a washing press? <laughs> getting lucky. When yeah, last time I'm you had your CNA, like I'm literally okay. Yeah, so yeah. Like, we give CNA their shots and stuff now. Okay. When the last time you had your hair, you had a wash and rinse. Your hair need to get. When the last time I'm making money, so. Uh, 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 getting lucky. When the last time you had a wash and rinse, your hair looks dry as fuck. I'm at work. I don't be trying to be cute here. I take care of patients. You you don't try to be cute. Not at work. It just comes natural. Yeah, why would you have to try to be cute? Yo, somebody said in the chat, you got the nappy head. Is that on purpose? Or are you trying? Do you try to be nappy? You don't have to try to do that, do you? I want to turn my camera <laughs> off, and I'll be right back. Somebody said go back to the braids, babe. They hey, said back to the braids. I got to uh, get your sugar, okay? Mm. How are you feeling? Says so she needs to put that Popeye's chick, chicken down. He's so weak. No. Why do you think that's for? How long have you been in bed so long? Well, how long have you been in bed? Oh, really? You just didn't feel like getting up? She need to do her job and stop. It's really <laughs> scary how they don't know how to use technology correctly. Uh, she can't even mute up. So now we can hear all her while she's working. Go ahead. No. We want to hear that. Good we do. Come here to get you changed. I'll uh, do your wound care for you, okay? Yeah, her hair is matted. Yeah, look, 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 listen. Matted is not the natural state of black hair. That's deliberate. What's going on with your foot? That's horrible. Your hair gets matted <laughs> due to lack oh, foot, of attention. Due to lack of moisturizer. Yeah. Professional I'm sorry, doctor. Female, 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 Otis. Time ago, and you were on the other she getting Man, pusher. Yeah. I mean, three hundred all over there. I don't there. care what they pay you, though. Hold on, real talk. I don't care what they pay you. They. I, I'm not having a social interaction with those people. I don't care how much they pay you. Now, she has to do that. You see that? She's got to go in there and be friendly and shit like mm-hmm. that with those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't care how much they pay. I'm not doing that. Look, I'm a, I am I juice that nigga up. What are you talking about? Give me that motherfucking shot. <laughs> stick, I stick that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Where is that? Is that a white boy over there? I'm going to stick the shit out that white boy. <laughs> I'm not talking to him, though. Fuck all that. I got other shit to yeah. do. Right, I gotta bounce. Yeah, I, I jug that motherfucker all day. Where you want? Where you give him what? Hundred milligrams? Where you at? Come in, motherfucker. I'm finna st- shut the fuck up. I will stick your ass in your mouth, nigga. You got me fucked up. I've got to jug your ass to get my paper, nigga. I fool that motherfucker all day. I'm not talking to him. All that fucking, all that small talk. I'm not doing that. But you see how gangster she was at first, and then she sweetened right up when she got to take her ass back to work. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. How's your, uh, you, did you have any sugar? Can I check your blood test? Like, bitch, shut up. You just calling everybody gay up here. They don't like black Wait, men. She, she crazy. They don't like us. They don't like us. She got the nappy head, though, with the needles. Up in the up snappy in the, daggy uh, dugout. She had the snappy daggy dugout. <laughs> <laughs> She got the nappy fro with the needles in the in the uh, convalescent home, though. She was She'd a little husky too. Probably. I don't know, Plaque. She she probably look like she can swing a jab a little bit. Them husky chicks, man, especially the ones that be on their feet all day. CNA. Those be. She got to do problem. something about that that her top. She got to do. She got to straighten her top out. If I had to, I'd go down to CVS and pay that seven dollars and get her that. That relax and go curl. I, come on, I'm gonna I'm gonna juice her head up, bro. I'm gonna sit her in the tub. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna clean that head up, man. 
I'm gonna put Baby a comb Dean. in there, man. We're gonna straight it away. <laughs> Even if it got just laid to the back, man. I don't like that hard. A lot of times black hair be hard and, and be coarse. I don't like it all hard, hard like that. Oh, baby D back. Come on, baby D. What what new fruit snacks you know about in 2023? Come on. You need to take your blood pressure. I don't like their hair all coarse like that, all hard like that. When y'all get ready to do Miss Malone, let me know because she got Who? she said she got a lot of wounds. Who? <laughs> oh, she talking to her people. She said that and then her foot. She about to get oh, fired. She got you on the phone. Yeah, I'm not piecing bitches back together. I don't do that. Already on them? <laughs> she said, I'm not piecing uh, bitches back together. It was one on there already. Okay. <laughs> I'll take a look at it. Yo, change somebody duty yeah. pad, yo. They wasn't uh, covering uh, it up before? Okay. I could never work in the medical profession, bro. Nurses be dumb as fuck when it comes to their phones. God. Dumb. <laughs> Brother. Dumb. Brother. No, they're not. She's on She's on audio on purpose. On don't, don't say that. Don't be up here. Don't come up here and be ignorant, bro. You know, geriatric for her. She's a professional diaper she, changer. Okay, well, I don't disagree with that, but don't be ignorant. She left her audio on on a purpose. Platt, she had work on here trying to... Like, I want her to leave it on! That girl was shot out. out. Brother. I want her... I want it on. Violating <laughs> HIPAA law like a mud, too. I want the audio on. What the fuck wrong with you, bro? It's called YouTube. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? We're supposed to communicate. You niggas be killing me with that. It's called YouTube, nigga. We're supposed to communicate. Yes, I want to hear what she's doing. Good Lord, bro. You niggas don't understand that? God damn, bro. We want to hear what she's doing. No, I don't think they've uh -oh. fought for her uh -oh. yet. What's up with you, Bay? You all right, Bay? They letting you take a break? Oh, Jesus. All right, well, if y'all need me, I'm going to be doing my charging. Okay. They giving you some time off? How come, how come you took the braids out? How come you took the braids out? Oh, she done run off. There you go. She says, she Damn, Plaque, why you drop me? Plaque, damn. <laughs> what the fuck? What I do? How, how come she took her braids out? She I don't know, but I, I'd rather have had the braids in, to be honest. Yeah, she need, she need them motherfuckers. Yeah, she do. She do. Yeah. You need them braids like <laughs> you need the braids. If she got a like a nappy top, like a little taste of hair, and that shit is like a nap a nappy like a nappy hedge, we gotta put them braids back up in that motherfucker. <laughs> if all you can draw out the top of your head is a nappy hedge, we gotta put braids in that motherfucker. You might need more than braids. She might be she might need like what you call? What are them things called? Them uh, stuff. Uh, see, this, I don't even know. I'm not no. I don't do nothing when it comes to women here. But what's that? What's what are them braids like? When you like have braids, right? And then underneath the braids, they put like that wig that will hold it underneath the braids. You know what I'm talking about? Or nah. Nah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. If you, no, got I don't know. When the word, when it, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. I, I know a lot of black women, they have like a hedge, like, you know, a hedge clipper. They have like a hedge grow at the tip, at the tippity top of their skull. And they don't have no sides. Like their hair don't grow on the sides. It'll grow high, tip top. And they got that nappy head. It's nappy. They got a nappy hedge. We got to braid that out. I'm like talking to, I'm talking to her. Like, I'm like, listen, we got to do something. We got to do something. Because I, I can't, look, I don't like to wake up and see your head all crested up on the top of your head 
like you some prehistoric fucking uh, malatha beast and shit. Now nah, listen. Like, what what I need you, you fucking with? Like, God damn, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, what, what I need you, you talking about? What I need you to do is get your shit twisted or curled or put on a wig. But you can't look like a Tessera to that that sort of died out, you know, in a you know, supposedly died out, but you want you look like that motherfucker, like you carrying its lineage. Because the, the top of your shit is high and crusty. Nah, listen to me. Listen, I, you can't fuck with me like that. Oh, Corey, you like the curls, Curry? Oh, man. Curry said you like them. Oh, I don't like them with their head shaved and then they have a, a, a nappy top. Corey, stop being soft for the chick, man. You saw <laughs> what we saw, bro. That shit was unappetizing. Corey just soft for, for the for the chick. That's all. He's soft for the pussy. You guys think Corey is pro woman? Sometimes he be talking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my man Corey, no, nah, he, 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 he keep it mutual. He keep it mutual. My man Corey keep it mutual. <laughs> he be calling them chicks out too. I ain't never hear him call nobody out. I didn't hear him agree with Bomb Cherry. I hear him agree with Trinity. He be agreeing what? with everybody. I ain't heard, never heard him agree with Trinity. No, I ain't hear him agree with no Trinity. Especially not no damn Bomb uh, ch uh, ch Sugar Bomb. Crazy ass. Corey Love, I'm pro truth. Okay, okay, Corey. Okay. Facts. I don't getting like that. In Kentucky, bye, because y'all are a bunch of pussy bopping dick suckers. Yo, all, right, all right, all right, all right, mama, all right. Why would she say that? Why. Yeah, whatever. I don't like too much of that edge control on the chick's hair. That's the only thing I don't like. Too much of that when it turn white, that should have turned off for me. They got to grease it down and try to make it like they got to go white hair. somebody ass. I don't know what she's doing. I know she's doing. She's getting ready to go wipe a wipe wipe. Make sure it don't get on your skin, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you use gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you use the gloves, you know what I'm saying? Use them tied de defective <laughs> spray. <laughs> use them tied defective wipes too, you know what I'm saying? You don't want none of that COVID on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nah, that, that, that shit ain't cool, though, man. She went to work with her shit all nappy and shit like that with a bunch of needles and shit. That's got to scare those patients. Hell yeah. They probably feel like they in a, in a psyche home instead of a nursing home when the, she pull up. She pull up, she look like the mad nurse. She got the needles. She's like, it's time. He's like, help. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey Brownie, they they be having fake edges too out here. I heard, I seen. Security it. knows like, that those people are on the last days of their life, and they have to see that. Mhm. Mm you got you 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 ninety five years old. You in the hospital. You in a wheelchair. Here come a chick with a needle, full of fucking meds, and she got the nappy top. That's got to be traumatizing. She got a dry, nappy, nappy head, head going. Yeah, that's gotta be. That's gotta scare a nigga. I hear his her dude got wake up to that. She looked like a snore too. That damn back like that. Getting lucky. It's gonna be a long time for me. I got many, many years before I'm on that floor, babe. <laughs> she ain't gonna do nothing but come up there and, and try to fuck you. So what difference? Exactly. I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to being a geriatric uh -oh. later on. <laughs> she gonna come up there black. Claim, oh, claiming, claiming you you claiming she your fam so she can try to do shit to you that's that nigga from youtube i always liked him you're gonna be up there half, you're gonna be up there in a bed sheet looking crazy in the motherfucker here she come raising up your sheet trying to suck you off how are we anti-black she she bro listen she's just telling you what she is bro 
That's, that's a, the system. Like, anytime a woman projects like that, she's low key just telling you about herself. Mm-hmm. That's it. She's telling you that she's anti black, and she's telling you that even though y'all talk shit about women, I like it because it's true. Because why else are you here? <laughs> She has young patients as well. Whatever. She, what, she Whatever. likes it. Oh, oh, karmic, karmatic nurse. You know, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. It's to be a paramedic, babe. Get the hell on. Screw that, bro. I'm, I'm afraid of them shots, me. bro. Oh, I ain't trying to take none of them shits, bro. I've done triage rescue. Get the hell up out of here. I've been at historic events in the United States. You don't scare me. I stumbled on this channel. Once you stumble, well, stumble on your channel, ass, hold on, then, damn it, you don't gotta stay stumble. <laughs> stumble. How do you stumble well, on it? Oh, 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 she hating now. What she hating now? Babe, you need to keep them braids in. Listen, if you don't learn nothing today, put them braids in. You got a dry top. That shit look dry as fuck. She needs some just for me. You need to oil. <laughs> you need to go get you a quart of WD forty and oil that shit up. That shit look dry as fuck. Just for me, there you go. You Just need to get your me. ten W fifty, man. You get the fifty weight for you fifty weight. You need to take a, 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 a wash your shit with fifty weight motor oil and grease your skull. Grease your skull. That's some dry <laughs> motherfucking desert you got at the top of your shit, babe. You got literally a cactus <laughs> growing at the top of your fucking head. That dust balls and shit. <laughs> you dry ass hair. Hair dry as shit. Dry like the hard desert and shit. Oh god my damn. god. You gotta lube your shit. Go get you some WD 40, babe. Fuck all that <laughs> uh 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 sulfur aid and grease and all that. You, you, you do done with the beauty shop. You need yeah. to go to the auto shop <laughs> for your shit. <laughs> Right. Uh, olive oil, oil ain't cutting it for her no more. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> what you need to do is go to uh uh motherfucking what is that shit? I, uh uh God, I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry, I don't know it. But I where I take my car to get my oil changes. Auto tune, Val- 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 no, yeah, Val- yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just where, just like auto, you get your oil changed. They, you know, you drive up. She need to go ahead and be behind me, and walking, and be like, I need a lube change. Yeah, your hair. They be like, they'll drop you, put a couple of quarts in that shit, wash it, lube it up. Maybe even put an elf. That shit's so dry, you might need a motherfucking oil filter in that in that joint. Try to grease your joint up. Look, look, she do know. She said Jiffy Lube. Yep, that's what you got. <laughs> Jiffy Lube. There you go, babe. You got it right. There you go, mama. I'll put $20 on your next Jiffy Lube, uh, babe. Run on through there. You need it. If I fuck with you, if I knew you, I would go get a couple of quarts. We put you in the tub. We soak you. We let you soak for me. Your hair look dry as hell, babe. We got, you got to get, you got to grease that. It's supposed to lay down. See, that's what a lot of black people don't understand. Your hair is supposed to lay down. It's supposed to be all fucking stragged up and, and sticking everywhere. Looking like you got shocked. That shit's supposed to lay down. It's supposed to be soft. That's why you got to moisturize your hair. If you moisturize your hair, it's going to lay down. That shit ain't supposed to be fucking all up everywhere. Like you stuck your fucking head, hand in a socket. You look butching a motherfucker too. You talking about we look we gay. You look like you eat some carpet in this motherfucker. <laughs> Go for me That's some fact. Beer. That's a huge fact. And it look like he could she could eat a you eat about a couple of fucking floors of carpet. <laughs> <laughs> she look like she in the in the nursing home looking for a sugar daddy right now. You, know, you, you see her eyes though. Eat yeah, the like holes. you said, she had like black circles around her she eyes, had black like, marks around mm. her eyes. Yeah, like what the fuck? Can't even see her. Evil as fuck. 
<laughs> like she right. taking one of like she like she she giving them niggas niggas, but in the in in between she popping herself with a needle. So you doing way too many. Mm. <laughs> Paul, like what? She talking crazy. <laughs> if I knew her, if my girl was around, if my girl were with her, I'm I'm the dude that's like, yo, check this out. Uh, getting lucky. I mean, I understand she's cool with y'all, but but at the end of the day, she eat, she munched too much carpet. I I don't trust. I don't want you fucking with her because she munched that carpet. What you mean? Like, no, nah, she ain't playing with it. I said she'll eat that whole second floor up if she could. Mm. All right, I'm gonna think about it. I said that she's like, well, you know what? Now that you say it, there she has been like sort of looking at me and trying to like get in my face a lot. All right, I'm saying yeah, back up out of that. Back up out of there, because she, you know, she just she looks she look a little strap happy. She look a little strap happy. She look like she got one of them big ass straps too, bro. Like big as a baseball bat. <laughs> she look like it, like she don't play around, bro. Like she man, she gonna strap. Yeah, play. That's what I was about to say. She look like a fighter, bro. You <laughs> leave her alone. Is she from Kentucky? Woo wee. Those some brolic chicks out there, boy. Brolic. She out there juicing up them white folks. She's all them needles she got. She out there just juicing them. Shoving them needles in their arms. Mm -hmm. Changing, changing the shit out <laughs> of them doo doo pans. Only change them doo doo pans, lady. Smell like she, she got she got she got fifteen patients, fifteen needles. For the patients, three for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how come she ain't slept in 24. She's been up for all day, bro. She, she said it. She's been up all day. You know, mm -hmm. saying, so you know she's sticking in something. Mm. She said, let me juice up. Let me juice up before the shift. <laughs> Some good meds, bro. Make a nigga shit and sleep. What you do all weekend? I shit and sleep. That's all I did. <laughs> sounds sounds like you're living a life. <laughs> man, now she lying, Tom. But I got a great. To, look at it, lying. I got an assistant to do them. You, we just heard you assisting somebody. What are you talking about? If she a head nurse, I mean, she is absolutely crazy. No, so come back up, right. babe. Why you run off? No, nah, she's you can gonna talk be now. Hold up, you can talk. Well, no, she can type. She can talk. If you can type, you can talk. Come on back up. We want to know what's going on there. See her though. We've we seen enough. We don't need this. We've seen enough. <laughs> Use a robust black. Oh, yeah. We've seen yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. You now nah, she's robust. Rotunda. Yeah, you rotund. You sort of a. She looked tall too. She got them bird legs. Wallet. She. A, she a tall sister with them bird legs. Man, I don't like that. Cheese. Please. I don't, I don't think she's tall. She just look. No, nah, she's tall. She look about 6'2 with, oh, with the bird, on. with the with the skinny legs. She got them skinny With them skinny legs. ass legs and bird yeah. legs and just all yeah. back. We got all a man back, for you, Maurice. Stomach. We got a perfect <laughs> look, man for you, Maurice. Look, look at you. Gemini. Look, yeah, look That's at Gemini. Great, bro. Also, nurse got good box. <laughs> Go ahead, Gemini. You want her? She don't want Gemini. Oh, you, Gem? Well, I already know she don't want Gemini. She done had her share of Gemini's. She done with that. <laughs> She's had her share of, 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 of Gemini's. But we're going to give her Maurice. Maurice waiting on you, babe. Oh, hell no. Nah. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, Cam. Cam up, Maurice. Nah, I'm good, bro. Hold up, I'm Maurice. She said, "Hold up, she said I'm not tall. I don't have skinny legs." Well, That's she's it's, well. I, well, Damn you know up, what, Maurice, you, you know what? She can, no, no. She can, she can go. She go to Maurice. my profile. She she can go. No, no, to, no, 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 Maurice. No, <laughs> Cam up for platinum. She can go to the channel, me. bro. Hold up, hold up. He's taking out. one for the team. Maurice, <laughs> help me out. Do it for me. Oh, it's Gemini's girl. No, it's not. <laughs> I said no, it was not. She Gemini I was saying, I could have sworn Gemini was like no, her I... share of Gemini's. Damn. Well, 
Go ahead, Maurice. I think she, cause she, I think you're her type. Uh, I don't think so. She likes dark skin dudes. I think. Well, find out. Go ahead and cam up. Uh, what, you know, I, I would, but my my phone, you know, what I'm saying, is broken. So I, I, I under these circumstances, under <laughs> <laughs> these circumstances. All right. Well, you deserve I what would, you bro. get. I would, bro. They said my phone broke at the time. This nigga on it. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, the camera is, is cracked in the front, so it's just like, I would have to turn the whole phone around and, you know. No, Reese, don't care about That's a lot of Reece. work. That's a lot of work. My man is biracial. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Let me shut up. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, Damn, he's a mover. You said you ugly. Mark, she said you ugly. Okay, I'll take that. But you know what I'll take also? I'm not as ugly as you. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I'm not as ugly as your ass. We ugly. We ugly, ugly. Woke up from ground zero ugly. Like, the Grinch ugly. God, God, God bless her. That's the sisterhood for us. At work, talking crazy. 100% sister. Yeah, that's 100% sister. <laughs> Boyfriend moving trucks for 775. You getting this paper though. I ain't knocking. You getting your money too, mama. But you need to put them donuts down because you're going to be winding up right along with them old people in that damn place. Is she Tonight, bragging maybe? about being married twice? That's a you lost. Like I don't get. I've been proposed twice. I've been married twice. You lost twice. No, you've been married. Really, twice. what you need to say is married. You've been divorced twice. Yeah. You lost. Be hard. You lost. I've been married twice. Like that's not nothing to be it's bragging not brag about. about. Baby. Right. You've been it divorced really twice. That means you failed twice. Right, you failed twice. Like I don't understand that. <laughs> Kentucky, I ain't one of them boys, but how much you weigh, baby? And don't lie and say you don't know, cause all y'all nurses weigh yourself every day. <laughs> <laughs> every nurse I know, she jumps on that every scale every day, back, bro. <laughs> All of them do it. All of them. Yeah, all of them do that. That's a fact. Skinny, skinny to the, to the, to the, the big mamas. They all weigh they sell. Should have an aunt. She was a big, big girl. She wear herself every time she went to work. Okay, we. I don't know if this is a troll. Let me show up. Let me let me protect. Yeah. Me. He ran out. He ran out. Probably was a troll. Somebody came up. They probably. Yeah, when they run move. up, yeah, when they run up and act like that, they probably troll. Yeah, Gemini's right, because nurses have all the time in the world. Of course, I talk to a company. They ain't got nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me weigh myself. Did you know last week I weighed 173? Did you know this week I weighed 180? Did you, I put on some, I'm like, okay, whatever. I've talked, I've had, bro, they all do the same shit. They all say the same one, shit. Look, look, look. <laughs> five, five, six, 185. I have a big butt. All right, baby. You got a big back to go with that big butt and the big belly, too. Big belly. I got a big butt. All right, baby. Big breast. Old lady butt. Hey, sound, like you want a, sound like you want a piece, Joey. Sound like to me. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm, you I'm, like five, I'm, six, I'm 180. Get... That's your type. Plaque. This is that is a nice type. That's Plaque. one size, but she's not. Plaque. She's, I don't know. I'm not part of the macaroni and cheese queen, man. Remember you said you was last week. I'm not. That, my my car ain't holding all that weight. Yeah, all right, man. You saying one thing, but it's like to me, you you want to you want to sleep with it. That's what uh, I'm getting. No, nah, no, nah, nah, mm. my bed can't hold all that weight. My bed can't hold all that weight because I'm six one and I weigh two thirty, so I can't go up to a chick. That's too much weight. I'm cool. Y'all go fuck on the floor. <laughs> he said the bed spring ain't gonna support y'all. 
No, it wasn't. It's not. <laughs> oh my god! But you can fuck on I the floor, though, bro. Phone. You can fuck on the floor, bro. What you talking about? I'm I, I, I'm a grown man, plaque. I'm not having sex on no floor or no back of no car. I like to get loose. I'm too old for that. <laughs> when I was a young boy, when I was agile, I was good with bro, that. I've been here since like I don't even know, bro. How, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, how the fuck am I getting? <laughs> I ain't taking nothing for the team. My Reese, you can take her though, Reese. I told you, Reese. Oh, nigga got quiet. He said, fuck that. At the end of the day, brother, we're talking about revoking Will Smith. The Oscar's going to remove the award. They're totally unhappy with his behavior. They're going to punish him. He's, they're going to revoke his best actor award. He's going to suffer you think in they're Hollywood. Gonna do that? Yes, yes. He's going to suffer in Hollywood. I think he's going to get out of it, Platt. He's going to, him and Chris going to kiss and make up. They're going to hug it out. Watch. Watch. They're going to hug it up. Will going to go to one of his comedy shows. He's going to joke on him. Or he probably gonna get his smack back or something. I, I got him doing that. Watch, he, he gonna let Chris Rock smack him back or something. The back gonna hug it out. Be so large, the Oscars wouldn't even dare to make that move. What if he's smacking back on some mm. funny shit, on some playing around? If they revoke Best Actor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you they can take it away from him. You can hang that yeah. up. The sponsors will get hit. They revoke them, then I'm not buying your car. Don't show me the damn commercial. I don't care to see it. I'm not buying from you. They're going to let him keep it, but he probably going to go back to the Oscars no more. That's it. They, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's not like it's life. It's not, it's not like it's mandatory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You already cashed out in one. That's it. Shit. He does own his own production company, and yes, like the commenter mentioned in the chat, he can make as many movies as he wants now. He has his own production company. Yep. It's a couple. Uh, it's another actor <clears throat> that got their own production company now. I forgot his name. White guy. That might be the move too. Everybody like, man, we gonna do our own thing. I ain't worrying about y'all. But well, he 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 gonna be good. He gonna be alright. Yeah, I mean more. Yeah, just like Mike Angelica saying, "Will gonna drop money on Chris Rock." Yeah, I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't put it past Will Smith to buy Chris uh, a a Bach or some you know some exotic car. <laughs> a Maybach. Yeah. Chris ain't worried about no Maybach. <coughs> he probably went to. Chris not even built like that. Don't care about that. Yeah, he ain't worrying about no Maybach. He don't care about that type of. Will just got to apologize. Yeah, look at that shit now. Sisterhood, look what she just said. My man will literally slap all of y'all up there and y'all won't do nothing. You hear that? Uh, okay. Right. Send him up. Send him, send him on up. Send him on up, uh, Kentucky. Like, share, subscribe, man. Do me a favor. Like the stream. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the cash app. That's how we found getting lucky in Kentucky because it got recommended to her feed. Look, do keep liking and sharing. <clears throat> yeah, sit them on over here. Um, getting lucky, and you come with them and see if we back down from you. Really think we? Can, well, hold up, I can platinum. See if I back down from your man. Bring him over here. I welcome. I welcome his engagement. Come over and over here. That's the sister. Okay, hold up. Do you, me boy. a favor. Go get him and bring him over here. And let's find out if we're going to back down. <coughs> let's put it to the test, babe. <coughs> Don't talk about it. Let's be about it. <laughs> you ain't going to be going walking Go back tell like him we Will. Was fucking with you. Go tell him we was fucking with you, too. Go gas him. <laughs> so they ain't fucking with me. 
Set him over here on that simp on that simp suicide run. And watch where tell I got to him, destroy his ass. Tell, tell him we said your back was brawly. You got that, set, that set dry ass pro. Send him on over here, babe. <laughs> we got no problem with you, babe. You hit the hit the link. Come on over here. We like you. But hey, if you want to start a fight now, we can defend ourselves. Now that's on you. You doing that. That's not us. You can be right there putting that ice on his head. You ain't gonna be going to work for the next two days. <laughs> Whoop his ass. Give him a first class ass whooping. Now you gotta play nurse on his dumb ass. Go ahead and put that battery in his back. Look at Sugar. Shut up, Sugar. You always go. <laughs> <laughs> You probably weigh 150, soaking wet. Talking about you gonna get him to check some eye. Probably gonna be like, hey brother, my girl told me you you was talking about her. I I didn't, I didn't want to come over here and talk to you, but you know I just gotta make her understand. Like, get your bitch ass out my face. And Joy, do me a favor, leave the chat alone. Don't don't worry about what they say in the chat. If you wanna address him. Do it via the chat box. Don't do it do, uh, uh, via the, the panel. Nah, I ain't paying no mind, Platt. All right, but if you want to address them, just type it out. Don't talk it out. We don't care what they do in the chat. Don't be letting them nope. chicks gash y'all fellas up, man. I wish um, Lucky in Kentucky would send her boy over here, man. It, it, I need, I, you know what? I need my ass whooped. Send him on over here. <laughs> you need your ass whooped? I could use one, yeah. It's been a minute. It's sad, man. Summertime about to come up, and a lot of dudes going to be thinking they Will Smith, boy. I don't want it to happen to y'all fellas, man. Please don't let them put that batter in y'all back. They are. They're hmm. gonna, they gonna, it's going to happen. Oh, well, trust me. I know. Shit. Especially these niggas in my city. They super saver hoes. All of them. She got a dirty mind, too. She got the potty mouth. <laughs> yeah, she talk crazy. So Platt, is this what is this what the modern age lady is into now? They like to send their men off to know. war. Well, they do to that. I yep. don't know what the one woman is into. I don't see them different yeah. than the other one, any other woman. Yeah, don't. I'm telling. I'm telling y'all fellas, don't be out here doing that, man. Don't be out here letting these chicks gash y'all up, thinking y'all gonna be out here like Will Smith and smack a man and walk off on some GQ type shit. No, nah, you are gonna catch a first class ass kicking, or you might catch a slug in your ass. You know what I'm saying? All I'm gonna say is you better have some good health insurance this summer. You know what I mean? Don't be letting them chicks gash y'all fellas up, man. Please don't. Please. Cause they gonna go home. You ain't. Yep. <laughs> they gonna go home. They gonna slay somebody next. And you gonna be in jail? Or are you gonna how be many, in that damn hospital? How many times have we heard? Look, 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 look. Kentucky, we ain't, we like you over here, babe. You 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 know you you keep talking about how we ain't shit, but Kentucky, you ain't got no man, babe. We don't believe you. <laughs> you ain't got no man. Why you capping like that? Why you come over here and tell us you gonna put your man on us? He gonna whoop us? Kentucky, you ain't got no man. That's why your hair all frizzed up like that. Look like you stuck your hand in a in an electrical socket. Women who stick their hands in electrical sockets don't have men, babe. Why are you trying to guess? <laughs> we not stupid, babe. Look like you stuck your a pair of scissors in an electrical socket and got shocked. 
Your hair all stood up like that and nappy and dry like that. That ain't what bitches that's getting fucked don't have a a dry river. You got a nappy bed. You got a nappy dry bed. I don't have to go get a can of WD fifty what fifty twenty and grease your head up because you just extra dry. Now, you can't find a simp. I agree. It ain't your man, though. You can find a simp that'll come over here and talk sideways to us and talk sideways. Yeah, he's a simp, though. That ain't your man. Uh-oh. I don't have to lie about having a man unlike y'all who do not cam up. Where did I lie about not camming up, babe? And I wouldn't. I, I applaud you for your bravery. I would not have cammed up with that with that dry ass <laughs> rug you got on top of your head. <laughs> not Don King. <laughs> You got that dry ass rug on the top of your head. Like, what you trying to do? Take the paint off? You trying to take paint off the motherfucking side of the wall? Motherfucker don't need no sandpaper. All you got to do is grab the side of your head and just use it to take the paint off. Five layers of paint. Get, to, you know, grind you down. Got the whiff tickets, but hey, Platt, I got a question uh, for you. Mm. Uh, uh, they said they doing an investigation. <laughs> what happened with Will? Right? What the hell is there to investigate? If millions of people seen what happened, like they gotta look at all the evidence. They are gonna look at what they have. Then they are gonna look at other videos, and then they are gonna interview people. That's how you do it. You gotta make sure you got all the facts. Okay, so even though it was already recorded and millions of people seen it, they still got to go behind each thing and go behind it and make sure, you know, it matches up so they can press charges or whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bill got away with it. I, I, that's one thing I can say. He got away with it so far because Chris ain't pressing no charges, and the way it's looking, he ain't losing that Oscar. The most he going, he gonna, they gonna ban him. That's it. That's all they gonna do is ban him. He ain't don't care. He gonna make a, a good ass movie. Niggas gonna be back to jumping on Will Smith again. Yeah, I mean he's likely to make a movie that wouldn't even be nominated for an Oscar. He ain't worrying about that no more. Yeah, he ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. He ain't losing no type of sleep. People gonna be right back on Will Smith train. Trust me, I give it. You said five years he be done plaque. I say five years he be popping again. Watch. Him and Chris gonna kiss. They, I don't want to say. I don't like saying that with two men. They ain't gonna kiss and make up, but they gonna make up, and they gonna be good. Watch. And the sisterhood gonna be rocking with him. And the simp's gonna be rocking with him. I'm trying to think what movie he had that was good recently. Shut up. <laughs> the one he was nominated for, nominated for and won Best Actor. Bam, there it is. The Serena Williams, the Serena stories. That's that that's it. Call it. Maybe you can call up Michael Bay and say, "Hey, let's go ahead and do another Bad Boys." They said they already about to do another one. I didn't even see the last one. And that had didn't it have Chris Rock in it? 
Wasn't he in Bad Boys uh, 4? Bad Boys? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see the last one. <laughs> Bad Boys 4? I don't know about that. They don't need to be in no damn bad boys, though. Watch. All this going to get swept underneath the table. By, I give it a couple more months. Watch. Man, he well turned out. He turned down a lot of good stuff. I mean, he could have been in the MCU. So but, he could have been in the Matrix. Yep, could have been in the Matrix. I mean, he turned down a lot of projects that could have made him even more money. So it definitely isn't about the money. That's a weird family, boy. That's all I can say. That, I wish my daughter would write some damn Tupac. I slam dunk shit out that letter in the trash. When did she write, write this Tupac letter? for? They say she was little. I don't know how young she was, but either way, like, you write Tupac for her. Talking about make me and mommy happy. And I did peep that too. Jada was a, a damn thought in every movie she was in. She was a thought. Even the, de what's with that? the demon movie, she was even a thought. How was she a thought? She was a what? She was a. She was getting she was getting dug out by one of the demons. <laughs> Every movie she was in, she was a thought. Said it all. She was a thought. I'm in the bond, Nate. Otis was tearing her ass up. Mm. What movie she wasn't a thought in? Girls trip, dotting it up. The Matrix. Oh, it's the Matrix, like. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get slaughtered. I mean, you know I mean, unless you was the white people getting slaughtered out, like. Yeah, yeah. But then they did have that little orgy moment. Mm-hmm. All the piece ain't no death. Of, no, <laughs> people go bald every day, B. I know a chick around my way going bald. She look good. She keep a do rag and waves on on fleek in her head. That that bald shit don't mean nothing, cuz. And I give it to Jada for her age. She look good. She ain't hit hit. She she all right. Just evil. Yeah, her film career has definitely had a different turn compared to Will's. Yeah, but that's why she's so evil. She ain't getting that same result. Everybody going crazy for Will. She wanted that same type of uh, effect, just like him. You could tell she don't have it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still can't believe, man. Let our city down, Will. I know he don't care. <laughs> we let the city down, cuz. That dude, he let, it, he let us down, bro. I don't care what nobody say. We ain't supposed to move like that. <laughs> now, I will say th that night probably did have an impact on the I Am Legend 2 sequel. Uh, some, you think so? Yeah, to some degree. To some degree, the studio, the studio may hold them back some, some money on that. But he died in the first one, so how are you going to be in the second one? Oh, that's a way you can keep the character going. He didn't necessarily have to die. Uh, yeah. 
But I heard Michael B. Jordan was going to be the, uh, you know what I mean? Low Down Dirty Shame. Damn, I ain't see that movie in a minute. She was a thought in, she, look, she was a thought in, in, in was, I just watched that the other day. What was that? Woo? With Tommy Davis? <laughs> She was crazy in that movie. Y'all name me one good Jada movie. One, uh, don't say set it off. Just because she lasts, don't don't give her that. Queen Latifah made you set it off. You ask me. I give well, I give her credit. I give her a lot of credit on on set it off. You uh, do? Uh, uh, yeah. That was. I mean, it was a good pick for her to pick that role. I mean. As a move a step forward back then, that was I looked at that as a plus for her because that was going to push her to other stuff, but it didn't pop off as it should have. All right, what, what's the second one that she starred in? You think? Well, I mean, from there, it was just her being in the Matrix sequel. Because I was really like, okay, now she's nah, messing nah, nah, with Hollywood nah, A list, so nah, nah. now she's That's moving up. She but, played the old lady in the Matrix sequel. I've seen it. That's that yeah. horrible. Yeah, Matrix Four, how they made her the leader. I'm like, how do they skip over Morpheus like that? But oh well. Yeah, you ain't lying about that. A lot of them, 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 them roles they be playing, they do be them in real life. Shit. <laughs> it started it, it ended her career. Cause I ain't man. Listen, God bless Jada. She said. Well, go get some therapy. That's his business. What he do with his wife and his family? I say, leave that bitch. Get you a better bitch. You know, you know what I'm saying? Get you. I hate to say it. He will might have to need a snow bunny. <laughs> cute little, cute little snow bunny. Yeah. You know I mean? mm. Hair all long. Got a little meat on her. It's Jada, I don't see it, man. He's already had that. That red table talk, that 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 shit is is is. First of all, she gotta get rid of that show. Her daughter agreed to everything she heard. Her daughter and her mom agreed to everything she said out her dumb ass mouth. I watched one one episode of that. I was like, I can't watch this shit. Yeah, you ain't lying. Get all that money and still wife the worst of the worst, cuz. What, plaque, plaque, took a plaque, man? You went to sleep? No, oh, no. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I thought you might know. <laughs> yeah. I think Will just need to get himself together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take a little break. Take a little break from Jada. Leave her. Leave her. You know. Oh, they got a trend. Man. They got to transition, man. Dudes got to transition. We get older, we, we become different people. We got to accept that. And that's what's up, man. Look, we got the we got the um, link pinned up. You want to come up real quick? We'll take your calls. We'll take your conversation. We'll take your disagreements. Yeah, I can't get into that show. I can't get into that. That red table talk, I can't. You talking about blathering? That's a whole bunch of blathering. Talking about a whole bunch of nothing. They're just throwing niggas under the bus, bro. That's all they're doing. That's, That's all. all. They're doing. That's all. Yeah. She was out there with that white girl talking about her, her sex life and all that. I'm like, kicking my man Will underneath the bus on that. I'm like, damn, cuz. 
Yeah, right, call her up and tell her to shut her mouth. What's up, Gemini? Oh, hey, Gemini, what's up? Gemini. What's up, fellas? What's up? What's up, what's up Gemini? Oh, man, y'all had me at work laughing. I'm, I'm uh, getting ready to stick the key in the door to my place, man. Y'all, y'all had me cracking up, man. Bye. Especially when that nurse was doing all that capping. I couldn't see the chat, but... Uh, she came up and threatened us. When I knew that was going to happen, she came up, she talked shit, then she threatened us. <clears throat> well... I can tell you this for sure, as a man who worked in uh, health care. Now, not her. I wouldn't fool with her. But the nurses, that's all they do. When she says she's getting ready to go chart, she's sitting behind the desk, and she's signing off on what she gave each patient, you know, laxative and what like. But when they sitting behind that desk talking, that's what they be back there talking Worse than us dudes, man. I'm oh, yeah, you. I know. I had a couple of them. They'd be ready to go, man. Like, I, I I worked with a couple of them. I'm like, what you doing when, when you get off of work? Uh, none of them say, what's up? You want to have some coffee or something? They'd like, bet. But we never make it to no coffee shops. <laughs> 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 a lot of them so, nurses, they feet be stinking a little bit, too, man. I had a couple uh, of them nurses. They... They kick them shoes off. I'll be like, whoo, shit. Mm. <laughs> I'm John's body rocking. Somebody rocking them boots. I had a couple That's nurses. True. They kicked them shoes. They be like, they did a 12 hour shift. I'll be like, Jesus, baby. It was, it was just That's one nurse I worked with, man. And I slipped up like uh, she was getting ready to do something to somebody, like change their wound dressing or something. So we standing up in the room. And we were getting ready to walk out. And I like walked up in behind her. And it's like she just laid her head back on my chest. Like she had been waiting for me to do it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and all of a sudden, before I knew anything, she pulled her boob out like boop. And shoved me in the <laughs> hey, you start. Hey, Gemini, you start. You start. You start. What you start doing? She pulled it out. Go ahead, Gemini. Tell us what you, what you did. Just, well, I, I, let nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah. Put it in my mouth, yeah. I tried to see if I could get it. I tried to see if I can get the point to stick up on it. I ain't trying to say the actual term, but yeah. I mean, you know, hey, sugar. I'm telling you, look, listen. Go ahead, go ahead, Jim, but I need to hear the story. Go ahead, man. I need to laugh, man. You be having the best stories, cuz. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can hear you. Go ahead. Tell your story. I worked a 12 hour shift. Okay. Now, I had a nurse that I was fucking with. She worked there. Okay. People knew, but now it was a chick in restorative. She exercised the people out and shit. Yeah. She was in the break room. This was like in the first. She was in the break room and she was on the phone and she said she was telling me to come here to her. And I walked up to her like, what's up? And she on the phone. I'm standing up and she turned her head and undid my shit and said, boop, Tootsie Roll Pop. <laughs> right boop. there. Boop. So then I leave, I leave, I leave out of there and then it was time to pass trays so once the trays got finished passed here come the housekeeping chick she tells me go down to room so and so went down yeah. there she got you know blew my top off so now hey gemini what 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 porno was this man was you sure this was you <laughs> hey, hey bro, listen to me this listen to me keep it clean man and don't if, look, oh, yeah, if, you, yeah. if you got a filthy I mouth, don't come it. up here. I'm tired of you niggas fucking with my streams. No, don't. He talking about porno and Jordan. Don't come up here with that. My, my fault. My fault. Play. My fault. But but that type of stuff happens in these type of places all the time, man. I I knew some men. They call you an Otis in the chat, Gemini. Oh 
Oh, well, there Say, you almost that old as that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it be dudes up in there, man. He don't hardly get no visitors, but that twice a month. Chicks would come up there and visit these guys. One nurse, she got popped. She was trying to do one of them residents like that and was getting money off of them and stuff. And I guess she juiced the dude too much and he dined her out. And uh, she got caught up. She was up in there, you know, handling her business. They call her your uh, uh, oldest. Jim, uh, Sugar Bomb said you're oldest. So you say your key jangling I oldest. Nobody, I ain't nobody studying her. I don't even know her, so <laughs> how the hell she gonna call me anything? She got to get, she need to get some of that uh, 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 air out from between in her head, some of that stuff she be saying in the chat. She be saying some outlandish stuff. But yeah, that nurse, she doesn't have a man. Because if she did, nine times out of ten, he would have been called her. That's another thing about some of these like nurses and Gemini. Men. They saying that ain't no woman alive gonna just drop you and, and suck you right on the spot. <laughs> well, all right. That's what they saying. Keep believing that. Have you they ever saying you making it up? And had it done. They say you making it up. All right. Yeah. You ever drove up in the drive-through where you can buy a uh, beer and liquor and all that shit, and then it, and that be going on. And then I came back the next day, and the dude was like, here's the dude right here. I'm like, what you talking about, bro? He was like, man, you was clowning last they night. They call you your oldest in the chat, Gemini. They call hey, you man. your oldest. Well, if they live long enough, they'll get to be an oldest themselves. If you live <laughs> long enough, you, you might not be an oldest. You might be an Omar. You might be a Germaine a Julius. <laughs> some of, some of y'all can't even get to be your oldest. You're just gonna be a out of wishes ass motherfucker. Get the hell out of here. I'm here. I ain't got no reason to lie about that stuff. That's why. I, that's why I called it out when when she was acting up. I said, man, she she just uh, messing with y'all because she had work in her feelings. She can't get off yet. She don't be there twelve hours or sixteen. <laughs> So she gonna talk this stuff. I'm telling y'all, man, I see it all. I used to see that shit all the time, all the time. One nurse was a cop. One nurse was married to a cop. And she liked the brother that worked alongside of me. And I told him, I said, but I don't know, man. Man, he was gun shy. They was both two gun shy like people. But one day, man, they went to lunch. They went down there by the uh, arena and got them a room and shit. I said, I be damned. So nothing's out of the realm of possibility, bro. I don't, that's why I say I don't. I listen to women, but I don't take them serious. I don't. Cause when they get a chance, they gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you never mess with a woman that works in healthcare like that, I would advise you to go and check one of them out. And you'd be surprised. Why you advise that, Gemini? Why you advise that? Because, man, they always ready to go. Most of them have dudes, probably. But they've been with him, with this guy for so dang gone long. They know he ain't going nowhere. He playing John Madden. She at work. She gonna she gonna put it down on you. I'm talking about in the parking lot, all type of stuff, bro. I'm telling you what I know. Out of the nine years I worked in healthcare, I I I incurred so many different types of women it didn't make no sense they see you up in there i always wonder who took care of them and then it might be one of them's like daughter or niece or something and then they'll give me their telephone number give me a call unless you need anything and i'll just be looking like huh i'm like okay you call them here they are they already got stuff mapped out 
I can't mess with no chick I, I I work with Gemini. That's that's no, that's, that's one of saying, my. I'm saying I'm saying this like one of them people you family met. Oh, oh, a chick that you work with, man. That one that ain't working in healthcare. And when I worked at BP, and uh, let me see, I worked at BP. <laughs> well, of course. 90s. From ninety six to ninety eight, we got that. What's up with you, Swirl Society? Go ahead. What's going on, Pat? How you doing? How y'all ahead, bro. doing, man? Good. What's up with you, bro? I'm from Arizona. Yeah. Uh man, I agree with you, Jim and I. That's that's one hundred percent, man. Them mm-hmm. <laughs> and them healthcare. I ain't working healthcare. My aunt actually works in healthcare. She's a nurse, and I heard all the stories. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> It's nuts. All the stuff I've heard from friends, family. Yeah, you you're not joking. You ain't lying when it it goes I'm down. I'm telling you, man. You ER. get you one of them. You get you a LPN or an RN, and and something to mess with. They be cool with that. You can specify what day. Like, what, what's up? What's up with us on Tuesday? Come on back up. Uh, getting lucky in Kentucky. Hit the link. Come on up <laughs> and bring your boy. He can come up here and threaten us. We'll, we'll listen to him for a minute before we give him the death sentence. But he can come on up here, too. Come on. That was bring time to break, man. Well, we, gonna, we ain't got to do that. We got to we gotta do it. Too. Getting lucky. Come on back, babe. What was that you saying, Platinum? Call him up and say so he can come over here and kick my ass. I ain't yeah, I need ass. ass kicking, bro. I can enjoy it. <laughs> been a minute um, but yeah man y'all just just check it out man that's all i can tell you see well see well like i was told as a kid i'm not a child but as i was told as a kid you got to bring something to get some so don't come over here trying you try to kick my head don't don't think it's all one way like that so <laughs> you got to bring something to get some <laughs> this ain't the oscars <laughs> When you said that, man, I fell out at work laughing. They said, what you laughing at? I said, man, I'm listening to these jokers over here, man. <laughs> I said, if I told you, you would give me a pink slip. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, that's the only reason why she was up there. And it's a whole lot of women that work in that field. Right now at this hour, they doing their work, but they in there bullshitting as well. They in there mm-hmm. talking to they in there talking about John down there in shipping at the hospital. He, she been trying the jug, but he ain't paying no attention. I'm going to get him before before what, whatever, such and such a day. Chick Smith, I don't heard him say it, man. Chick had a yeah. dude, a whole man locked up in the clink. She now that I can't lie. Wheel. The, them traveling the nurses, painted purple. Yeah, they they be oh, getting yeah. that bread. Them traveling them tra- nurses get that paper. They making forty some dollars an hour on the road, probably fifty now. Plus they yeah. out of town, so they're gonna they're yep. gonna be at the hotel or whatever. They're gonna be down in that lounge and the, and, and and the, and the dude from dietary out of town or somebody over there, and they're gonna have a conversation. And they're going to go up to the room, and she might give him a pill, or he might give her what well, I ain't no telling what they might do. But that shit happens. That's why about, what, 15 years ago, you had a lot of chicks was going to school to become traveling nurses. Because that word got out. Not just the pay, but the other shit, the other stuff they don't want to tell you. Lucky says she make more than 40 hours. She make she get that bag. Mm. Yeah, well, I believe it. It's, well, she's got to be an RN. For sure, for sure. That means she that means she can deal with those uh uh uh, uh IV machines and trait where you have to have uh, the tube in your throat. They certify do all of that. Accu checks and all of that type of stuff. Yep. Not with that hairstyle she got. She ain't making that much. Cause she making all that money. Yeah, she making all that. She wouldn't have bad hairstyle and black circles around yeah. her eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You got the hood braids. She need, she need, a, uh, she need a, yeah. uh, a hair. She need a hair fix and she need a facial. And she put a little bit more money in her scrubs. 
what they call it. But you got, she got to go to the spa. Got first thing we got to do, boy. yeah. First thing we got to do, uh, getting lucky is take you to the spa, babe. They got to put them cucumbers and shit on your eyes. They got to paste you up. They got to drop your hair in the grease. Mud they got to put you. They got to put that um, that fucking dehumanizer on your box. They got to fumigate that. They got to shut that whole fucking box, that whole building down, cause that thing on. We know what's gonna happen when you when they cut that up. When they cut that fan on, and you start letting that thing come out. Ooh, Lord, bro, you gonna run. You gonna Damn. run the roaches. You gonna run I'm the roaches gonna, about that motherfucker. I'm not gonna lie to you though, man. When I was in it, women, the women was uh held to a certain line of mm -hmm. you're gonna run the motherfucking roaches up out that motherfucking building when they start fucking cut that fan on and try to defumigate that so we trying to clean out your your vagina your vag they cut the, they put the little juice down there and they say okay open up okay sit right here okay we got the fans going they gotta they gotta knock a whole fuck the window they gotta bring a bulldozer and knock the whole wall down Damn, that thing smell angry. Mm -hmm. Get that thing up out of here. About a about mm. a day later, they can come back and then re re brick that wall, <laughs> and then that thing will be cleaned out. <laughs> there ain't no way they gonna sit in there without a gas mask and smell that thing. That's some stank. That's what somebody said in the chat. Kentucky, they say you look you look like your your box your coochie stank. Got that wolf, <laughs> that, that wolf box. There you go. Uh, look at that. They yeah, say like your coot. Getting lucky. They say you like your cooch co your cooch stank. <sighs> you roasting so hard. Ain't nothing left, man. Ain't nothing left to talk about. <laughs> I got to dump them ashes over in the hefty bag. Put it in my dumpster for the trash tomorrow. Uh, roasting, huh? Oh, well, talking fact. You're just talking, telling it like you TIE is, like you see it. She, yeah, she threatened us. us. Like that. I, I heard, I heard, I heard she was she was calling y'all F boys. Yeah. All kind of like you he came in here kicking and swinging at us, man. I'm like, man, who is that? Why don't somebody kick her out the chat? But I know how you are. You want them to. You trying to see who the hell it is? Mm. She probably did tell her dude. Didn't somebody come and, and, up there? And, 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 and the thing about it is, is, is Lucky want it like that, but Lucky you'll never get it like that. Lucky want a nigga to long dogger and, and and slow slow slaw, but it ain't gonna happen, babe. <laughs> well, I only thing I can say is it's always. How can I say the most unsavory looking woman talking all that type Damn. of stuff, man? See, she gonna make you her third husband. <laughs> yeah, wait on it. She must be gonna be marrying a casket. That'd be the next time I get married. I'm gonna be a dead man. She gonna drag me in in a box. <laughs> Why would I marry a what, what? Why would I marry a chick? You know what? What I didn't like was she said. Now the women in my family had did like this, even though they went to work, they combed their head. Now she said she's not trying to. Look <laughs> yeah, she got cute the nappy. At, yeah. She's not trying to look cute at work, but you gonna look your worst where you make your money. You don't want to. She got the you. um. The dry scalp. She got the dry scalp and the and the shock the shock wig or whatever. That shit don't even look good. She talking about she got some money. You need to spend some of it, baby. Go to a salon. She get that, get, get a, a pressing pre, uh pressing perm or something. She need a big ass jar of blue duchess hair grease. Not no, she need that WD fifty. The fifty weight. <laughs> fifty weight. You gotta you gotta let her let her uh, sit there and just soak the fifty weight. Sit, synthetic or original? Ooh, yeah. Well, okay, we synthetic for her. We go synthetic. We gotta go synthetic because mm -hmm. 
<laughs> hey, when she did turn the camera on, y'all, I kept saying, "Who is nah, that?" No, she hit her face. Fuck she talking about she came. She talking about she cammed up. She had a mask on. Now, the fuck you gonna cam up with a mask on? Get the fuck out of here. And then she said something about somebody else up here. And they won't cam up, and that's when I put in the chat. She had on a mask with a nappy head, and talking about camming up with a nappy head and a mask. Yeah. That ain't she wanted, up. she <laughs> wanted men to cam up so she can have something to. I don't know. Think about at work. Ain't no telling what women nowadays. I just know how she I wanted Nick. She 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 had a mask on. She ain't cammed up over here yet. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I get what you're saying. She had a nappy head and a mask. That's not uh, camming up. You know what that shit looked like for real, though? That shit looked like Sideshow Bob off The Simpsons to me. That's the first thing I thought. That shit was gone on the side. I don't know. She probably had that Ampro. And that's a Dang, she, she got grease. She got oil in it, bro. If I, was, if I was fucking with her, if I knew her relationship, I take all of the sulfur aid and amp. I take all that out, and I put oil cans in the in the beauty in the uh, medicine cabinet <laughs> for her, <laughs> and a filter. Well, yeah. I and so there you go, Gre grease your scalp. There you go. <laughs> the old school oil can where you STP STP oil treatment. First thing I'm gonna do is get that STP oil treatment. Mm. I'm gonna grease. Magic. I'm gonna grease out with that. Yeah, let that shit just sit. You know, I don't consider myself the best looking man, and I know a lot of other people don't. But I don't go around just be talking about somebody is fucked up, and I'm more fucked up than the people I'm talking about. I just got. I don't. I don't see how. What makes you think you can actually do that when we can sit down and talk about the way you just look, period, from here on? But it's always the ugly motherfuckers, man. I swear to God, always. man. What are you talking about? Uh, getting lucky? You talking about getting lucky? I'm just saying in general. Uh, no, I'm saying I'm saying in specific. You saying get lucky is an ugly motherfucker? To me, she is. Yeah. Damn. I can't, I can't Damn! I ain't know that. She looked like she had war paint on with her mask on. Well, I, well, Platinum Mike, what else can I call her? She was up there disrespecting my brothers. I couldn't get her told. I was at work. You coming in throwing ad hominems at grown I didn't know y'all talking about getting lucky here. like that. Hit the link, getting lucky. They call you an ugly they, motherfucker up here. Now, come on, where you think, at, babe? If they think Listen, you're gonna hide they, behind they, your boy. Hold up, you're gonna hide behind your pretend boyfriend, or you're gonna come up and stand up for yourself. Well, no, no, we ain't this ain't no me versus her, but what I'm saying is, look, she said you said you popping your pussy up. She got a dirty mouth. No, 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 you, 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 you popping your uh, your pussy or whatever the hell you messing with over there. See, what you doing is projecting. You came in a circle of men. And if you don't like how the men talk or sound, why don't you take your ass with that SOS pad and go over to the people that you've been dealing with? You keep calling men over here bussies and all like that. Is that who you hang around? Y'all got to pick up on how these people be talking. She want to get she want to get fucked on, bro. I know she do, but ain't. I know. That, 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 she ain't ready. She ain't ready. Look, this the wrong group of dudes. Hold up, babe. This the wrong group of dudes. You will get, you will get that your hair will get straightened fucking with niggas like us, all right? <laughs> you have a motherfucking Jerry Curl running around this motherfucker. <laughs> that, that dry, that dry pop you got. That jiffy pop, popcorn box on the top of your shit. Man, a red super luster curl couldn't straighten. She, look at, she said she get fucked on there. I, I, I bet you do. For the twenty dollar holla. Twenty the twenty piece. You get fucked on. I bet you do. Twenty dollars a pop. You probably make a good eighty dollars a night. <laughs> 
80. <laughs> Damn, you been too nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I, crazy. I, I, thought, I thought she was going to say 25 because she got the one and when he got over there he was like oh, hell no nah, bitch we going to have to haggle this price <laughs> she, her prices get haggled like a used car mm. <laughs> <laughs> any price she any price she won't she ain't nobody uh Kentucky, ain't nobody ate your pussy since high school. You get the fuck out of here. Ain't no ain't nigga in his right you. mind. Yeah, yeah, ain't no nigga in his right mind gonna lick your nasty pussy. Shut, get out of here. You sort of a no big right. motherfucker too. You sort of butchy. You sort of butchy and hairy. Ain't, ain't nobody, nobody gonna eat that. Ain't nobody eating that. Nobody eating she that. Got yeah. the Who the fuck you think you're talking to? She probably getting a little pet dog to do it. No, we don't get into that though. Don't say that. She said, she I was selling it. the box. Trust and believe you'll be at the ATM. Uh, no, you no, probably would go we... broke. You probably would go broke still, regardless. <laughs> I don't understand why every woman in the world think they got the best pussy. Now, granted, some do, and some have trash. Yeah, clean, clean, clean it up, uh, Gemini. You got the best? Gemini, do me a favor. Try. I know it's going to be hard. I just said the P word. No, but I no potty it. mouth, bro. Right. right. Go ahead, bro. I know what. If her if her box looks like that SOS pad on top of her head, who the hell wants it? Because mm. I was always told this. You start from the top down. If the woman's head ain't looking worth, the hair on her head ain't looking worth nothing, then the hair... You down know, low. Ain't worth nothing. She looked like she ain't got no grip, though. That's why I was, when I saw her, I was saying that through my head, like she got a loose pussy. I like that she got a loose pussy. I mean, she's like been married twice, so it's already. You, now you gotta dig out. You gotta get deep. If you don't get, if you don't get about nine inches deep, your dick gonna keep popping out. You can put a Brother. fist off into that thing by now. Yeah, because she ain't got no much. grip to it. It's she the type. She the type of bitch that lay on top of you and keep looking at you. Be like, bitch, wait a minute. Like, what a grip me. While she up there in that hospital, she trying to get her rejuvenation discount. Yeah, with that fucked up hairstyle, with that with that dry ass hair, and you like, wait a minute, I'm I didn't got in. Okay, I'm I'm ten inches. You like, what a grip? And she just looking at you like, bitch, get up off me. You can look at her she shoulders and tell she doesn't arch her back. Yeah, she she doing Kegels right now. Mm -hmm, trying hard, to us, trying to get trying to get some grip back. It ain't got no more grip back. It's just blow back, laid back, swayed back. It's got too many damn city miles on it. And she's supposed to be using coochie balls, but she got tennis balls up in there trying many, to use a kegels. Too many, it's too many city miles on it. I'd rather have a box that's got some highway miles on it, just like a car. I ain't going to get no car that's got all these city miles on it and take it down south or wherever the hell. Her box got a triple A membership. All right, man. So, that, that, <laughs> see, Someone said she played for the Denver Broncos. <laughs> listen, listen, if you mess with that chick, you don't need car shield. You need box shield for that. <laughs> you need to go out there and go to <laughs> boxshield.com. If it won't grip, we'll we we gonna do something for you, brother. You know we gonna take we gotta get you a new brim, get you a stiff drag, and and give you some good tight box. We sorry that we you insured this box and it ain't got no grip. <laughs> you probably get up in there, probably a deuce in the quarter hung up in there somewhere. You never know. You might you might find one of your friends. You're like, bro, I ain't seen you since. I ain't seen you since 95. Where you been, bruh? I would get up in here one day in March, man, and I've been in here ever since. But like, bruh, he was like, you got a phone? You had him that uh, smartphone? He'd be like, what is this? <laughs> he been down in, she been keistering him in there, walking around, going to work. Uh, bruh, 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 bye, bye, bruh. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> you dudes don't have enough discernment listen brother with certain things we can and can't say 
there are limits. If you guys cannot construct your conversation that stay within the limits, you cannot be up here, right? I actually went downstairs and got my food, and I come up, and I hear Keister, and well, come up, brother. Brother. Yeah. Now, hold up now. We talking about getting lucky, too? Y'all talking about getting lucky? You got to be careful, bro. You got to have discernment and calmness. So he said, well, if we all over here at work and what is the size of y'all? Uh oh. Then I assume it would feel loose to you. Okay. Well, why would my mom's um why would my mom's thing have anything to do with you, babe? I don't get that one. <laughs> They're weird when they connect mothers to sex. That's weird. Yeah, what is what does my mama's thing got to do with you? What does that got to do with you, baby? I don't get that. Mm -hmm. Black women know they know how to just constantly attack black men, though. Don't they? Just con they they we're, we're basically black men are nothing but slave simps to service black women, and then die in their for their egos. And then you see these guys. You look at these guys. You see exactly how they're being used. You like look at this dude. And don't let him be with a white girl. That's it. He has to die. Well, I disagree. I know Kevin Tall. I don't think they even care about that anymore. Yeah, I think they over it now. Yeah, I don't even think. Look, look, she, we got an admission. Look at that. Look at that. I'm glad you know your role. See, she'll give you that little old little rusty sardine can, sardine can after you've slaved for it. After you fucking got lumped up fired eventually she'll give you a taste of that old sardine can is it worth it though i'm like no it's not worth it you can have it keep it to yourself you get a little taste of an old dry box that ain't got no grip Nah, I'm not interested. And then smells all be good lord. The funk of it is <laughs> that shit smells like nuclear waste. She sit down and get up and, <laughs> and the smell hit you. Hasn't that had shit takes that the smell of that box takes the fucking paint off my Buick. Hasn't had a normal <laughs> scent since high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I if I fuck you outside. My Buick, half of my paint starts to bubble. I'm like, what the fuck? That's nasty. So your your man. box is has is so toxic. You literally took half the paint off my Buick, babe. <laughs> oh, man. Septic. We having that green slime coming out of it. Mm -hmm. oh. That green smoke. Ugh. Then you try to blame it on black. I'm a black woman. I'm black. No. <laughs> no. So they're talking about it's natural. Panties be looking like a mm. coloring book. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's nasty. You pull out, you look at our panties, man. You see shit stains, piss stains, and blood stains. You take a, you take a, you take a, um, a remote, or you take some type of, um, it, you know, something long, a magazine. You pick up panties up, and you said, "What the fuck is this?" When the last time you changed your drawers, bae? Three months. Do you wear them till they fucking dissolve or do you actually change them? Why am I fucking this? What the fuck? What? What? You niggas be like, nah, I'm done. You put your dick back in your pants and I'm done with this. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm not interested. Not for sex. Look, you can come clean. Well, first of all, you can't wash my car. You said, listen, look, we good. I'll get back next time. Yeah, you gotta you gotta admit next time. You're like, bro, you you taking paint off my whip, your drawers, like you wearing them till they dissolve, till they become strings. I ain't interested. 
You got a little weight on you and stuff. You got that. Uh uh-uh. uh. She was talking about Becky. See, uh, for your information, you tell a Becky her box links, you will see instant change in that Becky dang near within an instant. She'll change her diet, change what she's wearing, drinking, damn near overnight. Mm-hmm. Baby, hey, no, Becky. <laughs> Becky don't have no spell. <laughs> no, Becky. Becky smell, Becky pull that, that box out, it's clean, no bumps, it's shaved, and no smell. It smell like water, spring water. Nice and clean. Her panties be ice white. Look like she just bought them. I'm like, damn, these your drawers? No <laughs> shit stains, none of that. No <laughs> blood stains or shit stains. They come right on down. They don't be stretched or nothing. They come right on down. Kentucky, you know what I'm talking about. Kentucky got them draws that's been pulled. They've been, they been yanked. The the leg holes all stretched out and shit like that. You look at the draws like they've been through some of them. Draws like, man, what that draw? Them draws? Them some war panties. That bitch got on a pair of war panties. <laughs> A Beck is the only one that I really know that you could pull that G string to the side, hit it, and you can put it back on that shit, motherfucker. Oops, sorry. It's actually back in the same size. It never stretches. That's true. Kentucky got war panties on. <laughs> Look like she like she been in the Ukraine. Like, baby, where you been, Kentucky? Look like you've been in Ukraine. You got on war panties. Smells like Ukraine. Like why your draw? Why you smell like when you pull your drawers out? Why it smell like pepper? Like somebody trying to cook a pepper snake in here. Oh, speaking of Ukraine. Oh, they here. They here. They in the U.S. Hey, there's some cute ones too that arrive. So uh, look out in your major cities. You hear that? <laughs> you hear that? Uh-uh. Kentucky. Ukraine finna take your man. They here. Yeah. Hundred about more, over a hundred thousand. More competition. More mm-hmm. competition. Mm-hmm. You hear that? Kentucky. You take your panties off, it smell like somebody cooking up a pepper steak. That ain't good, babe. You say ain't no oven ain't on. You said, wait a minute, who cooking downstairs? What you talking about? Somebody cooking. What you talking about? Ain't nobody downstairs. Ain't nobody here but me and you. You be like, no, nah, bullshit. You go downstairs, ain't shit on. You come upstairs, it smell like a pepper steak. Like, that's, 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 your, uh, that's your box? Your box smell like a pepper steak? Like, what the fuck going on in here? Nigga lose his attraction. Like, nah, I don't want to fuck. You be like, what's this grease right here? What you talking about? She said, you ain't wet, baby. You greasy. That one nigga, I'm done with these sisters. I'm done. And that's why you were sitting up there at the hospital with the shits, Kentucky. With that funny wig at the top of your head. You know Kentucky got that 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 off 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 smell like Pyrex. Niggas ain't in there like Kentucky dropped them drawers. They smell like Pyrex. You be like, what the fuck? What's going on in here? Somebody drops a mop. Somebody mop in the floor. They look at he look at Kentucky's little puffy box. Be like, what? Like, nah, babe, 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 babe. Take care of that. What you talking about? Listen. I'm gonna fuck on you. I'm gonna fuck with you, but your box got a got a juice to it. I, I don't like that shit. 
Yeah, go take care of it. Go home, figure it out. Got a juice to the box. They don't care. They'll bring that juicy box right back to you. Try to stick it in your mouth. Uh oh. Eric said, he's talking to you, um, Raven Knight. He said, you don't like a juicy box? Oh, I love a juicy box, but I don't want my bed all soaked from the shit. <laughs> There you go. That's what one, get, one, one chick, she she just got too excited and was squirting all over the place. It became a problem because the bed sheets were soaked every night. Mm-hmm. Did she stink, though? No. Uh, if she stank, I would have kicked her out of my house. Mm-hmm. When chicks start talking about their boxes, if they know it's good, I ask them to stick a finger in it and then taste it. And if they freeze up uh -oh. in one sec, they can't do it. All right, I'm not messing with you. I mean, you can't why, go around. Why do, women, why do women have no problem eating out their pussy like that, though? I, I, I always thought that was strange. If it's clean, it's okay. But no, if it's I mean, funky yeah. or not, they're gonna they're gonna pause. That's when you know. You no, know, I just noticed women do. Women have no problem eating out their pussy. I'd be like, man. <laughs> I know. I always thought that was weird too. Like girls doing that. Like, and it's, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's like when I seen girls do that. I mean, it, it's a turn on, but it is kind of like, yeah, why? They just do I it like it's nothing. Now I don't right, go around licking on everybody. No, I was fucking this chick. I pulled out. She reached down in her pussy and just licked on licked on the juices and stuff. And we're like, come on back. And I'm like, damn. It got my harder though. I, I did. I got excited off of that because it was sort of fucking weird. It got me going. It got me going. Open up. I was like, damn. Yeah, that's a turn on. I think. I think the chicks just get the girls just get super freaky. They they just start turning to super freaks. They start licking their fingers and. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that is on the that is on on some freak stuff. You tasting your own body fluids? I ain't never tasting my own snot. Don't plan on doing it. No, I never do that. But I'm just saying how women just they mouth they just fucking reach down there and, and grab all that 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 fluid <laughs> and just lick it and, and invite you back on in. Like, damn. Good nut bust. Women do that a lot. Yeah, that's, that's what women do, man. I think they own smell. They juices turn themselves on. They like they like licking their own. They like that shit, man. And if you're you're afraid to do it, they ain't gonna like you. You got you got to introduce that shit to them. Yeah. That's why they like to swallow the snot. They'll say they don't, but they do. Yeah. They love to swallow the snot. Look, we've been going for a while, man. We finna shut it down, man. We appreciate everybody's turn. We're going to be back probably. That means just 3 o'clock. We might be back later on the day, man. It's my lunchtime. I'm finna call it a day, man. Listen. Will Smith finna lose his Oscar. Wanda has turned on him. The community is turning on Will Smith. Will Smith, just oh, no, my prediction, Will Smith's going to lose his Oscar. Will Smith will be incarcerated behind all of this. Watch. Will Smith will pay the ultimate price for what he did. Watch. Watch. It ain't got nothing to do with black folks. It's going to be white folks who are going to take the lead and punish this man. And they said, if we left it up to niggas, he'd get away with it. They're not going to leave it up to niggas. They're going to punish him for what he did. Watch. And they're going to scream racism. And anybody who says the Oscars is racist is like saying it's water wet. Of course they are. What the fuck you mean? They're the Oscars. All right. We better call it a day. All right, Clyde. All right, Clyde. Peace, bro. All right.